We'll give you pretty much everything you need to get started, from a manual, which will help you to familiarise yourself with all of the items that you're going to be creating, and all of the products that you need, including tools and findings and threads. You'll also get a DVD and step-by-step -step project cards. These cards and the DVD will give you the chance to be able to create a wonderful arrangement of different items of jewellery. Plus, you'll also get a free three pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. So, getting started with the Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. So, why not give it a go today? Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just £2.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for £4.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. There are four easy ways to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 54,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hello, 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 welcome to Jewelry Maker. Hello, um, if I've not met you before, my name is Emma. It's wonderful to have your company today. Um, we, we love a bit of clearance. You've got me today for six and a half hours. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. By the end of the shift though, I think I'm gonna be kind of slowly rocking in my chair a little bit crazy. <laughs> um, I am joined today by the wonderfully beautiful and fabulously talented uh, Rachel Norris, everybody. Hello, and it's uh, just wonderful to work with you and we're going to have a great show. I think there's so many exciting things coming up today and um, we're going to have fun with with everything today. Yes, it is. It's, it's, it's going to be so much fun yes. and I'm so inspired. Thank I've literally, you. you know, just looking at, at some of these masterpieces and you say that you literally work in three days with each kit and that was it. Yes, because there was a lot of NHS work as well. So you just fit it in around that three and a few evenings as well. But um, we don't we literally have to get everything ready and um, everything designed and ready for the show. Um, the kits are posted out to us a few a week or two, two weeks maybe beforehand, okay. maybe 10 days actually. Wow. And then we get going. Oh my them. gosh. So um, yes, and then it, you literally have to get your mind buzzing, going, thinking creatively. I was working in materials I hadn't really worked with before, so it was a real challenge actually, but it was an exciting challenge. This is just incredible. You know, when you think about the amount of time or the, the, the small amount of time that you've spent creating these just such detailed masterpieces. Um, I'm so inspired every time I come here to come home and make some jewellery and today I'm, uh, I'm even more inspired. But it's clearance. We love it. That's why we're wearing the lovely red t-shirts today. I'm all red today. Um, <laughs> I'm blending into the black ground. It's usually, I'm Excellent. usually wearing black, but uh, in the in the red today. So we are we've got clearance, clearance, clearance. So we are going to. Oh my gosh, we're going to. Uh, we've got three strands to start. Look at this colour. Oh my gosh. Um, now we're going to be clearing absolutely everything today. So um, original price in straight away at eleven eighty five. Um, triple uh, trouble that you've got here. Beautiful, really bright, vivid, stunning um, kind of flamingo pinks. That you, I mean, that is that's hot and sassy, isn't it? Beautiful. Just gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic. And you pop it with some black um, agate or some mm. black onyx or something like that, and you've got sophisticated look. But uh, oh, it's a fantastic. And oh, oranges. Why not go for the put it with orange and create a Papadrasha <gasps> sapphire look and, oh, and go to Bollywood with it. That's amazing. Three pound ninety five for three strands. <laughs> Three ninety five for three strands today. It is going to be. Do you know what we've got? Deal after deal after deal after deal. Um, this is definitely a day to be stocking up for your stash. I would say. Um, it is very very busy. Hello, Andrew, Josephine, Kay, Sissy, Olivia, uh, Kim, Carol, Anne Marie, Mary, Sandra, Veronica, Constance. It's busy, 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 isn't it? 
Blumenek, it's busy today. It is so lovely to see you. And I love that you talk about pink and black. I wear a lot of pink, uh, I wear a lot of black. And, you know, sometimes if I've got, I don't know, black business suit on, I like to, yes. you know, maybe pop some pink heels on or a pink belt or something just it's to kind of... It's giving yourself a chance to express your personality. And if you are somebody that just, just wants to put a bit of inject some personality into what you wear, yes. then wearing a lovely bright colour amidst, you know, some diplomatically muted clothes, you can actually Beautiful. really... I have it create an impact with just that necklace. Oh, yes, I you know yeah, that one stood out. Love it, love it. Mm. So, again, we've got style, um, style advice today as well, which I love. Oh, these are lush. Okay, this color, beautiful. You've got these wonderful um, kind, they are very sunstony, aren't they? When I first picked this up, I thought this was just beautiful sunstone. And um, what you've got here, you've got those wonderful, like peach kind of apricot undertones that you've got. Remember, clearance 1 pmp until midnight tonight. Um, so so it doesn't matter how much you buy and with these prices honestly and last of stock um, it's going to be crazy today we've only got 50 in this bundle available for you so this is your double trouble um, and <laughs> There we are again at 3.95. I love the textures that you get with the crackle quartz. I love the varying different kind of uh, just all of those textures. It's got yes. that wonderful almost the tactile light. quality to it. And the light it. glitters through it. it it's does. got some beautiful sort of reflective surfaces within the gemstone. And you can often get sometimes get these rainbow feelings back from the crackle, crackle quartz. Beautiful. I love the process by which it's been made as well. It's quite a sort yeah. of fiery process, isn't it? It is. And it's really fascinating. Mm. Really fascinating. Mm. So yeah, they basically heat up the the quartz and then just drop it into cold water and and it stays stable but then you've got these wonderful um beautiful kind of movement within the within each of the gemstones it's stunning and that's going to be a sellout as well um people are multi-buying like crazy right coming up for you um we have got oh they're right here um we've got some cabochons coming up next um <laughs> right just little face lit up then um <laughs> We've got um, cabochons coming up in the first kit as well. And I want to tell, I'll tell you about that when we get there. Oh, we're minus one. We're minus one, everybody. So you have got, there should be, oh, bless Do you know where it, you. Do you know where it went? Oh, yeah, yeah, we got it. Um, it is that, it's, it's down, it's down here. Thank you, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! Um, so we've got clear cabinets coming up for you. Um, triple trouble on these as well. You are looking at nine pieces. All of these beautiful pear cut, gorgeous kind of ethereal glow that you've got here as well. I can see you eyeing these up, Rachel. What would you be doing with these? Well, I set a few. There are a few in the set in the wire kit. So yes. actually, if you want to combine those with the shapes in the in that kit because there are different shapes the ones I, I've got as well so you, you can uh, I've got one cascade design yes. here and this is what I've set, set the clear quartzes into so you could um, do exactly the same and you've got all quartz clear quartz through Ooh, your piece so lovely that, that one for example so yes that's what that's amazing and that works out 55p a cabochon yes. 55p I just went to a crystal shop um those of you that know me know that I'm slightly obsessed with gemstones and crystals and I have lots in my house and um, yeah, I was just, I've just redecorated my office and so um, I wanted to, to have some good crystals in my office so I went to my local crystal shop. I just bought a quartz and it had a rainbow running through it um, because of the you know, uh, imperfections within the quartz. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The guy called it this metaphysical quartz and got eight quid for it. Eight quid! <laughs> Eight pounds for yeah. one. It has a lovely energy to it. Quartz. It does. It has a really lovely energy. It does. I always carry quartz. Um, Karen, Beverly, Mona, Vanessa, Alison. People are multi buying. Maxine's bought two. Jacqueline's bought two. Diana's bought two. It's busy, busy, busy. Oh, I love this. I love this. It's exciting, isn't it? It's a good, really a good day to really utilise that one PMP. Get loads of stuff in your stash. Maybe you're looking at things going, well, I don't really know what I'm going to do with that yet. But uh, you never know. I mean, you learn stuff all the time, don't you, on Jewelry Maker? And so... Yes, I think with clearance days, you, things will come up that you don't see normally. And they are inventive, quirky unusual things that you can put in to incorporate into jewellery to make it stand and look, look different Absolutely. and um, they're, they're fantastic stash builders and economic too because you can actually sort of obviously get more for your money absolutely like so we've got a uh, white quartz we've got ooh, white pink orange and clear there we go 
Um, is there only six? Only six chances in this bundle. So you have got um, the beautiful quartz collection here. You've got the citral, the white, the pink, and the clear, and various different shapes that you've got here as well. So gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Again, I love the kind of, they've almost graduated the, uh, the citrus quartz, almost got that kind of graduation, almost like a, a bicolored citrine type feel that you've got there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's all gone. That's amazing. It's all gone. Right. It's going to be on and gone. On and gone today. Box number 25. Let me move this over here. Ah, there it is. Ooh. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. This is like... Okay, so pretty much done for you on the clear quartz bezels. That would be lovely. Have I got one behind here? I have. There we go. See? Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. So where we should be right now... <laughs> at... <laughs> at 20... Um, 20... Sterling silver. Beautiful. Did you just take like a £20 note off that price? <laughs> In sterling silver. I mean, you know, this is incredible. You know, Rachel, you obviously, you know, sell your, your pieces. Well, I, it's the cost of the silver, the cost of the gemstones, and the cost of your time to actually make and set those. Oh, you know, you, you, it's impossible for, for me to make those even one of those perhaps with that price that's crazy so yes they've and gone you've got the theme there with everything else with the quartz coming up today you can combine them brilliant <laughs> brilliant and if you love your quartz ah oh, love rose quartz again we've now got the bezel set in the rose quartz again in the solid sterling silver and when you're selling your jewelry rachel mm. you know and you're elevated when you can say that you're offering sterling silver and you're offering precious metal mm. I mean, incredible. And rose yes. quartz, such a popular it's gemstone. So, it's pretty, it's a pretty feminine. It is. And it's universally loved as a, as a, as a colour. So you cannot go wrong with rose quartz. It's beautiful. You really can't. And, the, and I can see the faceting from there and the pretty colour. Also, they're all colour matched. If you're going to go into somewhere and try and source cabochons or, or pieces, gemstones that are colour matched, you've got a, a set that's all colour matched already. Absolutely. All completely colour matched and all gone. All gone, all gone. Right, everything for the next few uh, boxes is less than 10 chances available. So if you see it and you like it, buy it because it's going to be uh, selling out. And we're going to start off with a box number. Oh my gosh! An amazing bracelet, tennis bracelet semi mount that we've got here. This is beautiful. Um, this is in, again, in s sterling silver 95. There's got to be a weight of sterling silver here. Over 10 grams of sterling silver, five millimeter rounds, you know, design your own, um, your own tennis bracelet, solid 95 nickel free sterling silver at 14.95. 10 grams of silver in this piece, it's so weighty. That's amazing. Um, you know, birthstone bracelets or um, chakra bracelets, I mean, things are so popular I right now. My very first soldering piece at jewelry uh, when I went to the evening class. It took me um, 60 hours um, to make a, a, a solder set bracelet yeah, with, yeah. for mounting. 60 hours. Wow. Wow. You know. That's crazy. Mm. And at £15, <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. Okay, number two. We, these are going to be on and gone. I've got stunning pink opal. This will be really pretty again with the... Um, with the rose quartz that we just had, those wonderful kind of subtle, kind of beautiful ballet slipper pinks that you've got here. Only 10 chances, only 10 chances. A 20 carat stunning pink opal. It is absolutely huge. As you can see, completely solid as well. No doublets or triplets here. Just, I love that. It's almost dreamy. It's got those wonderful, almost um, like a kind of swirling, kind of fibrous feel to it as well. So pretty. If anyone's got the rose quartz, get that and it'll team up as a central piece to that rose quartz um, set of settings you've um, got. Beautiful. Beautiful, really, really pretty. Um, oh. I, in my book, I've got plenty and plenty of cabochon um, designs and that would probably fit into um, a Wonderful. few of the pieces there. Oh, yeah. I like that. And we'll be seeing some of Rachel's book as well shortly. So you see some of the designs um, that, that Rachel's uh, created in her book, which is super exciting. I've got no time to talk today. This is so, like, not me. I'm using... Wow, 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 wow. Oh, my gosh. These are, like... This is, like, something out of a high-end jewellers. 
These are, I absolutely adore these. Oh my gosh, we've only got eight chances. Um, you have got gemstone set of clear quartz. I mean, these are, you know, red carpet ready. I love the fact that they're cut into a gem, a traditional gem. They are so, <laughs> for a 10 pound note. At home. <laughs> <You> lucky things. <laughs> They're three pounds and um, thirty-two each, which is crazy. I mean, three pound thirty-two. That's amazing. The work in those, the work and the, the faceting to get the the, the, the correct angle. Absolutely. Um, and, the, and it's beautiful. It's the, the highest quality of quartz of of stone will go into those highly. Um, faster gemstones. Yeah, like absolutely. When you, you know, they, they're not going to take the time or the energy to, to, oh, they've gone. <laughs> Neither am I. I'm not, not going to take the time or the energy either. I'm going <laughs> to move on to box number four. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, oh, these are, oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. I don't know how I'm going to show these, but I'm, I'm going to try. I'm not. These are amazing. So you have got, check out these. These are beautiful. So you've got these stunning 95 sterling silver filigree work that you've got here on these um, connector mounts. Really stunning. And you've also got as well a loose, uh, you're getting two of these by the way, a beautiful loose amethyst. Uh, that is stunning. Fully faceted and that will sit, you can sit that in the... Uh, in the setting right there. Solid sterling, oh, it's gone, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's gone. It's like the world's fast, the world's fastest cake. It's gone. Um, hey, but I'm, I'll be here all week. Ooh, oh my gosh. So on a strand, I've not seen these before. Sterling silver um, bezel set, beautiful white quartz um, in, the, in the strand. Take a look. Love, love, love. Eight chances available. I love that with the bezel setting. That's the first time I've seen that on a strand. Not that I'm here very often, but that's the first time I've seen that on a strand with the bezel setting. Really pretty. Again, you're not having anything sitting over the stones. You've got complete... Yes. ...unobstruction of the, of the stone inside. It's lovely, isn't it? Really lovely. lovely finish. And again, at 9.99, solid sterling silver, 95. Beautiful. They've gone as well. Gone, gone, gone. Okay, let's move on to box number six. Um, oh my, this is like my favourite thing that I've ever seen. Um, this is so me. Um, I'm not even going to have time to talk about this, but this is like probably, I own more Black Spinel than any other gemstone that ever. I just adore Black Spinel. And what I love about this piece are where all of these Spinel are just almost like a blanket of Spinel that you've got on the surface of this. I mean, talk about high-end luxury. Very kind of great Gatsby, very 1920s. I adore the detail that you've got here. Isn't that pretty? And then it just compresses, tongue in clap, well, box, clasp, oh, I can't even talk, it's gone, it's gone. This is crazy. Right, another, another, uh, ooh, another box clasp for you, but with amethyst this time. I mean, talk about adding an incredible amount of value to, to what it is that you're creating. These are incredible. Um, so you've got the same design, this time with amethyst. Beautiful you know, compressed box, clasp, tongue in box. I love it. I mean, that is, I mean, you, you, you could wear that as a feature at the front or on the side, right? Um, absolutely, bracelet, look, you need a couple of those at least for bracelets and necklace. And um, yes, a front, front feature, something you finished off um, your piece with immaculate quality. That's stunning. Off. Just, I haven't even got time to talk to you, yeah. sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Ooh, look at these. Oh, I love, I love, I love, I love Praiselite. This is, I mean, these are massive. And this colour as well, this kind of sea foam green um, that you've got, those wonderful aquaceous colours. The clarity is beautiful. And all of this um, uh, Harley Quinn faceting that you've got here as well, just stunning. I mean, the way that this captures the light, I, I love how, <laughs> that is a huge price drop. <laughs> I love how serene and beautiful the colour is. I really do. It's stunning. It goes with so many different things. Uh, and today, I mean, just one of 
these in a centerpiece. Uh, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Right. Um, I'm so sorry if anybody's missing out on these things. Uh, dial as quickly as you can. Um, I should have something. Oh, box number nine. Here we go. I've got a cuff for you. Um, this is beautiful. So you've got a bangle mount, um, and on this side you've got all of the um, all of the white topaz that has all been parve set. Almost kind of like a almost like a fleur de lis kind of. I don't know. I love that though. I can imagine. It's a little bit Game of Thrones, isn't it? I love it. Um, <laughs> and uh, and then of course you've got um, your semi mount there for a trillion. In solid 95 sterling silver for a £10 note. It's gone. It's gone. Okay, number 10. Oh my gosh, this is my new favourite. <laughs> These are incredible. I, I, do, I don't know how much lipidolite you see here, but I very rarely, I can count probably on one hand. I've been in the jewellery industry for well over 10 years and I can probably count on one hand the times that I've been able to bring you this gemstone. I love, love, love the uniqueness um, of your lipidolite. Now, you're going to get 150 carats. It may not be exactly the same as this. Um, this has got a huge cabbage on there and uh, two smaller ones. Um, but I love these colours. It's kind of like almost like staring down at some kind of planet from out of space, you know, when you see, it's, oh, it's gone. I don't even got time to just describe it. And oh, I love Lipidolite. Oh, sorry. You can love Lipidolite, but it's gone. Um, box 11. These go to 11. Perfect. Okay. So, ooh. So if you got the rose quartz earlier with the um, with the rounds, we now have the rose quartz uh, in the pairs as well. And these are Briole um, pairs. Beautiful. Again, sterling silver, bezel connector, um, 60 carats of rose quartz that you've got here. And again, <laughs> 9.99 today. You're getting 10 pieces. 10 pieces. They work out at a pound each. A pound? A pound for rose quartz and solid sterling silver. I hear you shouting from behind your TVs. A pound. Um, okay, number 12. Ooh. Oh, how cool is this? This is awesome. I'm such a geek. <laughs> I'm such a nerd. I am such a geek and I love this. Um, we've got some fossilized quartz. Now, if you're like me, and I don't, shall I not even bother talking? <laughs> shall I just put it on the screen? <laughs> just, just, just hold it in silence. Yeah, it's gone in baskets. If everyone checks out now, it's gone. So you have got, I love these, all, all the different kind of patterns in the fossils that you've got here. If you love me and you're like, a, if, you, if you like me, sorry, you can love me if you want, but if you like me um, and a massive geek, um, this stuff fascinates me, you know, and it's gone. So <laughs> it did fascinate me and now it's gone. Um, number 13, oh my gosh, Rachel, I've got a feeling you're going to love these. <laughs> There's only five. I want these. Why did I go and spend 30 quid in the crystal shop the other day? I could have just come here. Oh, these are amazing. Oh my oh, gosh. Crazy oh, lace agate. Beautiful. You are just amazing. Oh my gosh. I mean this. You've got your design. You don't have to do very much. A very simple setting on that one on the This one. Right, on the on that one. It's and gone. the other one. Yeah. Gone. Sorry. <laughs> really just so speaks for you'll itself. You'll never know. <laughs> I love those earthy tones though. So beautiful. Amazing. Oh my gosh, um, and I've got some, some natural sapphire coming up for you now. As you do, you know, how many people do you know that can say that they own a hundred plus carats of sapphire? And to be able to actually showcase this in, in your collection. So quite, quite unusual abstract shapes. This one, you know, you've got the blues going almost into the, to the reds there as well. And you've got those moments of clarity. And that wonderful checkerboard kind of harlequin faceting that you've got on the surface there. It just looks so glam, very decadent. Beautiful kind of piano key luster. You've got 115 carats, and again, if you're, you know, you're like me, and you like, oh, it's gone, and you like earthy. Oops. I was gonna, I was gonna tell you to send in some text, but you know, there's no point. Is that we ain't gonna have time to read them? Box number what? Sorry, 16. Oh, it is another bangle. Oh, 
Same as the one before, but it's been set with black spinel uh, instead of the white topaz. Again, solid sterling silver, um, a weight of silver in this piece again. And you've got that semi mount as well for a trillion that you can add there. Oh, beautiful. Six chances left. <laughs> Ten pound note. The, the, the weight though, yeah, like, kind of wish we had like feel a vision right now. Setting so you can those stones. Feel and the, the time. Wait, I know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, these are awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I love these. These are incredible. I love these. Okay, if you make, I'm just going to pop these on the black background. Really popular right right now. Um, just a quartz, um, almost like a, just a quartz crystal, yep. a standalone crystal in a pendant. Yes. Like, you know, you're talking about energy and quartz and, um, you know, it's such a, a good gemstone to be kind of that carrying. Kind of pendants, I mean, pendants each, each and they're unisex um, mm -hmm. and for all ages and they have a lovely energy to them. Uh, incredibly popular. You can put silver clay around them, wire around them, uh, cerulean uh, around them, literally anything. They've gone, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Lovely. Or, if you want the... Oh, these are really cool. Look at the shape of these. Oh, my gosh. These are like... I'm, I'm thinking earrings looking at these or, or pendants, but they are, these are fab. I've never seen this shape either. Only five chances. They are amazing, aren't they? <laughs> what an unusual um, shape. Again, you've got, um, you can put a cap on the top, um, a flower, say a flower shaped cap on the top and, or, and you've got a beautiful, beautiful pendant. Uh, gosh. Stunning, 15 pounds. Beautiful. 15 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just it's sitting here stunned. Or it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> 90. <laughs> Uh, these are, oh my gosh, I love Matrix Opal, I love Matrix Opal, it's on my vision board, one of my, well, it's a, it's a black opal, a lightning ridge black opal, it's like, it's one of my goals, it's up there, it's up there with my home in the Florida Keys, <laughs> have a look at these, only three chances with the Matrix Opal, and they are graduated, again, really unique, kind of have a, like a celestial, kind of feel to them it's like looking through a telescope and seeing you know when I lived in Colorado yeah. we lived in a valley just under 9,000 feet and we lived seven miles from a town of 60 people yeah. and you could see the Milky Way and like the, when I look at this it just it's that density oh. but it's gone so I'll stop talking about it now <laughs> <laughs> oh very pretty colors very pretty colors so this is your beryl so you've got your aquamarine your morganite your um uh, beautiful Heliodor, your Goshenite, um, little emerald colours coming through here as well. So they, it's these wonderful kind of pastel. Wow. Beautiful kind of pastel, um, pastel colours that you've got coming here. Again, stunning aquamarines through to your pink morganites, through to your golden beryl, which is your heliodor. Again, back through to your aquamarines, you've got some emerald shades coming through there as well, back into your heliodors, your pink uh, morganites, and then again, your um, aquamarine, it's gone, it's gone. There we go. <laughs> we, we're gonna run out of jewelry. <laughs> Box, oh my gosh. These have been concave faceted. The quality, I mean, to be able to do this concave faceting, you have to have a caliber of gemstone that has the most exquisite clarity because without that clarity, you're not going to see the dynamics of the concave faceting. Right, we've got six, 50 carats. I mean, there's a, like a laser light show going on inside of these, a laser light show. Look at that. I love the way it like sucks the light into a vortex, you know, in the center of the gemstone. It's almost like you can put your finger in there, like it's bottomless. Just, it's gone. It's gone. Cool, cool, cool. So, um, right, should we have a look, should we have a look, should we have a little look at, at Rachel's jewelry? 
I'm just blown away that you could have made this in two lots of six, three days, <laughs> six days. Um, and, and a few evenings, I'm not so cheap completely, but yes, um, three, three kind of working days for each, but there were long working days, we literally had to get up and then wouldn't go to bed till one o'clock or something, so you crack pack everything you can in there, yes. but um, you know, uh, well that's what you've got to do and it makes you work, it makes you think very quickly, it makes you creative and um, I have to make sure it's good enough for being on TV. I've got to make it really well. So, and also I've got to make things reproducible that people can um, can make the same thing mm -hmm. again. So all of that goes through our minds when we're making the pieces. Absolutely. But all the guest designers um, do a fantastic job, amazing job. And I've, I've never worked with mesh. I went, well, last time I got worked with mesh. I got given it, made a Celtic knot with it, and then thought, I'm really scared of this, mm -hmm. and didn't, couldn't, couldn't work with it. But I got given it again, and because I've seen the fantastic work by Gemma Crow and the fantastic work by Alison Tarry, mm -hmm. and people, and I, it made me think, I can do something with mm -hmm. it. And then I actually went, revisited it, and I've had a, a challenge and a revisitation and a, an enjoyment of working with this material that it's incredible. I hadn't had before. They're like little, it's like lace work that you've created out of, uh, of jewellery, it's incredible. So the mesh is coming up at, in the 4pm hour um, and the wire and the cabochons are coming up in the next hour at 2 o'clock. Mm. Mm. So we're so excited, I can't wait to see that. <laughs> right, we move. We're moving on. We're moving on and gone. Box number three. Oh, now this is in a fancy box, so I know that this is going to be fancy. Ooh. Oh, how pretty is this? Done for you. Oh, no, I haven't. I've got a ring. Ah. Do you know what? It is. It's, in, it's inside here. I love it. I love it. I thought you had to put your own gemstone in, but it comes with. So you've got this gorgeous yellow enamel. Matches your nails, Kim. And it is pretty on its own, but then you also get a chrome diopside that you can just sit in the center there. <laughs> chrome diopside. <laughs> Rachel's whispering the words chrome diopside to me. And look, look at the quality of it as well. There's nothing sleepy or, um, you know, really dark. It's really vivacious. It's got lots of openness of color. And for, is this, that's not silver, is it? Oh my gosh. Bonkers, I think. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Cuckoo bonkers. That's crazy. <laughs> 7.95 today. I mean, you know, what could you sell that for? Sterling silver ring. It's not got a great lot of work that you've got to do to it. No. Um, well, what do you think? Uh, easily um, three times the price. Yeah, yeah easily, absolutely. But we've got dark side inside it. So it's, it's a fantastically rare gemstone. So, and... Uh, and a beautiful colour. It's absolutely an amazing colour. It is a stunning colour. It really is. Really open. And it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Wonderful. Right, box number four. It does look like a hairdryer, but it's a heated, <laughs> it's a heated craft tool. Uh, don't use this as a hairdryer. I just gave my mum a load of stuff. To, my auntie works uh, at a charity shop, so I just gave my mum loads of stuff. I was cleaning out the house, and there was a little portable hair. This is not a hairdryer. Uh, a little portable hairdryer like this. She plugged it in, and it blew up and blew the plug socket up and everything. And I'm so that sorry. Would, that would make your hair just like mine. And <laughs> straight away. <laughs> No problem. So, what what would you use this for? Your heated craft um, tool. Well, uh, it's uh, friendly plastic, um, and also um, when you're working with resin, you can um, I think you can heat the top of the resin to um, bring bubbles towards the surface, and also pick a gloss on the surface. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, wow. um, there is there are loads of other things, and but those are things I've used it use those things for actually. Oh. Um, the heat tool. I, it's, my mind's got a bit blank, but those are the two, two, two main things I can think of. And resin, actually, resin work. I mean, I've seen fantastic things where people put bottle tops in tables oh, and then wow. cover it with resin, and um, you know, and you can make wonderful things with oh, wow. resin pieces. Awesome. <laughs> um, we're asking in the gallery if we can make our creme brulee with this. I'm assuming you make creme brulee <laughs> and not a souffle. <laughs> it's like a, you could, could you blow torch the top of it like you could a creme brulee? No, I'm just joking. Don't, don't use that. Six ninety five. It's gone anyway. It's gone. Right. Box number five. Ooh. 
<gasps> oh, wow. It, oh, we've got a bracelet kit again. You know, people are always saying to me that they, you know, I help people to, to build businesses uh, online. That's mm. what I do full time. And people always say to me, you know, how can I start a business or how can I get a good return on my investment? Something like this that is already done, for, you know, that is just so easy to assemble and put together would be a great way if you're looking, you know, to, to make some, some money fast. Um, this is beautiful. You've got a stunning peridot, um, which is absolutely huge. Uh, 1.9 carats uh, in that peridot. Anything over a carat of peridot is classified as rare. So to be able to get that, you've then got that solid silver kind of brushed heart that you've got there. It's really pretty. Some jump rings. Uh, you've got lobster claw, claw clasp and some chain. Um, I mean, it's done for you. Yeah, I mean, next you month's birthday, so you've got anyone coming up in August. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, literally next week, um, you've got birthday presents for someone with their de birthstone in now. Absolutely, brilliant. And, and eight ninety five. Engrave it and put a little um, to their initials on the little heart. Is it stampable? That um, heart? It, yeah, it yes, looks like, like it is. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you could stamp their initials on or a special little. You could, but it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> right, box number six. I've got some earrings. Oh, these are really pretty. Shepherd's hook. Oh, wow. I mean, you could just wear these as they were, but be, these are going to be great for um, chandelier drops. Although, I, I would actually wear these just as they are. Again, in 95 stocks... <laughs> yes, in 95 solid sterling silver. Aren't they phenomenal? They're so pretty. Very kind of vintage. Very yeah, beautiful. Lovely, lovely, lovely designs, and really um, you've got all sorts of droplets of, of stones from the base yep. um, there. Um, and it can be, it can almost be a pendant finding as well. So you've got two pendant findings, oh, or yes. all sides of necklaces. Um, you've got two sides here, and you can do a four, uh, some four strands of the little delicate gemstones oh, wow. from it, um, and two sides. So you, not just earrings. In That's there. incredible. Because I mean, they're quite weighty, quite large they are. pieces. They so are. you've got earrings, pendants, necklace, side components. I love that. I would never have thought that with the side components, but I can visualise it when you talk about it. And over six grams of silver as well here. Over mm. six grams of silver. I mean, you, you know, what would you get if you just went and, you know, took one of these to, these to that cash for silver place and just melted it down? You know, not that I would suggest you do that. I would not suggest you do that. But when you look at those prices, you're like, what? Crazy. Right, let's move on to number seven. Oh, these are stunning. I love lapis. I love lapis. I was talking about lapis with my nephew last weekend. He's eight and um, really into all kinds of wildlife and nature. And so we were talking about lapis. So um, <laughs> Rachel's like focused on the screen right now. These are beautiful. They are absolutely gorgeous. You've got all of those wonderful, um, you know, little uh, pyrite inclusions that you've got in there. And, ah! That sort of thing. I mean, that's, if you're going to make, that's the little cats in my book, for example. Oh, my gosh. So, like so there's all sorts of things you can... We shall have a, have a look at this in just a moment. Mm. So, this is, um, this is the cat that's um, in Rachel's book. Oh. Yes, that was, it won't be on today, but um, that book has been on JM. And um, if you've got a copy... But um, that's the sort of thing you can create with that stone. That's you amazing. And you've also a, got a, a bracelet. That, that was in Making Jewellery magazine. And that's a um, oh tutorial gosh. I did for that. So all that's the potential, the potential of the, that, those cabochons to create those pieces. With them. That's wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. Oh, my gosh. I could just stare at that. Forever, the detail is just outstanding. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so they've gone. Let's move on to box number eight. Oh my gosh, this is lush. This is lush. Almost, I mean, this is weighty. Seven and a half grams uh, of solid 95 sterling silver. Look at the vintage design on this. Look at the detail. All of that real attention to detail. I mean, the epitome of luxury. Yes, that's that would for me. I'd create a um, going back to Indian Indian design yes. and um, maybe run that down and make a, a sterling silver little elephant, Indian oh, elephant wow. at the base. So that would incorporate and lots of strands of of, of stones coming down. So yes, that that would 
incorporate that that would inspire me to go make that piece yeah it's got has got that real kind of indian feel to it mm. hasn't it almost like um kind of mandala kind of yes. inspired design that you've got there it's just mm. stunning Fantastic. i love it and at, at 9.95 again you know and it's so weighty seven grams of silver i mean it really is luxury from start to finish beautiful it's mm. gone it's gone let's move on box number died um oh again oh we've got another ring oh this has got an opal oh my gosh i mean i'm really black country either. this has got an opal uh, i adore these these two colors together oh my gosh so this has got an opal two pound 95 with a genuine ethiopian opal in the center Solid sterling silver, navy blue enamel. That's not right, is it? That's not right. It's gone. Of course it's gone. Of course it's gone. I'm so sorry if you're missing out on anything. I really, really am. Uh, oh my gosh, these are amazing. Um, beautiful. Again, um, smoky quartz, all um, concave faceted. Um, I love the display box as well. I'm, I'm well into packaging. I don't know. I'm like, These packaging were gets on me. for a lot more when they first came on. I mean, that price is lower than the, when they first came on. Yes. And now it's been brought down, and goodness knows what's going to happen to it. But goodness the knows. work, the work, <laughs> and there's quality. They're incredible. And you've oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> £3.30 something each um, and look at the quality of the faceting though, Big look rainbows at the, coming out. the human element that's involved in this, those striations, that like laser light show that you've got, you know, pew pew pew, do you remember like the old, um, old computers and the screen saver used to be like, am I showing my age now, it used to be like yeah, lasery yeah, fireworks, firework yeah, type yeah. things, that's what it reminds me of, have they gone? Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, number 11. Ooh. Got some silver-coated pyrite. We are... Well, these are awesome. It's kind of like a disco ball in a gemstone. Probably just like a disco ball in a gemstone, but these are like, like cubes. Oh, fantastic. How fun are they? They are great fun. Goodness me. They They're are. Lovely. It's like a party in a gemstone. I love it. <laughs> there we go. I've just got my clearance, just put my clearance cleavage in that, um, <laughs> in that shot then. Little clearance. Um, amazing. Absolutely incredible. We are literally selling out of, we're having a bit of a dilemma right now because we've like, we're selling out of everything and everything's selling so quickly. We're not sure we've got enough to get through. <laughs> I could do a little demo. If we run out of time, I'll do a little <laughs> if we demo. we run out of time, we may have to. <laughs> Wowzers. We need someone to run to the They're gone. Hand. They're gone. Right, box number 12. You can tell a few jokes if you want or, uh, ooh. I can't believe how fast this is all going. So again, um, beautiful shepherd's hooks that you've got here. Where's my little tool? Here we are. These are lush. I love the detail again um, that you've got in these shepherd's hooks. Again, in solid sterling silver. You've got that framing all the way around with the topaz. And then you've got a little, almost like a little flower design at the back. Mm of the, let me just rotate those a little bit and you can see. So you've got a little that. pearl in there or something? Do yeah, absolutely. They've gone and... though, before we <laughs> can even discuss what we're gonna put in there. <laughs> Where, sorry? 13. One and three. Unlucky for some, 13. Um, ooh! Oh, now these. This is, so, this is just all my kind of jewellery today. All of it is incredible. Sterling silver again uh, in your shepherd's hooks. And then you've got this filigree work that you've got through here, which is just outstanding. Almost like a kind of fleur de lis type pattern that you've got there. I mean, fantastic. Again, just like the other ones, um, beautifully made, nice big impact. Um, you've got, you can have some lovely crystals and gemstones going from it. Yes. Um, and it's probably gone 
already has it it's gone yeah. I'm sorry I'm just like, <laughs> they're telling me my it's gone and I'm looking at you like oh but this is so lovely Rachel <laughs> right box number 14 it is a ring it's a ring with a huge oh my gosh check this out so this is your um, green gold quartz so and a sizable stone that you can set there uh, over four grams of silver and then you've got the green gold quartz in the center or a verde I think they um, call it sometimes there you go which is green gold <laughs> in Spanish this beautiful color I mean that it's 12.95 it's gone it's gone it's very exciting actually seeing all these things coming on and it <laughs> is isn't it it is, isn't it? You don't even need me. No. No. I could have just, like, instead of doing six and a half hours today, you could have just had an arm. Conveyor yeah. belt or something. <laughs> Conveyor belt, I love that. Right, so you were talking earlier about um, stamping and um, personalising pieces. This is lovely. It has the amethyst um, that you've got there at the top or at the bottom. Universally loved, and you can stamp um, quite a big message on there. Even as a as a as a pet tag, I know it's crazy, very expensive, very well pampered pet tag. A but pampered it's, um, pet tag. <laughs> a very pampered pet tag on the collar of oh. a very pampered pet. But it's beautiful. You can put a message on it, um, and it's big enough for that. And um, um, I think it looks quite a weighty piece. It is I a love weighty amethyst. piece. I love amethyst anyway. And so I do. Have anything I do. with amethyst in. But the pet market is huge now. I mean, in terms of pampered pets like we talk about, that market right now is, I mean, pet mm -hmm. jewellery. I'm sure there's yeah. got to be a niche somewhere for, for, that's what I might start making. Pet jewellery. Pet I'm inspired. <laughs> Bug 60. Oh, these are really, oh my gosh. These are like little works of art. I saw those in the box before I came in. I thought they were so pretty. Aren't they? Mm. So detailed and so pretty. Oh, I love these. I love these. Um, these are gorgeous. So you've got the um, coral uh, coloured shell that you've got here that is carved. So it's all been hand carved into these beautiful butterflies. Um, they so glue them on the hair grips. Glue them on hair grips and stick them through your hair. I mean, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Um, ah. So, and um, put them through the pieces that I've got today because they're nice and lightweight, so they can go on headbands and tiaras and things without weighing them down. The last thing you want is weighty stuff on, on things like that. So that they, those would be lovely amongst floral pieces. Beautiful. On those sort of um, creations. Okay. Yeah, and they're they, lovely colours. They are lovely. I can imagine they're just sitting on the on delicately on, on a flower that's been created. Mm. They're so pretty. And like you said, they are lightweight as well with them being the shell. Yes. And you've got that wonderful shimmer on the surface. And guess what? They're going even lower. They're going even lower. <laughs> Fifteen pieces. Nice flat back, so they'll sit nicely and they glue nicely. Oh, and wonderful. there's the, also that little gap where you can actually wire around either side. I think if you look at the front, there's two channels, so you yes. can actually put wire around either side. So they're really, really easy to attach. Fantastic. I think they're just really kind of quirky and detailed. I love how, how mm. the attention to detail on them is so pretty. So pretty. And a five pound, five pound note, you know, yeah. add them to your order. You may as well. You may as well. Why not? Uh, almost gone. Fantastic. I think we've got 14 chances left. Good luck. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're so pretty. There we go. They've gone. But oh, I've got some more if you missed out on those. These are slightly different though. Oh, these have got really, almost like a, um, like a coppery kind of colour to them. There we go. Take a look. So the same um, design, um, but these are, they're just called coloured shell. Okay. Mm. <laughs> They are coppery, aren't they? It's amber, amber colour, cob mm. colour. So you can put them with uh, some nice turquoise and turquoise, turquoise size or turquoise itself. All sorts of different colours. Mm -hmm. Lapis would actually go well with it. I was just thinking that. No. I was just thinking that. So, uh, again, exactly the same use as I said before. Flor floral designs and speckle them in, scatter them in amongst your, mm. your flowers that you're creating. Beautiful. And um, on hair grips and little girl's hair, absolutely beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I love it. They're gone, they're gone, they're gone. 
<laughs> we like, literally, we've got through so much jewellery. Um, oh, I love Druzy. These are really pretty in the silver. It's almost like a kind of gunmetal type colour as well that you've got here with the Druzy. There's only 14, so I'm just, I might not just say anything, I might just put the jewellery on and go on. <laughs> Lovely, lovely, lovely things. Um, I would, um, you could tessellate them um, into a flower. Each one is a flower petal to make <gasps> a really big impact pendant, or oh, a single yes. one as a ring, earrings, you know, all sorts of fun with it. And they're quite chunky but sparkly. And they are. And they've got that because uh, they form naturally in a, in yeah. a geode, aren't they? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Mother Nature's so kind all, of done all, all the that. faceting already. Yeah, so and it's got that amazing sparkle. It is. It's really beautiful. I love that. I think, you know, I wear a lot of bracelets, and one of these kind of on a, a leather cord or just on a simple. Yes. Would be like my kind Fantastic. of style. But we're going to recap the pack of three cords because there's a, there's a few left. So um, <laughs> the, if you've just tuned in, your luck's in. Because if you missed out on these before, we've got a few left. So, this, these are so bright and vivid. This was the first, um, first one that we did um, at the beginning of the hour. Gosh, where's the time gone? Crazy. Really bright, um, really bright flamingo, fun, heart fun sassy glowing they, they're almost like they've got their own light source you know they've got yes. that wonderful glow because they're quartz yes. and they, they, they're clear, quite clear gemstones they're letting that light through so they're not actually as when you look at them from afar they're not actually as um, uber bright as you imagine they're mm -hmm. absolutely really nice um, color mm -hmm. and so putting them in um, sort of uh, three layers stretches yes. <laughs> you know and you've got um, nine nine stretches do you reckon you can make out of absolutely those? absolutely so that's that's value for money definitely straight away but, but they're they're pretty and they're fun and they i think are. that's the, that's the impact they're going to have and i love to be talking about them uh, accenting them with black obviously my nails are black today um and i think that would be be lovely i you know you, you're just talking about stretchy then and i was imagining an alternate kind of pink and black kind of stretchy yes Awesome. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. There we go. That's mm. gone now. It's all gone. Sorry, I was a bit premature there. Right, so um, we still have a few of the clear quartz cabochons. Uh, only 12 chances left. So I'm going to get these out and put them on here and attempt to hold them up on here, which I'm not very good at. So, but we'll balance. Oh. They're like little crystal balls. I love them. All pear cut. And at five pounds today for nine cabochons. Nine cabochons. Beautiful. And you've been, mm. as I said, you, you were using this on um, Absolutely. I put one that um, in the main, in one of these pendants here. Um, I so literally had a cascade of them. Mm -hmm. um, and so you could add them in, if you're buying the kits, you can add them in and make a, a beautiful sort of a, a necklace with the massive impact with, imagine all the cabochons set around in a necklace and mm -hmm. then cascade down. It'd be a beautiful, beautiful necklace. Um, it's got the clarity. You can set it so you can't see the wire through from the back, um, but if you want to make a little pattern in the back of a, of a setting, it will show through quite right, right prettily. Oh, yes. Um, and uh, you can put them on copper pieces and you'll see the copper through from the back um, and uh, filigree pieces. So, and rings, you've got how many rings have you got there? Um, and also there's pairs and um, you've got a potential for earrings as well, so you've got some pairs in there. Yeah, they're you? all pairs. Um, they like, are, yeah. Like paired shapes, I meant. And, they're a, they're um, a nice weight as well. Like, I'm not big into, like, low bluggers, you know, when they you mm. pull your ears down. Yes. So they're, in, they're a lovely weight for earrings as well. Absolutely yeah, beautiful. they've gone, though. Right, uh, let's move on to box 12. Um, let's do it. Oh, I was going to say my box 12 is empty, but it's not because there's a big box on top of box 12. Um, wow. This is an Indigo Blue um, Flitter Glue kit. Flitter Glue starter kit. What is 
flitter glue. Let's take a look. So you have got probably the best glue for flake and glitter stamping. Mm. So you've got the, there we are. I will hold this up beautifully for you. So you've got the flitter glue, um, as I said, for your um, uh, glitter stamping and for flakes. You've also got your easy peasy stamp cleaner. Um, there is what looks like stampage and also um, some foamy stuff. <laughs> there we go. So Perfect. sponging stuff onto um, acrylics or yeah. um, stuff onto your your stamps. Okay. And you can create these for card making or stamping onto polymer. You can actually stamp with acrylic onto pot bake polymer clay and make beautiful patterns with it. Beautiful. Um, and it, it, these, this is a renowned, well-known brand. Yes. Um, it sells across the, cra the craft world. So mm -hmm. it's it's you know it's really really useful as as a kit that's put together by an expert in that in that, her field. And um, so, and I, I'm, I would like to, I haven't, I'd like to, yes, I'd like to see whether I could um, use that cleaner to actually clean some of the, when I put um, indelible pen on my silver and my copper ah. to get bits off it, actually, it would be useful to see whether I could do that with it. But, there you um, go. There, there you go, well, well it's gone, so you <laughs> won't find out, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, where are we off to next? Box what, sorry? Yeah. Eleven. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is this is awesome. This is very vintage. Oh, I love this. Oh, it's like fabric. Oh, I love it. It's we've only got 19, so I was just uh, let me just show you this part of the length. There we go. So you have got one meter of brass, um, black enamel brass uh, in this wheat chain, which I absolutely love. It's got this real tactile quality to it as well. You know, it's got this wonderful, it's almost like fabric against the skin. The fluidity of, yes. of movement. Absolutely. Um, can, and it's got, I love the, the pattern. Um, you can, I've seen some wonderful designs and guest designers. I've not, not actually personally worked with it, mm -hmm. but I've seen some fantastic designs. Um, you know, someone like Gemma Crow would create an amazing piece of it. Um, and also with the length you've got, mm -hmm. you've got possibilities of, of layering and um, shaping and creating yeah. bracelets and necklaces and a whole suite with it. But Absolutely. I'm thinking yeah. like, um, you know, clutch bag as well, something like that. You could... Yeah, definitely. don't know. Just, it's gone anyway. <laughs> it's gone. So, um, there we go. <laughs> After the break, we have got two back-to-back -back star buys um, and we have also got um, Rachel's kit coming up as well. So at back-to-back -back star buys, we've got Sapphire coming up for you um, and um, we've also got another cheeky star buy as well. Um, so before we get to the break, we're just going to have a quick look at some of these masterpieces. I cannot wait to see your demonstration. You. It's going to be amazing, yeah. amazing. And um, there'll be more kind of sellout deals coming up for you as well, considering, well, I think we've got through like three hours worth. <laughs> Fantastic, fantastic. Um, so yeah, we've got the, the kit coming up at two o'clock, then we've got the other part of the kit as well with the mesh coming up for you at four o'clock. So super excited about that. In the meantime though, if I've not met you before, hello, my name is Emma. Um, we'll be back on the other side of this with the gorgeous Rachel Norris. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you in two. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. We here at Jewelry Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service 
and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO Reviews. Buying with Jewelry Maker Online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalized offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. It couldn't be easier to buy from Jewelry Maker with all the information you need right there on screen from the item code and the product description right down to the price. And whether you're buying at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So what are you waiting for? Simply telephone our free phone number or join us at jewelrymaker.com and start your jewelry making journey today. Jewelry Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend with us £4.95, you will get a free welcome pack. That welcome pack will give you pretty much everything you need to get started. From a manual, which will help you to familiarise yourself with all of the items that you're going to be creating and all of the products that you need, including tools and findings and threads. You'll also get a DVD and step-by-step -step project cards. These cards and the DVD will give you the chance to be able to create a wonderful arrangement of different items of jewellery. Plus, you'll also get a free three pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. So, getting started with the Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. So why not give it a go today? Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. Here at Jewellery Maker, we love seeing your jewellery creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewellery blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewellery underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. You can now book Jewellery Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewellery Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the book now button, fill in the required fields and then press continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Um, hope you're having a wonderful Saturday. Um, it's been a, a bit of a, it's been a bit miserable, hasn't it, in the, the last few days? It has. I'm, I know. I put the heating on yesterday. I put the heating on yesterday. I couldn't believe it, it was that cold. Um, we're going to start off um, with a couple of star buys. Hello, I'm Emma, by the way, for those of you I've never met before. It's awesome to be here today. Um, we actually have been running out of jewellery. It's been that busy. It's been absolutely crazy. But I'm going to continue with the star buy right now. Double star by on a strand of sapphires yours will come minus my hair um, take a look uh, an entire strand of beautiful um, sapphires so we've got 44 chances available um, I love the organic feel of these sapphires you know that's what I really really love uh, about these sapphires you have got the most um, wonderful as I said organic feel very natural um, lots of different kind of varying different uh, shades and hues and nuances and you know when they first discovered sapphire um, as a, a, a in a river a, as a little bit of kind of river rock um, you can imagine you know this really in its in its infancy when when it was potentially first discovered um, with these wonderful wonderful um, muted kind of blues that you've got here almost with that kind of gray undertone 1695 1695 um, beautiful 286 carats and this in itself you know is already on a strand this is in itself you know you could literally 
you know, just put it over the top of your head and you've got a strand of sapphires, you know, which is amazing. And you know, when I go to, oh my gosh, five pounds for sapphires. <laughs> I almost fell off my chair then. That would have been amazing. That would have been amazing. Uh, so many of you have got this in your shopping baskets. Make sure you do uh, check it out. Don't want you to miss out on these for £5 notes. I mean, to be able to advertise your jewellery as, as natural sapphire, that, to me, that's incredible. Like, I'm all about business. I may not really um, know a lot about actually making jewellery as of yet, but, um, you know, I've been in business for, for a long time. So I look at really the wow factor and you know, if you've got a stall or something to be able to showcase that you're selling genuine sapphires. Trees of life um, and setting in resin, I mean the, the, and also Mark and all the, the people who are fantastic at designing with nuggets, they will, they will create some fantastic designs with that as genuine sapphire as their amazing. base gemstone, absolutely amazing. Beautiful, Beautiful. gorgeous, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> There you go. I mean, you know, birthstone jewellery coming up to September, you know, mm -hmm. stretchy bracelets. Everything. I mean, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I've got another strand. I can't talk today. I've got another strand of sapphires. Uh, a little bit, little bit more length to this one, a little lengthier. Um, two extra centimetres, I believe. So if you missed out on the last one, um, then jump in and get these. Or again, you can multi buy. Well, we got 100 in this strand. So we got good stock, good, well, good stock in comparison to what we've had for the rest of the day today so far. Gorgeous. Again, I love, you know, you mentioned the earthy earlier. tones with, in that one. The earthy, the, yeah, sorry. To yes, earthy tones, so you can mix it with some metals and it will really bring it out. Yes. Um, and, um, so, and it's got so much interest in that one. It it's has. not just a flat colour, it's got all these wonderful... Um, um, spectrum of colours it within is. it, and I, I love those earthy tones. Well, it's I do. Fantastic. It's really, um, yeah, it's it, it's quite, it's really organic in its in its colours, and then also, yes. like you said, has lots of different earth tones. Put it with hammer, some hammered copper mm -hmm. and um, pieces, and some sort of you know hammered copper shapes, and then have these as, as sort of drapes in between oh, and around. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. I love it. Uh, well done, Gail and Jane and Christopher and Mark and Lynn and Wendy and Heather, collecting in Somerset in Florida. Lovely to see you. Uh, Full Kirk, um, Cardiff. We, we're all, we, we're global. We are global. Absolutely. And uh, again, at 4 95 today, to be able to, again, showcase actual genuine sapphires. Just beautiful. Well done, Marilyn and Debbie. Well done, London and Yorkshire. Fantastic. I'm excited because now I get to have a look at, um, at the kit, which I'm so excited about. Um, we've actually got, you know, you're just talking about copper and, uh, and bronze and earthy tones. We've got this coming up as well, which is gorgeous with those Fantastic. sapphires. Sorry, I just got all distracted. <laughs> I come here and I'm like, mm, I don't really know much about making jewellery. And by the time I go home, I've got a whole collection that in my head. So <laughs> wonderful. So the first part of the kit is the cabochons. So I don't want to mess things up. Mm. I'm going to do this. Oh, and they will. There we go. <laughs> I've lost just the one. It was the blue lace at gate. So imagine there's two. Imagine there's two. I can. Yeah. They come in over. But they are absolutely beautiful little stones, actually. Um, and the blue, blue lace at gate has this wonderful striation in them. It looks it does. absolutely fantastic. And the colourways go well, so well together um, as, a, as a group of cavachons. They work very well together. So it's delighted, and you've got um, lines, yeah. um, lots of interest in the stones because it's not just flat colours. You've got two sets of stones that've got um, inclusions or striations in them, and yeah. they're fantastic. I love that with the blue lace agate. You know, like you said, you've got these wonderful kind of striations, but then also with the howlite as well. And I have a, um, you know, you've got, um, is this howlite or is it? Oh, it's magnesite. Sorry, my bad. My bad. I should really have looked at the description before I started naming the gemstones, but I, I love the I textures. Love, I love working with magnesite, actually, yes. because um, it has all the qualities and impact of um, turquoises and yes. other things, but it, uh, and at, at a really good price. But let's take it away from that. I still love working with that stone. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love like, working with magnesite. It's a great stone to work with. It always has interest in colours, and it... Um, 
like, that's in its natural form, isn't it? And yes. Then, and it accepts, and then I work with it in the dyed form. I added, I cheated and added two magnesite stones. Those are magnesite stones here. They're not turquoise. They're the magnesite. That I love working with magnesite. Yeah, it's really interesting. I often incorporate it into my pieces. Beautiful. I love it. I, almost like a marble kind of thing um, you've got yes. with the, the yes. textures. Sort of Such small. an interesting stone, and you're more likely to get those wonderful textures yeah. um, in in the magnesite. Um, awesome. Yes, just Let's because it's such it. a desirable impact pattern. Are you ready for a big draw? Yeah. So at forty-seven pounds and seventy-five pence, this is where we should be closing. But I will tickle the price. <laughs> what you? <laughs> That's a thirty-four pounds and eighty pence saving. Thirty-four pounds and eighty pence on the mm. saving. And that they're is fantastic gemstones. I mean, as I say, if you've got a copy of my book, mm -hmm. uh, you you can incorporate those into uh, one, two, three, four, probably five, six of the, at least of the of the designs in my book. That's crazy. Okay, so that's that will help you. That's amazing. I mean, yeah. I. I I, I can't, I just genuinely, we become a little complacent because we see these kind of prices, uh, you know, every day. Mm. And just really putting it into perspective and going to this crystal shop because the other day. sourcing gemstones, if you're going to go onto, even online or whatever, and you're trying to source your gemstones for a particular project, um, you've got to pay PMP on top and... Um, and, it's, and you're looking and time it takes to source the gemstones yeah. then to come to you, actually having a, um, a bundle, really, of, of stones coming your way, then you're ready to work with them more quickly and yeah. you've got everything you've, you need to source more quickly. Absolutely. And the colour palette just mm, works so well together. Such a beautiful palette. The blues and then those, those wonderful, like you've got the deep kind of midnight blues from, from mm. the lapis and then those more kind of like pastel, kind of mm. dreamy, serene blues. Um, and then, you know, throwing in the, 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 the quartz as well. And of course the, the magnesite, just, just stunning. Because really beautiful. You don't, again, you've got we're working with blue and gold here, but again, um, those stones will work with antique bronze, the coppers, the silvers, mm -hmm. all the other wire you've got as well. So yeah. it will work really well with all sorts, all sorts, so. Awesome. Which is fantastic. Looks like that's probably going to sell out. Um, we'll keep you posted. So the second part of the kit is the wire. So this is the... Excuse me. It's quite not weighty. very ladylike. It's not quite heavy, isn't it? So... Oh, I've got it. Thank you, my lovely. It is weighty, isn't it? It is weighty. Did you like that? That was my putting my necklace on in the mirror face. Um, so, <laughs> you've got the blue coloured copper wire. In fact, you've got, I mean, this is this colour palette together is phenomenal. So, idea. you've got the, the beautiful rich blues that you've got here. Thank you. So, we've got 100 metres there. And here's just some examples of amazing I mean and you're so right I mean that magnesite just works beautifully and just that little hint of gold that you've got coming through there and th uh, this though I mean this though that's what we're going to learn to make is this what we're going to learn to make yeah, today so we'll try and see if we can fit it in time but we, we've got lots of time now because we have being so good because everything's um, sold out so <laughs> So yes, we've got the blue and the gold, and the fact is that blue wire, it's, you've got stacks of it. Oh my goodness, and the impact, I'll, I'll um, bring on another piece I've made um, without wire in the kit, but showing you the impact of that colour mixed with other colours. Oh. You see, and you can see how you can use that wire um, in with other colours and with antique bronze to create a really subtle, beautiful tone. And if you turn it around just to see the shank, and that's the bit that just I really look. want to show, because that's actually, you've got that blue wire that's in the kit in the one mil, twisted, and with some lighter blue, turquoise, and then sat alongside antique bronze, and it becomes something that's dual-like in itself. So don't worry about that reel coming to you as a reel. Um, you can mix it and, and also create a really sophisticated look with that wire. Wowzers. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That's okay. This, um, this is, right, uh, Kim's just said, this is one of the biggest savings she's ever seen on a kit. So we're going from 52 pounds and 75p, and you've got, <laughs> this is crazy, uh, the gold wire as well that you've got there. Are you ready for this? It's gold plated, isn't gold -plated, it? Gold plated, yes. Gold plated wires. Gold well. plated. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There oh we go. Goodness. 
goodness, yes. And uh, that'll sit on your workshop and it'll be a valuable friend to you when you need to put some blue wire and things. Yeah. Um, goodness. Gemma's Bluebird, you can adapt that to um, that beautiful Bluebird she made. You can incorporate some of that blue wire into, into her design. Mm -hmm. um, gosh. Yeah, it's for, for flashes of colour, you can pop, that, pop those in. That's what I use it for. It's incredible, and I just love, I mean, just the, the subtle, almost your kind of um, London blue, kind of denim blue, kind of coming mm. through with this one, whereas this is that more kind of cerulean, it's like satin. midnight. It's like a satin. It's yeah. a really lovely colour, and I've done it in a plait. Um, I'm going to put it around cause, um, just to show you. The, the colour on its own, it's plaited. Thank you. But can you see the impact, actually, of the design of that plaited? Um, coiled wire and you, it looks like um, a satin finish like a it material um, but it's got a beautiful color to it actually that wire so on the reel don't get it off the wheel work with it and um, you can create really sophisticated uh, really high-end pieces from it that's incredible and um, the phone lines have gone crazy the web has gone crazy there's way too many names there but uh, Val, Jackie, Sean, Janet, Karen, Kathy, um, well done to each and every one of you. I am going to go and have a mosey on over to uh, Rachel and to, I'm just, I can't stop looking at these pieces. They're amazing. Thank you. I'll go and put them, I'll put them back on while you... There we um, go. Thank, Thank you. you. That's okay. Just put them on. And you see, a lot of this kit contains, it's 0.6 and 1 millimetre wire, isn't it? So yes. we're going to try and learn some techniques with um, the 0 point, using those two wires um, to form the gizmo coils. And I've added in, I've got to say, I've added in some 0.4 millimetre wire to, to, for the weaving. So, you know, if you bring in some 0 0.4 millimetre wire, and I was going to quickly show, but we have sold out, but some of the designs in my book that you can, that you can, make with some of the cabochons as well so oh not gosh. just restrict the designs that's that we've got here so i'll take those away because we're going to get on with the but we can have a look at them yeah, later as, right. as we've, got, time. <laughs> we've got loads of so, time we've got to sell <laughs> you've got the beautiful moth and there's what fantastic oh, things that. and the little and the little gecko <gasps> piece as well oh my to make as well so my grubby hands so there's all these sort of things you I, I basically created a cabochon um, in all the designs in the book, I tried to put a cabochon in there. So when you s saw those, that bundle coming up earlier on, I think I thought, you know, perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. So I'm going to put those away slightly and we can have some fun and learn some gizmo techniques, if that's okay with please, everybody. Please, please. I'm going to settle in over here. And I've also bought some Viking knit because I can see there's a draw plate coming up as well. So we can, one of those pieces is a, is a triple ply Viking knit. Yes. Um, piece. So I've just basically showed what you could do with 0.6mm wire. You've got mixing with other colours, that's not in the, showing that blue in there with the antique bronze. You've got the plaiting of the 06 You've got the Viking knit with the 0.6. I love the Viking knit. And various techniques of gizmo coils with the 0.6 as well. Just showing that all this of versatility from my point of view and another designer will come up with even more things you can do with those wire combinations. So Starting off, I don't know whether we're bringing this on at some point, but we've got professional gizmo. And, yes, we will you know, in, in a little while. That's right, let me know when you are. Um, but what we're going to do is make the, um, the shank of the bracelet first. OK. Um, actually, really, when you're, you're doing, making your bracelet, you really should make the little snake head first. Um, and then you work out the length of your bracelet shank. Right. But we're just going to cover that technique first. OK, just makes sense. Just because I know the length that I need to make. But I would recommend making the little snake head first and then measuring around your wrist for the le length of shank you need to make. And then and I, what I did is I just wrapped a bit of scrap wire around and then unfolded it and realised what, it, what, it, what the length makes should sense. be. Right, so um, in the bracelet shanks are, are, is all sorts of different... i hold it up to camera. Um, coils uh, of wire. I don't know whether you can, can you see that. Is that? Can, yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, you can. There's a simple coils of 0.6. There's be um, beads threaded on. And if you need those Mayuki beads, um, you can either use three mil um, of the golds or Mayuki bead code. I'll have to get stuff in a minute. Um, I have two tubes. Oh no, sorry. I'll get that in. I've got the code. If you do need it and you look out for it, it's QBB D29. QBB. D29, and those are the beads I used. Um, and there's, basically, I used the professional gizmo to make the bracelet shank and all these, these components. 
So I'm going to get one out. Let's do a simple coil first of all. Okay. I'll just show you the length you do need to make first of all because before because I'm going to use a very much shorter length to actually make. But you need to make a length about this long. Right. Okay. And that is probably about a meter, isn't it? Yes, it's probably I would about a meter. Say, so it's meter lengths of these of these things. So you need a meter of the of the 0.6 blue on the one mil, and a meter um, of wire with a 0.6 on the gold on there. And you can either put in twisted wire or beaded. Because you haven't got the beads, you can twist the wire and you can put a wire twist instead of this component. Mm -hmm. So you can make the same thing up with this or this. Okay. Okay, so we're going to make a, a simple call first. And the professional gizmo is fantastic for making any lengths of calls you want, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Because it comes with mandrels, five mandrels of all different sizes, and that's, that's fantastic. Um, but, and that makes wonderful necklace lengths of coil, but what we're going to do is make even longer lengths, so we can do that by coiling directly onto the wire itself. Okay. Now, I... I'll be back. Of, because of the, the time in the studio to actually make a coil, because it does take a bit of time, I'm just going to, I'm afraid, do a short one, but just to show you the technique. Now, um, I've got a simple one millimetre length of wire according to the length you want, and I actually end up doing really quite long metre lengths. You just have to be really careful and hold the wire up with your fingers as you go. And you've got two brackets that come with it. Um, I have gone and put a different bracket here because um, this is the bracket that comes with the deluxe gizmo. Okay. And so basically, I interchange both. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm using the deluxe gizmo in some projects and the professional because there's three three different levels. Right. So should we go through what we've got in the in the gizmo? Yes. That'd be Let's lovely. go through what we have in the uh, professional coiling gizmo. So you have got a gizmo. <laughs> <laughs> so. It's got um, a fantastic coiling mechanism here mm -hmm. with a drill with a chuck there. You can insert the wire directly into it or you can Perfect. insert the mandrels directly into it. Mm -hmm. um, and it comes set up in one direction and then there's a little key there and an Allen key comes with it and you can use the Allen key to take it apart, take a mobile phone picture of it before you do and then you can assemble it back with all the little washers right in the right, in the right order. And then you can set it up left-handed or right-handed. Ah, wonderful. Mm. So that sounds like um, that's come from experience. Take a mobile picture of it before you yes, dismantle it. Yes, because there's little um, nylon washers okay. in certain places and, and it does squeak a bit. And the other thing, if it does squeak a bit, put a bit of um, WD-40 or whatever on it. Perfect. And a bit of oil or something. Perfect. So mm. this should be 34 95 but not today. Because if there was ever a day to get a, you know, a coiling gizmo, today's the day to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Today's the day to do it. What's it's the... fantastic value, and that is um, an amazing tool. You've got so much potential with it. Um, it's absolutely wonderful. Really, thank you. There we are. Thank you. Oh my gosh! So, and at, <laughs> at 19.95 today, take That's advantage. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so you are going to show us just coiling directly onto the wire and a few techniques with it. So, um, what I've done is put the one mil directly into the G, into the chuck so you can mm -hmm. actually not use a mandrel at all you can actually put the oh, wire wow. straight in there it's absolutely fantastic and I've got a little bit of point six, which I'm going to coil from the reel and then we have it on my lap now there's two things you can do you can either put it into the chuck itself or if you're working quickly um, basically I, I wrap it around here mm -hmm. and then press it over this um, ridge section mm -hmm. and then press it down here and then start coiling and that grips on quite happily oh. you just got to press as you go and you can see my finger next to the coil and that's guide acting as a guide if um, it can if you do lots and lots and lots of it it can um, hurt your finger a little bit so if you want to put a t bit of tape or something a bit of micropore just protect your finger as you do if you're doing loads and loads, loads mm -hmm. of them but to be honest if you're doing one coil it doesn't hurt at all it's just it, with me i'm doing hundreds and hundreds or something yeah. i'll put a bit of micropore next on on the skin just to keep it and then all i'm doing is turning the handle and the coil happens so is it really that simple or is that is, because you're it a is pro that simple it? and but you see i'm acting that is acting as a guide my, yes my fingers are holding this and it's like threading up through mm -hmm. now if by mistake you I'm doing a deliberate mistake do that mm -hmm. just undo it and come back and pull and come back out again push down with your fingers and then just continue coiling and then you can see you're coiling directly onto the wire and it's a tight coil then it's not because um, some of these mandrels 
um, they're fantastic, but they don't quite fit a one mil wire. So that when you coil it, you'll have a spreading of the coils, right. and they are the ones that the hair catches. Right. So if you're coiling directly onto the wire itself, that will be a tighter coil, and it won't catch your uh, hair absolutely. when you wear it as much. Yeah. So it's fantastic to coil straight onto the wire. I'm That's going to stop that one, um, and you can take that off, or you can, and you can slide it down. So what happens? I, you basically have a small end there. A long end there. Basically, I can carry on and do a really long one if I wanted to, just move the bracket. So I'm going to snip that there, or you can keep that wire for attaching to things. There's all mm -hmm. sorts of potential there. I'm going to bring that out, and then what you do, then just use pliers, grip the end, and you can slide that coil down to where you want it to. Oh. OK, and then snip the ends, snip the ends, and then you tuck the ends in around. So that's that. That's a coil made, so something like that. Fantastic. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is just have a look at twisting wire. So it's another thing you can do. Okay. So you get, um, um, uh, I, I use again a really long piece, and uh, one piece of wire folded over in a loop, and I squished it, put it into the drill, drill chuck, like that, and then I get another mandrel or a pencil or something, mm -hmm. or a door handle, and if it's short, if it's as long as my arm, I can stand there and twist and hold it, right. okay? But if not, you get a friend to hold it or you tie it to a door handle. If you're doing like <laughs> three metres or something in one go. So all you do is loop that round the mandrel. That means mm -hmm. that if you put your finger in through that, your finger will just, it'll cut, it'll cut yes. into your finger. So there I've got the mandrel to protect myself and then twist and, you, and make sure that is a lovely straight uh, line, no kinks, anything like that, and you'll get a lovely evening twi even twist. Hold it quite taut and turn the handle oh and you can see goodness. it really 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 quickly builds up and i used to i used to before this was invented hang them from door nails um in the in the beams and hang a weight from them and then twirl twirl them and it did take quite a while to actually form them on your own but look how you know, simple and that, quick that was beautiful and this when you first start it can spring out spring out be a bit careful but as you work hard on this wire it actually doesn't do anything it doesn't spring it just stays as it is. It's actually quite work hardened and it's lovely. You can actually use that to form a, um, a coil on its own. So That's you've amazing. got twisted wire there. So now we're going to form the bracelet shank. What I've done is used a standard, sorry, a deluxe gizmo mandrel, which is probably the middle one. You've got five, it might, no, it might be the, hmm, let me think. Yes, it's the middle one of the five. Gosh, I'm being really stupid. I think it is. It's not the, the big fattest one anyway. No. And I've got almost, I've gizmoed almost to the end. Mm -hmm. Now, because the bracket, you can see the bracket um, is this wide, what you have to do is do a technique where you hold it here and twist that last little bit. Right. Because otherwise, you only get up to this length. Mm -hmm. Okay. Makes sense. And you only get, you get that last couple of centimetres by pulling it out of the bracket and Just gizmoing here. Hold it like in place that, there. And do Perfect. it last few centimetres. Okay. Okay, so next what thing. What a great piece of kit. Yeah, it is. It's, it's so useful. Um, this, the, the, this one on its own is lunch you can take with you. Mm -hmm. And this one you can have on your tool bench um, at home and, and, and you work. And, but it's portable, it's packed, you can pack it away just as Brilliant. much as anything else. Do you want to bring anything else on or shall I show the next bit of the... Carry on, um, carry on. Fantastic. Um, just, <laughs> has anybody got gin or something while I'm just there? Uh, That's all right. I'm, so what I'm going to do, I've made lots of coils, as you could saw before, and I'm going to start attaching this to the, the shank of this. This is going to be the core, part of the strength, because if you coil directly onto the mandrel, and then take it all off and then try and bend it into bracelet shape. There's no structure underneath and it'll okay. start to fall apart basically. So this is going to act as cores inside and I often sometimes, if I'm putting a single wire through, will thread another core of 0.6 wire made on the very, um, on the smallest um, of the 1.2 millimetre diameter mandrel, okay. another core fit inside. That I make my bracelets layers of strength, so that when you curve them, they're going to, they're not going to separate. The cores aren't going to separate. And that makes fall sense. Apart. So popping the first coil around the mandrel, we're going to start away. I'm going to do this so that you can see. I've just, um, just going to do, start off with. I can do this by hand, or you can do it coiled on the mandrel, but I'm going to do it by hand. And actually, what I'm doing is just literally by hand, holding the mandrel and, and doing a coil. And what we're going to do is, is insert other coils into that. 
So I'm going to make it fairly tight. I would recommend doing the co the, these coiled wires first mm -hmm. before inserting twisted or beaded wires, simply because these move about mm -hmm. more easily on the um, the coil underneath and you've got more chance of fitting it in whereas you put a twisted wire on you might actually cause some damage in trying to add in another coil in between them so okay. I recommend putting these ones on first and then the other ones so I'm going to put the other blue the blue in between oh my gosh you see so we're going to layer and add in this creates a really sophisticated look basically mm. well I think it's sophisticated anyway cause I, I think like... it's sophisticated but uh, <laughs> I'm not very sophisticated uh. <laughs> no it's Everybody's lovely sophisticated. and then what I'm going to do is just tidy that up a little bit because I haven't had time to tidy it up. Add that in. So put another addition around this hand, very useful handle. I use these all the time for bending bales around and all sorts of things. Okay. They're so useful. So again, another wrap around and start to insert it in between the other one. And you'll see it building up. Now to start, that's a lovely pattern in itself. So you don't need to add, add, add in a third one, do you, to that one? That's a really Beautiful. fantastic it's pattern. very regal. And you're, I'm pulling quite hard, actually, to... Um, just be careful, I'm sorry if I hurt you. I'm pulling quite hard to insert this in between. It's actually just a little... As the wire also work hardens and moves around, you just have to use a little bit more force. I'm going to put my hand a little bit close to the, to the coils and I'm keeping going. There we go. The closer you are, you've probably got, just got a bit more fulcrum force. Mm -hmm. There we are, that's it. So there, you've got that one. I love it. So that you could use that as a brace, beautiful bracelet mandrel on its own. Now we're going to add in some other big things. Now I could add in a twist to that oh, quite yes. happily, or we're going to add in the beads. So we're going to add in the beads to this one because it's a bit of a technique. This is no different to adding in that coil. Okay. But I do recommend it adding, put, adding a twist in after you put these coil coils on. Right. So we're going to put the beads on just because you've got to do just do a little bit of a technique with them just to keep the beads together. So again, I used a bead spinner actually to put these on because it just takes a little bit of time to thread them on. But if you've got one of those bead spinners, they're fantastic to um, put the bead, um, get the beads threaded on something very quickly. They're threaded onto the point six, not the point one, or not the one point naught. Okay, so that's the beads are on the point six, and I'm just going to do a little cut, one single coil to anchor this in because I don't want the beads to come off when I cut the coil later on. It makes that's sense. That's one thing that has happened. I'm trying to think, yeah, I'll pop this in next to the side. And get batches of beads and push them together with your finger. I just want to make sure I'm going to have to put it in there. That's it. Put them together with your finger. So push the finger, your beads up the wire. Ah. OK. And then pull in. And then get another batch. So I'm doing this very quickly, you know what I mean. And then another one. And as you do this it will start to separate you can pull the, the cords apart if you like and then just start to wind this around you can see how you're building a really lovely pattern I think it's uh, just like sort of, um, a column in a, a Egyptian it is. temple or something like that it's very you know, kind it's of toot and common isn't yeah, it yeah, absolutely like palm tree very like patterns I mean I wanted to do I've got to say a scarab um, for this this beautiful DI with the stones, and the amazing Karen Crawford has done a scarab, um, beautiful scarab design. So I thought immediately, you know, she's got she's got this amazing scarab tutorial coming out. Um, so have a look have a look out for oh, her yes. amazing scarab um, design. It's absolutely fantastic. So that's another thing you can use these beautiful colours for. Um, and let's keep on going. Pulling, 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 and you can see I'm starting to almost reach the end. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. Really there? Then we just have to tidy all this up. Whew. Anyway, it's hard work, but it's worth it. So I'm, I've actually got some spare coil. I've come off the end. So I'm going to come back because I want to make sure there's some bare wire without beads on it because I don't want to have beads um, cutting a wire and then beads flying all over the place. No. So I need to bind that wire in a bit and so cut the knot off the end. Take that, some of the beads off. Ah. Okay, and then I'm going to pull that wire in around the bracelet shank. So it's, and use pliers. I want it to bite into the, the coil underneath. Okay, so that wire isn't going to go anywhere now. Perfect. So that's going. So we're nearly done with that. I'm going to take these apart, and then we need to strip the coils away a little bit on this side. 
I'm just going to show one end stripping way, and then if you can very lovely bring in something while I'm tidying up the other end, that'd be really, really kind of you. Awesome. And what I'm doing is bringing in, um, if your calls are too long, you bring in the flush cutter pliers, and this is where you've got to cut really gingerly. If you want to separate the coils a little bit with your fingernails, and cut really gingerly near the, only cutting the coil, not the core wire, because you don't want to cut the core wire at this ah. stage. I'm just going to slightly undo this, and then slip that off. It may not all come off straight away. It doesn't matter if it doesn't all come off, because I'm just going to just bind that in and then cut that now. So if I managed to get rid of that coil. Oh, could we have the air conditioning on? I'm so sorry to ask you, you probably got it on. I'm having one of those moments, you know, one has, I'm afraid. It's all right, I'm <laughs> like it all the time. There's, uh. there's no hope for me, honestly. <laughs> I'm always just ridiculously hot. <laughs> What can you, you say? <laughs> you wait till you get to my age then. Oh, I, I, just, I, I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then what you do, now I've tidied that end. I'm going to tidy up the other end, but I'd love you to bring something on to show everybody there. Can you see how I've got rid of the coils? I've got the core wire around this mandrel mm -hmm. and it's nicely around, so that's lovely. Perfect. So I'm going to tidy up the other side. Wonderful, and we're um, going to bring on... Can you select me please, lovely? Sorry. Thanks. Box 23. Oh, we've got a hammer. If I had a hammer. Oh, and it's, it's a texturing hammer. Oh, it's got loads of, yes. like, loads of really cool stuff with it. There's only 12, though. There's only 12. See it, like it, buy it. Mm. It should be really, 39 really 95 So you've got... Work. That's weird. I'm going to move my head out of that shot. <laughs> Hi. Um, so <laughs> you've got a texturing hammer. Um, there are, um, what, two, four, six. There's uh, 12... Um, different um, ends for the hammer. <laughs> Am I saying that right? 12 faces, sorry, with 12 faces. So that's so cool. I love this. So you've got that potential with the copper work <coughs> to, um, to hammer, create this. Look at the lovely oh, the dimples, it. you've got crosses, you mm -hmm. can have real fun with it. Um, so this is absolutely essential if you want to do copper and metal work and I love the way that you can screw the heads on and interchange them mm -hmm. and you've got uh, nylon for, for really soft work so you're not marking your, your metal you've got um, oh my goodness this is this is such, such amazing, good fun huh? I have a set of this and you can just create um, and these textures pick up the oxidization or, um, or if you're using indelible marker pick up that indelible marker beautifully mm. and you've got a sort of um, a depth and a, and a texture to the copper work that you're, you're, you're making Oh, I love these. I think they're awesome. They're really, really useful. And if you've never started to do any kind of, you know, texturing or you haven't kind of got into that, at 1995, you and may as well get it today. You know, it you're replacing um, tw 12 hammers. Am I being serious? 12 hammers with one hammer. It's there you amazing. go. 12 for the price of one. <laughs> uh, they've almost all gone. I've got nine chances left at 1995. What was the original price on that? Was so there's a, that's a £20 saving. That's half price. Half price. We love it. Take this we love it. And a great way to, you know, start, you know, draw, if, you, if you've thought that you would like to maybe start doing some um, hammering and, and creating some interesting textures, but you didn't want to spend £40 on a hammer before, do it now. 19 95 Absolutely. Oh, we've got a text. Oh, I like getting a text in. I'm blind as a bat, though, so I'm just going to go and get the uh, iPad. Thanks. Julie says, fantastic. I adore Rachel's wire work. Um, I have, have loads of different gauges of wire. I now need a gizmo upgrade. Excellent. Awesome. <laughs> you awesome. You won't look back. You'll, um, I mean, it's just so useful. It's creating this longer lens mm -hmm. um, that you can't do on, on any other gizmo at yeah. all. And it's got, and again, inserting your own wire into, the, into that drill chuck gives you all that potential. It's fantastic. I just saw how easy it was. And this is the mm. first time I've seen anybody use that because, I, you know, the first mm. time I've seen it. So I see designs like this and I've always wondered, gosh, that's so neat yes. and precise. How, how's that being done? And each so design will bring something different. So as you go through, you'll see that each design will bring something different and, and it'll be fantastic fun. You're going to have the, you have all the potential. You're going to watch thousands of designs. You're going to, and I always wonder that the presenters must pick up so much. They're, they're, 
closer than the viewer is, mm -hmm. and they're seeing this, these things being created every day. So Fascinating. It's wonderful. Beryl says, wow, awesome demo, <laughs> Rachel. Love Loving all your amazing designs. Fantastic show, Thank Emma. You. Thank you very much, Beryl. Thank Absolutely you very much. fantastic lady Beryl is. She's highly talented, and she makes, um, she's made some beautiful work. Beautiful work. Haven't you, Beryl? Yeah, there we are. So um, we're going to go and make the snake snake head to go within the the bracelet shank. On there'll be a photograph on the website um, which I've taken. It's got a ruler next to it, so you can print it out to the correct size that you want. Okay. Basically, what I did was place um, a cabochon in and draw round it with a one millimeter gap round and created a um, um, a loop for 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 the um, attachment bit mm -hmm. and then just formed the wire around it. I'm going to very quickly show you, in fact, let's do that bit. I'll show you the face bit first, but basically the same thing you do for that. Make, uh, use one millimetre wire. You probably need to use about 50 or 60 centimetres folded over, start in the midsection and form that loop. I'll show you the clamping techniques of following that diagram for the face bit anyway, so you'll see how I use the pliers in the diagram. Fantastic. I've also made a little, little backing plate Similar thing, you use the, the little short bit of wire, scrap wire, and make a backing uh, plate to fit over the, into the inner side. Just make sure it fits inside your shape nicely so that you can wire in and act as the backing plate um, for, for your work you're doing. And hammer the loop there, okay, and hammer the backing plate. Okay. Okay, so those two that you need to hammer. You just, use, uh, you just mm, bought a hammer. So yes, there we go. yes. <laughs> um, small face hammers or that hammer will do really well. So, Wonderful. Um, you know, look out for those. Next thing we're going to do is make a little face shape to fit over the cabochon. So I need to have um, a design. Now I know that design doesn't look like a face shape, but it is a face shape. And that will eventually <laughs> fold down to make a, a fa the snake's little snake's face. Oh, wonderful. So it's on taking the Egyptian theme and putting it with the snakes, you see. And all Love that it. Thing. And so a little bit of... Um, um, one millimeter wire can be used. Slightly scrappy piece, I'm sorry, but we'll use it. Um, and then I'm going to just use, use show you the plier techniques you use to to make the shape. Okay. Okay. Um, and then I know this fits my cabochon, but um, basically when you're first, if you've got a cabochon that's slightly different, but I'm hoping you can get the ones in the kit so you can work with it. Yeah. Just make sure that your shape fits over with the first bend at mm -hmm. least, so you can estimate the sort of the depth of the of the of the these two little spaces here mm -hmm. are the lips and lips of the snake and just make sure that fits over and touches the paper uh, when you actually make your first bend on either side and because some cabochons are not as de deep as others mm -hmm. so that's the sort of thing you might need to, to alter slightly right. you know you might get one that's a little bit fatter than the other so working over the paper chain those pliers and um, with a finer tip as you can um, I have several sets and I have a favourite set with a nice fine tip, in fact, yeah, you can see a slight difference mm -hmm. and I use the one with the finest tip I can. Um, and place it over, I'm sorry about the state of my nails, and then just use the pliers just to form round and I use one on one side, I did this and I made an um, impression of it and then did the other side, you know, like a mirror mm -hmm. image so that it would be exactly the same, yep. so that if you're making your own shapes, Form one side, press it into the paper, and make a little impression and draw over it, and then that's how I made the, the, the template for you. Fantastic. So I made the shape first, and then for unfolded it again, mm -hmm. so that you could have a template. So these are the, the snake's cheeks. That there's the eye shape, and then round, and then pulling the wire round, holding it with the fingers, and then shaping it, and then use flush cutters just to cut the end. And then what you do then is turn the piece over, if you like working one side, and do exactly the same shape, ah. so you're not having to struggle. Often I see people, I do too, if I try and struggle, and I'm trying to make it on this side, and you're trying to do yep. it in the opposite direction, it can really make it a struggle, but just turn the piece over, if you're making something in mirror image, and then work on the other side. Brilliant. And then what you need to do next, you've got a face shape that fits the template nicely. Mm -hmm. More or less. There we go. Fantastic. So the next thing we do is take that away and we're going to fold it over the cabochon. And you can use either the blue lace or the, the lapis. You've got two shapes that are exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And we're going to turn this shape, if I hold it up to the camera, into this shape. And you see you're making a three-dimensional ah. shape that fits over the cabochon. Okay. From flat to, to that. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And this fits over the cabochon 
like like so you see mm -hmm. like so so what we're going to do is just do some folding techniques or shaping techniques for that um it doesn't matter where you start but what i'm going to do is just um hold flat on the plane at the top and start to bend down the lips and again this will take some adjustment because the curve of the cabochon might be different in your cabochon to the one i've got mm -hmm. um, but i've got a sort of gentle curve and a little flat bit at the top clamp there so mm -hmm. we start to form the lips and then round for the cheeks keeping the flat as top the top as flat as you can and then bending the cheeks round and then um, we can start to mold it over the cabochon because this wire is so beautiful and soft and malleable you can use that so I've got the cheeks molded and the little horns or crests of the snake are there now that doesn't quite I know that won't quite fit the cabochon yet what I'm going to do is mold it over the cabochon and you've got a bead mat these are fantastic for putting pressure on without breaking your stone so look mm -hmm. up for the beadsmith sticky bead mat and they are fantastic I use them all the time they you know literally they're fantastic additions um, and then all I'm doing is using my fingers just to mold around that cabochon can you see and that's yeah, done yeah. so Fantastic. that's more or less fitting so that's ready to go yeah so if everyone lets me just know how much time yes okay yeah, okay so just so I can talk through and work through what we're going to do next cool next thing we're going to do is start working on the face so we're turning this little face into something that's embellished with beads and, and, and things like that. And these are beads I've added in, so I'm really forgiving them. They're not in the kit, but um, they're on all the time on Jewelry Maker, and mm -hmm. you can pick them up. And I've given you the codes for the Mayuki a little bit earlier on. If you um, reverse um, and get the codes, you can order them in, well, unless you haven't got them in the stash. Or you can use any, any 3 millimeter beads here for the nostrils and a 4 millimeter bead for the eyes fantastic okay and there'll be some coming up in the show i'm sure you can yeah, use gemstones some large ones coming up yes shortly. and you don't have to use um uh, metal beads you can use gemstones in there as well mm -hmm. so i've got some 0.4 millimeter wire that's it we'll talk through quite a bit i'm just going to show you some of the the techniques um this is what i added in and um, really forgive me but we were allowed for one of the first times that we're allowed to add in things that aren't in the kits because we're giving you so quite sort of wild combinations of wires and things mm -hmm. but i want to show you that you can use them with the stuff you've already got okay. to make some really good stuff you mm -hmm. know really really nice jewelry um and so i've added in 0.4 gold okay and that's what you'll need just to make that piece as well so add that in um and i'm just going to start off adding a just adding a little bit for the wire for the eyes and then we'll talk through the rest of the snake head we can mm -hmm. talk through it because the techniques are exactly the same it's just the order we do it in okay okay so i've got a sh quite a short piece in fact you probably need a longer piece to work with i'd work with about um well about 80 centimeters to a meter would we'll probably do if not you can always add it in it's not not a dreadful problem at all um, work about two thirds along from one end mm -hmm. with the longer end towards the center of the face. Okay. Well, at the corner of the left hand eye, that's what I started with. The left hand from, well, it's, it's the eye, <laughs> it's my left hand of my body. Right. Um, we're always getting this wrong. Just wrapping around the corner of the eye, and I'm leaving a slight gap there at the corner because I want to be able to add in a wire later on. So I'm not being too fussed about really, really covering the whole corner. So I'm rubbing a, wrapping around the, the eye until I get to the center point. And I'm using my fingernails basically just to, to um, wrap this wire and pull the little wraps as close as you can together until mm -hmm. the center of the eye and then stop. And again, because you might pull the, and distort this out of shape, you can always go back over the cabochon and just check its fit as you go. Mm -hmm. So a little bit quicker because we've not, luckily, not got everything tied in yet. I'm just going to show these, these first bits and then everything else I can talk through, so it's not going to be awful. Okay? Mm -hmm. So a larger bead can come in for the eye, crisscross. So I'm going from one side with one piece of wire and one side of the bead with the other piece of wire and pulling it. Okay. Okay, and I'm get my fingers in so that it stops the kinks in the wire forming. Put the piece down on the on the mat and then just gently pull from side to side and eventually and make sure we don't don't have any kinks forming then pull it into place. Put your finger over the bead to help it stay in place as you put that pull that last bit into position it'll click into place. Yes. Oh wow. Okay. So you've got the eye in place. And then pull it in 
continue wrapping down and we're going to stop with this end and cut it. We don't need this end anymore. And do you know what? I've given you the wrong instruction for earlier on. Make sure your longer wire is, is to the left and your shorter wire is to the right okay. because of course they cross over. Right. So I was an empty, okay? <laughs> and uh, forgot my Story own, my life. Yeah, forgot my own techniques there. And so we need a longer length actually to wrap across the snake. We're mm -hmm. going to cut that, which would have been the shorter length. So you're going to wrap on down. I'm going to be really, really, really rough with it. I'm sort of not neat, okay? Until we get to the point where you can add in a bead across the first nostril. So ah. point just here at the top of the mouth and lips and things where you can add in a nostril bead, which is a three millimetre bead of any, any sort you like. Wrap across the centre and then keep on going. Now we're going to talk through, the methods are exactly the same for every other piece of the snake. You're wrapping along, adding beads in crisscross and attaching beads. And we're just going to talk through the order now, OK? So I'm going to put that down and talk through, through the next step. OK. So what you need to do with this bit, you've basically um, formed that bit of the eye, wrapped across the nostril, wrap up to here and stop here, add in another bit of wire, wrap around this bit, mm -hmm. um, one short end here and cut, and then wrap with the other end along here and add in this bead with a crisscross. Okay. Okay. And then wrap on up to the top of the eye and leave this wire tail. And what we're going to do is just add on a couple of beads in the centre of the forehead. I'm just going to add one, but you actually add in, end up adding in quite a few. So I just basically put another bead on this little wire tail, wrapped across the other side of the eye, and this starts to add some strength and structure to the top of the little casing. P push, squeeze either side, and up. Push, push your fingers underneath to stop it distorting. Wrap, wrap once around, and then if you feel like you want to add another bead in, you can add another couple of beads and, and come back across, okay, and then um, cut and tuck in this wire. So that's your, your casing for the top sorted out. Fantastic. Um, the other thing, what else did I do? If I need to talk through it, I'll get to the next stage so I can see. I might, let me see, what did I do? Yes. What we're doing now is attaching this. This is ready to attach to the to the actual um, cabochon thing. Okay. Which I'll quickly show, and then we'll talk through. And again, we might. How much time have I got? I just need uh, to know. Probably about. I would say about seven minutes. minutes but okay. That's fine. What we're going to do go. is take the this bit. In fact, shall we just talk through it? Yes, we'll talk through it. Yeah, Let's talking through is fine. Whatever seems good. Take. Um, oh no. No, I won't. I'll take some point four and I'll just do it very quickly. Sorry, it's only because there's a little bit of juggling and then we can talk through it. Correct. So the next thing to do is add a bead on to the front of here and um, I'm going to do it very quickly. A longer piece of wire than this, front bit of the loop, add a piece, we're doing quite a lot of techniques, we're doing it ever so well actually, everybody, and then round to where we can start to attach everything together. Once we've done this, we'll, you'll be fine around there and just take a little bit of time wrap around the bead perhaps up and below it just to make it look like a little eye hmm. and then bring it into place make it look a little bit neater than this of course mm -hmm. and we get it down to a stage where we can start attaching the lips of the snake and the backing plates so I do the lips first you probably need to go along a little bit for about four or five wraps perhaps because you're going to make sure that you've got enough space to fit the cabochon over. So I think about four or five wraps on either side mm -hmm. and you can start to attach the little lip section. So hold with one finger and hold the little casing over the, over the top mm -hmm. and attach the lip section and do this on either side. Pull it in with maybe three wraps. I'm only going to do two for time. Okay, and on the other side. So you start to attach that casing. Again, oh, wow. check, it over the, check it over the cabochon the whole time, okay? And then that's done. And again, make sure the, net, the wraps are neat, because these, these are not neat. <laughs> and then next thing you do is bring the stone in, and you can start to attach the backing plate. Oh, right. So in it goes. And if you want to, you can attach a bit of scrap wire here to hold it all together to help you. What we need to do then is put the wire through the backing plate, you can, uh, and then round the side. And really what you're doing now is stitching everything together. Right. Okay. 
and then that's it on that side I would do three at least three wraps you can see it's starting to hold into place yes okay and on the other side stitch through the backing plate corner through the lip or, or wherever you feel is touching as long as it's fairly symmetrical on both sides and take your time if there's small fiddly paces use your pliers to pull it through Mm -hmm. and then pull it into place. I'll do several wraps rather than just more than, th than that. But you can see it's starting to hold itself together. That's incredible. And then what we're going to do then is talk through the next bit. So once you, you work your way round, mm -hmm. work your way round attaching this into place. Now what I've done here is work my way around with that bit of wire, binding round the backing plate and all the, all the and in fact actually I went to the backing plate a little bit first. Can we do a close up on this bit? Um, backing plate first, there, two wraps, and then wrapped along the cheek and the top first, and the, and the, and the top plate, top covering, and then stopped and I cut that wire. And on the other side, I added a, and you do this, I added a new bit of wire uh, in the centre of the wire, and then wrapped one wire oh, up here yes. and attached to the eye. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, tip it over. And then went to the centre. And the other side of the wire, I went along the cheek and ended ah. up there, binding it all together. And you also need to catch that other bit of the, the backing plate in as well. So you're starting to attach on four points the backing plate. Okay? That's incredible. Then as you come round, we're going to get the next stage, and I'll talk you through the next bits. So I'll put that down. So make sure... Gone. It's alive! <laughs> make sure... What I've done now is work with, through with the wires that we had. We have, we've got a wire here. We had two wires basically that ended up at the top here, didn't we? Because when yes. we went to the eye. And then what I've done is crisscross wrap and added in beads as we work down the back of the cabochon. So we're really encasing it in something that's not going to move anywhere. Right. And then ended up with a wire here. I threaded on some beads. This wire has been, this wire tail is left over from this wrap at the base from here. And we've got two wire tails in this one because what I've done is use this wire tail to the lower wire tail, sorry, I've just got to get rid of this, to, I'll be really quick, 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 is to wrap around the top, the top, the antlers, the antennae, sorry, a crest that elusive, and... That elusive <laughs> antlered snake that we have in the it's back just, garden. <laughs> it's clear it you can have whatever creature you like. <laughs> and um, so it's a, it's a chimera, chimeric creature. And then the, um, I did a couple of wraps around this long bit for the shank and the cresty things. <laughs> and then add in a three, a three four millimetre bead. Um, and add that detail. So I'm being really quick now because I just want to show. Sorry, you. we've got four minutes. Oh, oh goodness, we'll be fine. So that's it. And then cut and tuck in that wire. So that's got rid of. Mm -hmm. This one, um, I've already formed a little curl, which I just want to get um, with the round nose pliers. Curl, mm -hmm. curl the end, and then cut the end off to make it nice and curled because otherwise it won't curl properly. Love it. And then curl it with the very tips of your of your round nose to form a symmetrical curl. Love it. You can hammer those if you like um, with a s s um, small face hammer. Thread the beads on before you do the curl or else you won't be able to, to uh, thread the beads on. With this wire tail here, wrap along, trapping the beads in place. I'm trying, to, trying to turn this, yeah, wrap along, trapping the beads in place as you wrap along. There you are, sorry. Fingernail, push the beads in place, wrap around. Fingernail, put the push the beads in place, wrap around and then cut and tuck that in. So, oh, I won't cut it in because I, I might be able to make this up nicely. But there, that's the snake head done. And what we're going to do is thread it through the bracelet shank, da -da, and which I've made and, and tied it up the ends. Bring it off the, the mandrel now, because you keep it there until you need it. Mm -hmm. And then because you've got a nice big core wire in the middle, we can just thread it through. Ah. And I'll show you and talk through, if we get the finished article, yep. push it right up to the snake's head as hard as you can and then put these into, pull these into, start to pull these into shape. So if you make a bend here, then this won't travel up as you're making the, the, the uh, thing. So all, you, all I'm doing is making a little paddle, quite a, uh, and make sure that it's no bigger than the width of the loop you made at the other end, and then measure. Did we get the, the measure? Yeah, we were just then done. We'll move it over, but we just had a close-up on it. Um, to 20 millimetres long, this little paddle. And then 
hammer it and then weave on it and I've wo and then just wrap these around and form curls and press them in place. I'm going to get the finished bracelet and we'll talk through what we did. So um, you've got the snake head attached. Um, I've used some wire basically um, to bind through in the base of the snake's head back to the bracelets and back again to attach them closely together. So basically just use some spaces and get some 0.6 wire in there so basically this doesn't pull away from the bracelet itself. On this side I've done the same thing and added a few beads in. I'm going to unbend this and use nylon pliers if you can, but can you see what I actually did? I made a little paddle mm -hmm. and then gently bent it round to form the little clasp for the oh, next wow. thing. This will, will bend, pull and bend it round to form your snakes your um, um, bracelet like that. That's it. Ta da! <laughs> there we go. If you, anyone gets lost at any stage, message me and I'll, I'll try and help them. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. There we go. A lot of technique, a lot of technique in that, but there it is. just teaches you you can use 0.61 in the most amazing way and to create these bracelets. Wow. I, I, I'm, I'm blown away. No. I'm absolutely blown away. Um, we are so. I'm, I can't wait for the next kit now. I'm like, what's coming up next? What's coming up next? Have you got getting... a draw plate to, to bring on at all? Uh, do we one? have the draw plate to bring on? So I've got some Viking knit. I can show you how to. We've got to. We've got to go for a break. But go we'll, break. Uh, we'll we'll be we we'll doing that a little bit later. So um, you're with us till five o'clock. I am. Um, wonderful. Thank I'm with you, you till seven thirty. Um, we have got more miss it miss out coming up in the next hour. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in two. Thank you. You can watch our Jewellery Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives 50 If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker, Ivy House, Henley Road, Outhill, Studley, B807DU. Get making and good luck! Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. There are four easy ways to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 54,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Jewelry Maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call us today to place your order.
Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Uh, I'm Emma. Great to have your company today. Tis busy today. Tis super busy. Um, we're going to kick off with a star buy in this hour, which we always love. And I have got this awesome... I almost destroyed it then. Um, <laughs> we've only got 61. 61 chances and that is it we have got an awesome polymer clay kit for you today um, in this uh, vintage heart polymer clay kit uh, in this collection so it says love uh, you've got everything um, that you need to make yourself this uh, this lovely charm uh, in this clay project great gift idea for somebody as well maybe somebody who wants to start to make their own jewelry and they haven't done any before yes. um so you've got um two lots or oh, three lots of polymer clay so you've got the um the red the black and the white i told you I'd, there'd be an avalanche you've got some head pins um there are some really cool huge um, lobster claw clasps, they're huge. Um, various chain, um, you've got some... Uh, does this include all the earring findings and everything? Everything that's on here? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. You've got some sparkles. Some little, these little tiny screws. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 2 dollars It's really the, useful as well. Oh my goodness. There's a lot, there's so much in there. You've got like all these little lobster claw clasps, the big ones, like the keychain type um, ones. You've got chain in here. You've got the head pins, jump rings. Um, price. You've got the whole kit to show you how to, how to do it all. And it's yours for the price of a cup of coffee. <laughs> Less than the price of a cup of coffee. So uh, Sharon's bought two, Steve's bought two, Collecting Merseyside have bought two, Susan in Worcestershire. I live in Worcestershire, I can't say it, but that's where I live, Susan. <laughs> I live in Worcestershire as well. Um, oh, it's, got, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. I'm not surprised. Um, let's kick off with box number four. We got some more wire, wire. Um, this is an amazing colour. This is an amazing colour. You've got almost like a, a kind of like a, Ballet slipper pink that yes. you've got here. Again, team it with antique bronze. Mm. And it's beautiful. So I often will I'll, I will do the same techniques that we just done. Yeah. And you just um, team that up with antique bronze, and it's oh. an absolute perfect combination. Oh. It's unbelievably um, how it changes the. And I've got the, a bit yes. of antique bronze chain that, here, so just was really going to show help. you the colours together. Mm. It does bring out the almost the, the peach kind of nuances within the yes. the pink as well. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, 50 metres of wire, 4 95 50 metres of wire today, £4. Oh, so Claire's, Claire's roses, you know Claire did this fantastic rose demonstration yesterday. Right. Go back to that and um, make that, those with that pink wire. Oh, and wow. um, so uh, we look back to the 9 o'clock, I think 9 o'clock hour yesterday, and she did some rose demonstrations. Oh, that would be goodness. absolutely perfect, perfect wire for some of that. Wowzers, there we go. There we go. See, every day's a school day, and if you missed yesterday, of course, you can catch up on YouTube. Yeah, which is fantastic. Uh, 495, 50 metres. Blimey neck, that's crazy, isn't it? Um, we have now got 50, is this 50 metres as well? Uh, of the red, very... It matches everything today on set, including my hair. Although if you look at it quite closely, I do look a bit like a badger at the moment. I'm so grey, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Honestly, I was in the supermarket the other day and my friend was like, oh my gosh, you look like Cruella de Vil. I'm like, easy, easy. <laughs> just don't get close, we just don't have a... <laughs> Who needs enemies, right, when you've got friends like that? <laughs> Wowzers. And, uh, at 4.95 again, 10 metres. Um, amazing. Roses, um, robins, roses, um, all the sort of things you can make with that. Oh, wonderful. Really structural pieces, but it's got that impact. And again, tone it down with antique bronze. Um, and also, I've done twist necklaces, uh, a bit like the bracelet, that were, where I've twisted all colours together, mm. and pinks, um, ev blues, reds, everything goes in there oh, and wow. it forms an amazing pattern oh, for wow. all the colours. But yes, Gemma's um, rob robins um, and roses. 
Fabulous. I'd like this colour with like, um, I don't know, with a, like a black rhodium or something or a gunmetal or something like that. Don't know, <laughs> just thinking out loud. Yeah. Um, box number eight, is this what I've got next to me? Oh no, it is slightly different. Oh, this one's finer. Oh my gosh, I need this in my life. Like, I absolutely need this in my life. Um, <laughs> I'm really not girly at all, but I absolutely, like, slightly obsessed with hearts. My whole house is full of hearts. Um, you have got 10 metres of heart chain. Oh, my gosh, I love this. The attention to detail. They're all little hearts, and they're all linked together. Ah, oh, it's a chain of love. What? <laughs> Uh, you've got 10 metres today for £3.95. Holy guacamole. That's quite crazy, if you ask me, at £3.95. Um, 10 metres. And they're all hearts. Look. Really lovely. And because we don't get many antique bronze findings, it's really, really useful to have that around because we get a lot of gold findings, silver findings, things mm -hmm. like that brought on air. But antique bronze chains are quite few and far, far between so mm -hmm. it's well worth getting that that will go in with your antique bronze wire pieces um, and will work in really well you won't be stuck thinking what am I going to put this on um, it's when gone. everything else to tie it together it's gone I really need that I, I need that <laughs> let's see box number two um, oh oh my gosh you're going to love this you are going to love this again um, kind of Indian inspired kind of um, mandala kind of uh, inspiration that you've got here on this clasp it's beautiful oh my gosh I love this solid sterling silver 95 again tongue in box it's so beautiful it is mm. it's almost like lace work it's almost like lace work yeah. really Oh my gosh, big quantity, low price at seventeen ninety five. Oh, that's not the price. <laughs> it's not the price. No. <laughs> Shut the front door. That is insane. Um, five pounds ninety five today. Um, they, we've got a big quantity of these. I would be double buying, um, multi buying, triple buying, quadruple buying. Uh, in you know one p m p until midnight tonight. Um, I'm, I'm looking at this right now. Oh, inspired. Yes. So and inspired. Look at those loops, the amount of loops you've got. So you've got this opportunity for this real multi-strand necklace. Yes. Lots and lots and lots of um, four millimetre gemstones coming around in, oh. in, in strands. Or pearls, show, pearls in different sizes coming around. And so oh, that I love that. Absolutely fantastic. I that. love that. I mean, something so ornate and detailed that you could create. Beautiful. Mm. I mean, that just the, the the work that's gone into that i mean it's just wonderful it almost has a kind of like oxidized feel to it it's, it's all gone <laughs> but we've got another one in box six and this a little more modern i i like this this is almost like a type a, a labyrinth type look that you've got here um that a little more it it, it is Kim says it's almost like a modern rose. It is, isn't it? Yes. Um, I like it. A Greek, uh, not the kind of Greek design, but you can make quite square spirals and you yes. can fit that into design quite nicely. That would be awesome. And again, five ninety five. Loads of... This is mm. weighty with silver. Again, your Tongan box, four and a half grams of silver. Really um, secure clasp there, as you can see. Almost catapulted it across the room. It's a lovely detail. Quality, real quality. Mm. Again, Goodness. you know, a great way to elevate a, a piece of your jewellery if you're selling um, without, you know, having to pay an absolute fortune. I mean, return on investment with, with deals like you're this is incredible. You're absolutely right. But it also, is, uh, when um, somebody looks at it, they'll just be, they'll look at the class, oh, it's so beautiful, and they'll probably um, just want to wear it just for that. Yeah, just absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That was number. Well, I don't know what box. That was six. Box number three. Oh my gosh! You're get you're getting me with the hearts today. This is amazing. Oh my gosh! This is amazing. Look at this up close and personal. This is incredible. So you have got. 
there's like loads of spirally heart fabulousness. I mean, it's amazing. There's, and there's so many of them. I mean, I'm looking at this right now thinking, you know, taking these off and... Yes, and using them as components there as charms. You go. I mean, if you've got an endless supply of them. Literally. Um, <laughs> and so you can use them and you can team with the antique bronze ta chain that went on a bit earlier. Um, you've got charms and a charm bracelet. Um, they are uh, beautifully made, lovely colour. Again, antique bronze, which is a really good one to have because we literally don't have as many antique bronze findings as we do, as we do this gold and silver coming mm -hmm. up. So it's just worth having those. And charms in between, in between on chainmail, um, yeah. all sorts of different things you can. You and a three ninety five. Yes, and they've got a lovely. <laughs> yes, they've got a lovely flat finish. They're reflective. Yes. Um, so they've got a reflection to them as as they, ca and they catch the light really beautifully. Do you know what I thought when I saw these, as someone who has zero experience, but there are literally so many of them in just one little section like this, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like, oh, they've all gone. But, you know, as a, um, a little statement for your jewellery, so like something that Absolutely makes it right. yes, signature, a little signature mm -hmm. to you, like one of these on, yes, there you go. Made with love, it's that sort of thing, you there know, is. it always yeah. is lovely. Absolutely. That was number three, I think. Right, um, where are we off to now? Nut box number nine. Oh, wow, so we did one similar to this, but it was with the white, uh, in, uh, sorry, with the black enamel. And this is with the, what, these are low stuff, this is stuff that I haven't never seen before. I like this. Hello, Big Tall Tom. You've got me for an hour and a half at six o'clock. You excited, Big Tall Tom? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Amazing. White enamel, brass wheat chain, uh, approximately six millimeters, yours today at 5.95. Um, looks incredible with the white enamel, doesn't it? Really incredible. Love it. Love it, love it. Beautiful. And if you got the black enamel chain earlier, add this one to your order. It's perfect. I love the, again, it, I said it earlier, but it's like almost like fabric. It's got, you know, this amazing kind of tactile quality to it. And yeah, it's this fluidity. Beautiful, it's gone. <laughs> Box number 10. Oh, talking of fluidity. Oh, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, oh, this is chunky. Sorry. <laughs> um, yes. Yes. <laughs> Only 49. Gemma's, again, you go back to someone like Gemma Crow, who's an outstanding designer with chain, um, and have a look at some of her designs. I think uh, Zena brought on a different colour version of this exact same chain and she mentioned about a messaging link to Gemma Crow on Crow's Mojo which is you know she brings together inspiration um, lots and lots of people on her Facebook mm -hmm. site um, Crow's Mojo and she will provide designer help and, every, and inspiration um, and she'll often bring on the jewel maker kits that she's making mm -hmm. um, that week and get people to sort of um, you know be inspired by them yeah. and um, she works a lot with those chains and she ha would have lots of designs that she could help you, inspire you. If yeah. you were to get that, then you uh, message into Gemma. Again, with a similar chain that you bought this morning, if you bought it, um, then message into Gemma. She might be able to put up some designs from, from that use yeah. of that chain. Oh, that's fantastic. Great advice. And at £3.95 for an entire five metre gold plated yes. roll, uh, you may as well. It's really thick. I love the, I just wanted to kind of show you the. I was going to use the word girth, but I'm going to change that now and use something else. Um, the thickness. You can bring cord in through in and out and sinuous patterns, you know, or have Fabulous. it and loop something and loops down through it. So you've got the potential spaces. As long as you don't want, as long as you don't impact upon its curve, you can use those spaces to put things in. Yeah, I'm it's sure. huge. There's, mm. you know, there's a lot of scope there That's to, it. like you say, to to weave in and weave out with, with the other cord and through. other things. Yes, ribbons and and other other wire shapes coming in and out. Amazing, right? Let's that was something 10 to 17 next. Oh, 
same chain but there's only 13 of these available for you and this one is in my favorite in the rose gold um, I am obsessed with rose gold rose gold and black are like my my ultimate color combination oh I like you can squish this sorry <laughs> I can play with that all day. <laughs> That's amazing. So perfectly um, square. It's incredible. With the rose gold, bang on trend right now as well. It's massive reflective impact, and it's edgy. As I said, you've got plenty of it. You can, and it's not just a jewellery making um, chain. You can embellish other things. Mm. Um, you know, some of the um, ex your accessories with it would, yes. um, would would look lovely. Fantastic. Yeah. Number 13 next. So we have got, ooh, sterling silver. Oh, I love this ring. So this is the sterling silver um, heart that you have here. And it has uh, a pin, a silver pin in the center so that you can set a little pearl. There you go. All you need is a bit of glue. And there you have it. Very pretty. I like the three-dimensional design. It's almost that kind of like infinity design is that you know that you see quite a lot of nowadays. Yes, it's almost half a butterfly wing as well. It's kind of oh. pretty, pretty shape. Yes. So, really lovely. Really pretty. Mm. Seventeen five ninety five again. Um, I was watching. I don't know if you're familiar with a guy called uh, Gary Vanderchuk, but he's um, you know he he he's a business business guy who you know has made lots of money through not having a lot of money and just going to work basically and he gives people mm. ideas to inspire them to be able to generate like money online and all kinds mm. of things so he's like you know go into the, the, the dollar store or the pound shop and find something that is selling on I don't know eBay or something for more than a pound and then you can make money that way and that's what I do when I look at pieces like this it's a standalone piece of jewelry take you five minutes to be able to set that into a ring and it's you and it's know so and then beautiful. you think what so you can sell it for it's a beautiful piece as well and it, um amazing it's a, a very attractive piece of jewelry absolutely mm. right number 14 next oh <laughs> i'd never seen one of these chains before and now i've seen three there's only 16 of these though i love this jade this beautiful jade color that you've got coming through in here what do we call this teal there you go I'd love to have a piece um, to actually work with it, actually. I'll, if there's any left at the end of the day, because <laughs> um, I'm wondering we have potential to take them off and use, and if you might waste a few, but you'd use them as charms coming round. Because they've got, I think, if you look at the links, I was trying to see how it's made, I've not had a piece, whether you can take them apart. And yes, use, you can. Um, use those, I mean, you might waste a few, but if you cut gently through on one side, you've got a loop that you can then attach as charms. So you see you can cut through from the back on that on that space. Yes, absolutely. And then you've, loose got, and you've got a, a charm that you could use. And, and or um, cut the jump ring very carefully, um, actually, so you don't cut the actual pit, the wheat shape. Cut that jump ring yeah. um, and then open it and then you could use it as a charm. I think that might be quite fun to, to do. Fantastic. Well, while you're talking about that, let's have a look at the blue one. <laughs> There we go. See, I didn't have to cut you up then. You could continue to talk and we've got the About one in weekend. blue. This is like a gorgeous lapis colour. This would go really well with the kit that Certainly will. Earlier. Egyptian, Egyptian. It's got everything, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. I would like to take it apart and have a, have a go with it. A festoon little, you could festoon little wheat charms mm. around a, and a chain. But on its own, and um, uh, it's coming up either side from one of those lapis set in the centre as a pendant. Beautiful. Which, I mean, they are like the wings that you get, the winged effect coming yeah. away from a, from Egyptian style pieces. Yeah, of course. Like the, yeah. the scarab, you can see mm. almost a scarab kind of beetle design yes, within got, this. Yes, and you see you've got that mm. effect coming away from your central design. Fantastic. Mm. I and really like these. So They're so time. unusual. Four yeah. chances, uh, it's gone. <laughs> Number 15, um, another uh, Tongan box clasp. This one's really oxidized um, and has got a um, real beautiful detail in the milligram work on this one as well. So um, take a look. Again, stunning. A 
very gorgeous vintage design that you've got. I just love milligrain. I love, I just love the textures that you get from it. And then with that oxidization as well, um, $7.95, solid sterling silver, beautiful. It's very kind of like... There's no way you could go anywhere and get a solid, no. solid, beautifully made so for that. No. For that. And the workings inside and how it's been made and oxidized, the time to make it. Yep. It's amazing. It is, it is when you think about amazing. it. And again, really super secure there. There you go. It's gone. It's gone. Um, oh, now we were talking about beads earlier. These ones are a little larger, I think, than the ones that um, Rachel was using earlier. We've only got 12. Um, and again, I love this colour. Take a look. Rose gold plated, beautiful brass rondled seed beads in this tube here, approximately five by four, um, approximately 350 little beads of beauty within here. Um, you can see that the hole is quite big as well, the, ga the gauge of the hole is quite big. Um, at 895, again, incredible value, love, love, love this colour. Those are the similar thing. Um, I put them around Thank on this, 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 <gasps> this piece. Again, it's a very similar design to what I used before. I'm trying to look for, for ideas, for inspirational ideas. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is so my kind of jewellery. I'm obsessed with the... The shell is beautiful, almost they, like... Um, they, they are um, really useful uh, spacer beads, those copper beads. There we um, go. Them, actually, and uh, they've gone. I use them throughout all my designs, actually. There. Thank you. There we go. Thanks. <laughs> right, let's do number 18 next. Uh, oh, blue opal. Oh, this looks Peruvian. What, is, what a thing to say. You know you've worked in the jewellery industry for, for too long when you pick up a strand of blue opals and say, oh, this looks Peruvian. Is it Peruvian? <laughs> get in. <laughs> and what makes you say that? Is that the hue, the colour, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah the hue. It's mm. like, um, yeah, the, mm. the, 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 the shade of blue. Yes. Just um, it looks really Peruvian to me. Pretty and fresh and lovely, isn't it? Yes. It is. I love this colour. It's almost, um, you know, similar to the colours that you get from kind of like Angelite or like the blue lace agate that we had earlier. Absolutely. Or, um, mm. um, yeah, what's the other one? Celestine. Yes. <laughs> I do know what I'm talking about. I knew that this was from Peru. <laughs> it's really pretty. Really pretty. I, I, as well, you know, I always say, I can't even say anything. I always say, and then I get to... But I just as, as this, you know, I go on, you know, if I go on holiday, I don't want to cheat and I don't want to wear, like, I like to wear genuine gemstones. So, you know, nice with a maxi dress, just as it is, you know, to be Absolutely. able to wear the real deal. Um, box 20, two, zero, blind 20. I've got, I've got a good bingo story. I'll tell you my, would you like to hear my bingo story? <laughs> Everyone's like, no, Emma, we don't. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> so I was, I used to work, when I was like younger, I worked on, on holiday parks and I trained as a dancer and I used to teach dance and choreograph and what have you. That was, my background's been entertainment for a long time. And um, I was checking back bingo. So basically when you call, when somebody calls bingo, you then check back with the person that's, and you go and take the ticket and you take it to a different table and you check the numbers and you, yeah, so that there can't be any cheating. So this woman was playing bingo, right? And she'd got a purple bingo dobber and she had got purple bingo dobber pen all over her face, right? So I'm on a microphone, there's about six, seven hundred people in the, in the room. I'm just, you know, making fun of this woman. You've got pen all over your face. Go and check her ticket. I come back give her a bingo ticket back and as I walk away she tapped me on the shoulder and I turned around and she said Emma she said actually it's a birthmark <gasps> oh. it was like a port <laughs> like a port stain you know like a, a birthmark yes. but it was exactly the same color as a pen <laughs> exactly the same color anyway um <laughs> Yes, coming up in the next The moral of the story is use a different colour pen. <laughs> oh. uh, I've got loads, honestly. We've foot all mouth. Got that. Um, <laughs> we've got some amazing pieces going up using the mesh. Um, I've, you know, I've, I've, I've sold mesh before, but haven't really ever seen 
you know, oh, that, this is like, oh my God, I'm just going to get up a minute because oh, I've just thing. like, this, but this though, but this, mm. it's like, it's like lace work. It's like the most incredibly detailed vintage, oh, I, I love mm. it. Gemma Crow first had brought Rose, in, inspired the, everyone on Jewelry Maker to make beautiful things with mesh, and she created Rose um, straight away. So I'm really just sort of continuing uh, Gemma's amazing work. So if you go back and see Gemma's work, Gemma's DVDs, and, and Gemma's wonderful designs, and um, also Alison Terry is running a mesh work um, course at the Big Bead Show in October. Fantastic. So there's fantastic ways of using this, um, and that you'll be able to be inspired by um, other guest designers. All I've done is had a, had a go, and it was, a, it was something I... I wasn't confident in using and by the end of it I feel I've learned such a lot and I, and I, I, I it's a great addition to your jewellery making sort of stash basically to make lightweight pieces but with structure and um, filled in forms but it, it doesn't take the time that you do for weaving and also it's lightweight so you can put it on head pieces and neck pieces. It's amazing like literally and I love the colour combinations as well just the subtlety mm. with the you know you've got that really bright white from from the silver colours and then this kind of gunmetal um colour coming up. We've got what coming next? Oh the one to own and it's coming up for you it is the one to own straight after this. Hello, hello, hello. We are back. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Um, it's me and Rachel. That's who's back. Um, so we have got the one to own today and boy, this is one to own. Um, this is your 10 meters of your copper um, brass um, Rolo chain, um, which I am going to unravel, but I'll just show you while I do that because um, I've it's all discombobulated it's all discombobulated there we go that's better so 10 meters i mean this for me looking at this right now this would be like a must-have stash this would be like something that i imagine that people will be multi-buying because it's in clearance and something that you're going to get so much use out of and yes, will be kind sit, of like a go-to sit there on your shelf and you've got you've made something with the antique bronze wire and um We've seen other chain sizes, but they've been different sizes of chain, yes. and this is a quite sta nice standard size. It's got nice holes that you can loop um, um, head pins onto, yeah. so it's got great potential for that, and it's easy to have, easy to attach a clasp to. That's another good thing about a chain. Sometimes they're difficult to attach clasps to, and it's antique bronze. So put that on the shelf, ready for use when you uh, want to make um, pieces up in that uh, in that wire colour, and you've got it matches. Yes. So. I've got one of those reels on my shelves in, in my craft room. It's incredible. So, I love this colour. I love it. I don't know. But not at that price. Not, not at the price we're probably going to do. <laughs> it's crazy. Fifteen ninety five is where we... Is that not it? No, where we could be uh, closing today. People are multi-buying. Collector in Somerset's bought two, Jacqueline's bought two, Diana's bought five of these in uh, two two pound ninety five, <laughs> two pound and ninety five p. Yeah, I know I paid more for that, I, even at staff costs. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Even at staff cost. Even at staff cost. And the phone lines have just gone cuckoo bonkers. Nottinghamshire's just bought two of these. Mark's bought two. Lauren's bought two. Annette's bought two. Rosemary's bought two. Barbara's bought two. Linda's bought... Oh, my gosh. I've never seen the call screen get so busy in um, such a, a short space of time. Remember... It doesn't matter how much you spend, yeah. it's still only two ninety five shipping until midnight. I go home and I might be able to browse through the products of the day and see what I might want to get. But Not no today. chance. All gone. No chance. All gone. And you think how much it costs us to ship that as well. That's what gets me. Like, you know, you buy, someone's just bought five of these. You know, is that going to cost us more than two ninety five to ship well, it? They've realised exactly how they're, they're going to use it and how useful it is. Awesome. I give that two <laughs> thumbs up. Yay, it's gone. So, um, wh 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 where are we going next? Number 21. What's in box 21? Um, oh, now this. This is like a, a double. This is like a double link that you've got here. Thicker, weightier. Um, almost has kind of like a chain type feel to it as well. 
Oh, yes, my goodness. When I make chainmail chains, mm -hmm. that will take me ages to make. Mm -hmm. um, although I'm, I'm not as skilled as someone like Fleur, who mm -hmm. makes amazing things, I'll often use a double link chainmail coming back from a necklace. But if you've got that, that saved that bit of time, because I won't have made anything ornate with it, mm -hmm. or you can bring that round and do an ornate chainmail section in the middle, because it will match that si the sides. Yeah. And save you that time and, and yeah. have that strength there. So you could do your chainmail piece here and then bring up from the sides with that. But it's got that look and it and, and it's got. Um, I, I, I like the look of that because often <laughs> on a really um, big piece, I've done exactly the same style on the a mesh piece oh, that's yeah. done with chainmail, and you've because triple. you've got a big central neckline piece mm -hmm. you don't want a thin bit of chain coming back from it so you sometimes want something that balances it yes and i've hand done that but um you don't have to if you've got a chain of that thickness it's because it will balance the size of the piece i wouldn't want a thin chain coming back from that because it wouldn't look right so uh, but a, a, a thick chain actually slightly bigger than that one Fantastic. balances it it's gone it's gone right let's do all the twos two little ducks 22. Um, oh, this is pretty too. With the, these findings that we've been bringing you today, these clasps, and there's so much detail. I love this with the silver pearl. Only 16 though. Fastest fingers. That's really pretty. Again, you've got the detail with the filigree, the milligrain. I love that, uh, the way that the pearl's been set in the centre there. Very you pretty. almost make a ring out of that. You do, um, <gasps> you make a ring section. And you basically, it's really, really simple. You have a, 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 a length of silver wire, loop, and just simple loops either side. And you've made a beautiful ring. You need to talk faster. It's done, <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Number 23. Oh, this is a two-tone design. I've got a couple of two-tone rings. I love this, very pretty. There's only 15 chances. So um, you've got the two tone semi mount, and then um, you've also got the loose stone as well, which is. Is this a serenite? It is a serenite. Very pretty. I mean, again, do you know? Mm, it's gold plating and sterling silver with a, um, a natural, beautiful, facetated, high quality um, gemstone. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. How much can you sell it for? 30 pounds? Something, you know, it's crazy, it's crazy. Okay, box mm. 22 next. Oh, we've played 22, we just, we've already played it. Oh, am I a different in a different? One? Is that a different one? Um, Clear quartz prisms. I have those in 24. There we are. Yes, here we go. Lovely. Like, if you didn't get the other ones, those are slightly smaller and yes. more delicate, but they're absolutely beautifully made. I like those. Look at the clarity um, in those. Ah, goodness. Yes, I could make some wonderful things with those. Um, either lining them up in the, in the necklace or sing, singly and they are such um, clear quartz has such energy as I say yes. I keep on saying but it has such energy and um, it's such a you know you, fit, you can hold them in your hand and, you, and they, they are lovely stones to hold yes absolutely and um, you know uh, at all ages as I said before for the other strand you've got um, my daughter would wear them I would wear them and my mother would yeah. wear them so it, it's a it's a shape that um, also inspires you look at it and it's really inspirational shape it's really beautiful it's got a um, point at the end mm -hmm. it, you, it leads down um, and has a lovely have, has a lovely impact as a, as a shape of a stone it's nice to work with unusual stones as well that are different from rounds and all these other things yeah, so absolutely. to work with that it makes you think creatively in a different way but I loved so, what you said there about it then being, um, you know, age appropriate. Like it doesn't matter whether you're one or 101. It's something yes, that, yeah. and also quite unisex as well. A lot of my friends, because mm. I'm, you know, a bit of a hippie. I've got mm. quite a lot of hippie friends, and you know, and there's a lot of my friends that are into their crystals, um, mm. and will often wear, you know, yes. um, 
a piece of quartz or on a yes. pendant, just like, you know, because unisex. it makes them feel better. Yes, yeah, it absolutely. Makes them feel good to wear it. So. Absolutely. Yes, mm. lovely. Okay. Um, oh, there's been. A, as I closed my eyes for one minute, and there's a whole lot of jewelry just appeared. Number three. Oh, do you know what? I've played these before. This is like this is like a unicorn, a unicorn mm. in um, knitted ribbon. These are. There you go. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. So you've got this wonderful purple with the gorgeous shimmer. You've got the pink that also has the shimmer. And then the white's got this iridescence. Gosh, so we've got, amazing, we've got, <laughs> we've got um, a, a potential here with, with these beautiful ribbons of, of um, embellishing things that you've got at home, um, craft wrapping, card making, um, present wrapping, all these fantastic things. You don't have to necessarily have them as, as jewellery making, oh, embellishing, wow. embellishing other things that you're mm -hmm. making around the home. So um, if you're very crafty, and I know everyone, so that most people here are jewellery makers, but a lot of people are um, skilled across many different crafts and mm -hmm. will think, I, I know what to do with that. And it would be not necessarily jewellery making, it would be something else. Mm -hmm. And they'll be able to use that. Absolutely. I imagine you could, um, you know, so... Um, beads, into, beads it. into it as well. Yes, I don't. Is it hollow tubular? Because I've not actually used them. Is it something it's you can put flat. beads inside? Is it flat? But um, just in the same way as mesh, perhaps I could, um, if it's got a hollow, hollow nature to it, um, make insert wire into it and f um, create forms with it. So I just need to sit. Would need to sit down with it and think mm. about it. But um, it's amazing. Yeah. So. It's very, yes. like, the, the colours right now as well, aren't they? Like, you know, if you're thinking, like, you were just saying about wrapping presents or, you know, you think about little girls, even not not so little girls, like, mm. even, you know, people in their 20s and 30s right now, everybody's obsessed yes. with unicorns. Yeah, headbands, it is. <laughs> headbands, edging costumes, if mm -hmm. you've got their costume for something, or mm -hmm. edging, edging things, yeah. and that, that, that's absolutely perfect, because they'll probably fold over an edge of something over a hem or a seam, and then yeah. you've actually got a, something that fold over yes. and hide something. So useful stuff. If you're crafty, useful stuff. And lovely colours. I love the purple, actually. And I do. Fantastic. So much there. But fun. we haven't even got the price. Is that not the price, then? <laughs> Um, Rena, uh, Diana's bought two. I've got um, papers there. <laughs> yeah, you know. If you're present wrapping, present wrapping ribbon, and you've got it, haven't you? That's amazing. Mm. You think about what you pay for, like a, just a, a, you know, a, a bit of um, ribbon. Yeah, yes. use your words, Emma. Yeah. Use your words. Yes. Um, it's incredible. You yeah, know, you go to good. a card greeting card store or something and you, you'd spend that on just a little and it wouldn't be as interesting one, it'd be as half this. A, it'd be half a section, you'd probably do your one present with it and, and that's it. Mm -hmm. But you've got all of that. So yes, crafty people make lots of things of it. <laughs> my my auntie would love this. Um, she does a, a lot of makes a lot of crafts and um, makes all kinds of interesting things. She's the last two years for Christmas and birthday she's created me something which has been wonderful. So um, she would love this. So yeah, anybody it's just good to have, just good to basically have around. Again, at that mm. price, add it to your order if you've already bought something today. It's two quid. There you go. Amazing. Um, Jennifer's there. Kathleen's bought two. Diana's bought two. Susan's bought two. Tracy's bought two. Uh, we're oversubscribed in shopping baskets now, so if you've got it in your shopping basket, you know what to do. Check, check, check it out. I'm so down with the kids. Um, well to Gary, Karen, Eleanor, Elizabeth, um, lots of you multi-buying there. Angela's bought two as well. Julie's bought two. Collects in Hampshire have bought two. Uh, yeah, if you're on the phone lines right now, um, confirm ASAP and um, make sure you're checking out if you're on the web. Uh, Abigail, well done. Muriel, well done. Julian, well done. Norma's bought two. It's busy, isn't it? Also, as well, um, if you want to send us a text in to the studio, we'd love to hear from you. Um, you can send your messages in between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. Uh, text uh, JM Studio to 60777. 60777. Um, we have got a message in from Tanya. Hi, JM. Amazing show, and thank you for the amazing deals today. You are welcome, Tanya. Um, kudos there to, to Kim, who's 
pulling out all the uh, stops today. Mm. Can't believe it. Two pounds. We're literally selling out of everything. It's crazy. Box number four next. Ooh, ooh. Now I don't know what these are, but I'm very excited. Just shoving this back in. That's a technical. Oh my gosh, it's a brace. Oh my gosh, it's a bracelet. Okay. I have like, I have like no idea. Talk to me. Yeah, oh, oh, right. <laughs> they are um, bezels. Um, they can be a bracelet, but you've actually got four um, bezel um, settings. So uh, someone like Zoe uh, would get her polymer clay and make a fantastic polymer clay um, scene and pop it in there and it would look beautiful. Um, or resin pieces again. Mm. Sarah Loon, oh my goodness. You, you've got the perfect... Um, uh, frame, pop the serenine in and um, someone like Claire would make the most beautiful designs within those frames and wow. you've got four different ones, you've got four pendant frames or one single bracelet um, bit with and you use some of the chain that we've already got brought on today to bring it round to, the, to, to a clasp. Wow. So you've got four four settings there, don't think of it as a single bracelet but you've got serenine, polymer clay, resin, uh, all those sort of things, you can glue gemstones in with the um, E6000, just glue gemstones onto it. Wow, there, yeah. there we go. And I, I love, and we've, we've been, we've had so much antique bonds today as well, which has been awesome. So Jesus. it's Everyone almost like, together. it's Sorry, all put together. No, interrupt, <laughs> go interrupt it's me to your heart. It's all put together content. nicely. So everything you get today, if you get a lot of the antique bronze pieces, um, then you've actually got something you can straight away work with without having to wait for something else. Yeah, absolutely. So, Yes, having the components all coming together in one colour is ever so useful. Love it, love it. Um, and they're really easy to, to take apart as well. I don't know if you can see the, the um, yes, connector there. Yeah, yeah, just bend them out with round nose and you can use that little connector again if you like or something else. But you can, see, you can, you can even make them yourself out of um, sheets of copper mm. and bend them round to make your own. But, um, so you can make maybe a bracelet mim mimicking that round with those, again, those links, so if you think That's about fantastic. it. But um, no, I think it's got amazing potential. You know, put that in a kit and somebody would, you'd see what the designer would come up with. Yeah. I know, um, you know, Zoe, I mean, almost everybody has been given them at some stage, these sort of things, and they come up with this most fantastic um, different designs and inspirations. So oh, um, if you're ever stuck, all the guest designers are usually on their pages and you just message them and say, what can I do with this? If you're ever, ever Fantastic. stuck. And we'll get that. Some of us are quite good. Some of us are very busy, but we'll try and get back to you at some stage and give you and, and give you some a bit of advice and tips and things. So That's think wonderful. of a designer genre and if you're stuck, um, message them. That's amazing. And at 2.95, I mean, for you know, four mm. different pieces of jewellery that you can create from this. yes. That's they're really useful. It's incredible. I love it. Amazing. Mm. 36 chances, that is it. I'm imagining right now this as a pendant, like you say, and something, I don't know, you talked about clay and you yes, talked about... Yes, Sarah, Sarah is a... Have you you've worked with Sarah Lynn? No, yeah, never. It's, um, basically, it's developed by Swarovski and it's a, a two-part epoxy um, mix and you, I think, I probably got all that wrong, but you mix it together and Claire's done DVDs on it and lots of shows and you just basically stick it in and it'll stick to metal really mm -hmm. well and you stick the Swarovski crystals in and make patterns. Ah. So you've got this, the frame, it'll hold the Sarah Lynn in a nice shape and Wonderful. then you can press these crystals in and have a Swarovski pendant set in this special serenine. The serenine is has a lovely effect and it's it's really high quality and it has, has a lovely backing effect to it. And Wonderful. There's a gold serenine that would probably go in really well with that mm. into that um, bezel. Fantastic. Awesome. Okay, and yes, uh, find us on Facebook. Um, you can find all of us on Facebook. Um, what's your Facebook page? Uh, JM Guest Designer, Rachel. Norris, I think. One of there those. you go, JM <laughs> guest designer Rachel Norris. Um, you can find me, uh, Emma Louise Dyson or Emma Dyson presenter, my presenter pages, I think. Um, what number was that? Sorry, the last one. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Box number five. Oh, as if by magic, we've got the silver version. Exactly what we just showed you, um, but in the silver version that we have available for you now. This is silver plated, excuse my grubby fingerprints. You've got the silver version here, very pretty. Again, 
silver sail in. Fit in that very nicely, resin and the polymer clay. <laughs> yeah, you can get the silver clays, right, as well? Um, yes, polymer, uh, silver clay, wood, you can't bake that into it, You'd, okay. um, you know, but I would think a polymer clay would be better because it's got a colour impact on it yes. and resin, it's because it's got a, a, a lip round mm -hmm. to, put, to put resin in and you yes. can then put a, a piece in or shape in and, the re and fill it with resin, that's, okay. that's lovely. Um, and um, the cerulean, as I say, is a fantastic, um, that's a really good base plate for the, for the cerulean. So I've sometimes seen like, um, I don't know, like a little flower or something like um, that has been set inside of, and that would have been set in resin, yes? Uh, it could be, yes, it's clear. Resin is generally yeah, clear Yeah, I mean, it's stuff. clear, yes, yes. almost like a pressed flower, and they're like... Yeah, absolutely right, That's what, and that's what you do. You, you, you put your pieces in, and then you pour the resin in, and because it's flat, because it's got a lip round it, it um, doesn't, uh, you know, you can use a high viscosity one, it'll stay where it is, mm -hmm. and you've got a, it embedded in it, it's quite a lovely effect. Beautiful. Yeah. I love it. So and again, two ninety five. We're spoiling you today. We are spoiling you today, but we like you. I'm not here very often, so it is a proper clearance. You know, there's people that say clearance, ah, oh, and I'm like, yeah, clearance, clearance. Like, this is like proper, proper clearance. Oh! Okay, now, check, check this out. So, beautiful, hammered, really unique texture, but guess what? You can do it again, <laughs> but this time in a round. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but the thing is, I've seen people, um, you know, you put um, nuggets, you know, some of the nuggets that come on today, yeah. and you can glue them into those shapes, and you've got a fantastic nugget, like a, like a, a druzy effect you're, oh, you know, I you're creating, that. with nuggets stuck into to those, to those spaces, which is I quite... I love it. And I'll probably put that on a pendant then, because it's got less... Yes, you know, But that's what I would do. Uh, I could do with that. Um, circular um, cabochons um, could then be gl glued into that. E6000 is this is really good jewellery, highly recommended jewellery making glue. Mm -hmm. um, and that can be used to mm -hmm. stick things on it. And again, you know, don't worry about using glue in your jewellery making. As Gemma has said, I'm repeating what she says, mm -hmm. um, that um, it's not, it's, it's a jewellery accepted technique to be able to, to yeah. glue stuff and, yeah, absolutely. and form your jewellery that way as well as everything else. Yes, and you'll see that, I mean, you know, even you know, pearls, for example, most pearls have got a pin, you know, if it's just a solitaire, they're glued in with a, with a pin and you see that, you know, yes. in any, any jewellery store. Seven, okay, this is the last one and these, oh, is the, oh, this is the penultimate one and these are ovals. <laughs> Again, you've got that texture on the back. It was like a Lovely mirror, mirror on the wall. Mm. They're awesome. Look at the movement you've you got there. You always want to create a miniature. Why not um, have a photograph of, um, you know, a lovely photograph, and then again you have a technique where you put resin on top of, 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 of treasured photograph. That's brilliant. And that would be really lovely, actually. A single one of those into, the, into those settings. And again, um, uh, there are, um, Fleur uses a lot of resin, so if you're stuck, uh, message Fleur because she'd probably be able to let you know how to use um, resin in those moulds. So um, JM guest designer Fleur Hastings would be the person to ask for that technique, mm -hmm. I would say. Fantastic. So, and Zoe um, Lynham for the polymer clay techniques. Mm -hmm. Oh, I keep dropping this one. It's alive, it's alive. Lovely, lovely. Almost all gone. Well done. Brilliant. Yeah, and it's a great way if you want to try a new technique that maybe you haven't used before, a new, um, you know, using a, a new material that you haven't done before. If you mm. want to get started in something like polymer mm. clay or resin, yes. you know, just well, grab them at these prices. Well, make cabochons out of resin and embed um, um, treasured um, hair, actually, from um, horses, and it makes it look like... Um, oh, what's the gemstone with the... Um, Rutile quartz is, yeah. and you can create a, an effect with um, hair like Rutile quartz. Oh, but it's wow. also got that treasure, and a lot of people do that. A lot of people like that. Yes. And it sounds weird, but it's, it's a, a lot of people like it. So having yeah. um, a Rutile quartz effect made from hair within resin and, and put onto something like that, you could make something to treasure for. Oh, wow. Be, that's a memento. S slightly weird and slightly. <laughs> yeah, it's slightly weird, but 
acceptable at the same time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm, I'm, all, I'm all about slightly weird and acceptable, <laughs> the story of my life. Um, <laughs> There's only 26 of these ones. Did I get the right one? 24, yeah? Good. Good, good. Sorry, I was having a bit of a conversation while you were talking to me, but... Is it lovely? And those are gold-plated, yes. so that's a precious metal on top of all of that. That's fantastic. That's isn't it. it? When something's been, you know, drenched in, in 18 karat gold on top, it's, again, elevating... It's... Um, it's quality and, and mm -hmm. value, yes. Absolutely. Lovely. Beautiful. It's gone. Again, those are Victorian photo frame type, you know, little yeah. little miniature type things. Lovely. Right. Let's do... My chair's super squeaky today. I forgot acrylic painting into it as well. I put a bit of acrylic painting. You could do that. You could paint into them as well with acrylic yes. paint. So there's other things you could do. All oh, wow. We're spoiling you with the <laughs> antique bronze today. <laughs> Just going to move my chair in a bit. There we go. Love. Mix the textures, get some different textures of the chains together. And again, um, on your craft shelf, uh, if you make a lot of jewellery, you'll have your chains. Yes. And then you can, you've got one to, them to choose from. Awesome. Yeah, very good. Fantastic. Those, that's more oval link. Was the other one round, wasn't it? The one so, was round, mm, yes. That's more oval link. And then we had nice. the double link as well. This one's got 10 metres. And I love the way that it captures the light. It's almost like it's been diamond cut. You know, you've got that beautiful capture of the light there. Two ninety five again. <laughs> when you think about it, I mean, you go into a department store and you buy, I don't know, a, a necklace that is brass and glass and, you know, you can pay, you can pay, you know, two fi double figures. You know, there's some quite yes, high-end yes, department yes, yes. stores that there's, there's mm. no precious... You know, gemstones or precious metals as such. That's right, and you're paying an awful lot. And you are, I mean, two ninety five. What can you even get for two ninety five? But the fun is when you when you um, get something that big, and it's not cost you that much. You think I can be lavish with it. Mm -hmm. I can use loads of it. I can have, you know, ten real ten layers of chain mm -hmm. to make a really lovely layered chain effect necklace mm -hmm. because I don't feel I've got to save it and yeah so i can if i need paid 2.95 for it i can make this big piece and, exactly and i still have some left over exactly and not spent anything much at all well i've got box 10 in my hand these these are really cool they're like little buttons little buttons i've got a cat living with me called buttons now mm. i know right turned into Fantastic. a crazy cat lady again useful for linking um two uh Two strands. Two strands together, yeah. and jump rings um, together, um, chainmail pieces together because you've got you you can put chainmail rings through one side and another so you can link connectors together and have, okay. have that as a nice pattern feature. Um, They're really lovely. To keep everything together. Yeah, really pretty. And I think maybe two cords. I'm thinking how how big is the hole? Can two cords run through there as well? Um, the hole looks relatively large. Do we have any a spec on that? So your two threads can go through and so you can space um, something on a bracelet together. To, you know you have a two-strand bracelet yeah. and you worry about the two strands separating and looking, you know, yeah. one bit going there. And actually you can put the threads through and then keep the, bra the strands together ah. um, as you're making your two strands bracelet. Okay, yeah? that makes sense. So it helps keep the integrity of the piece maintaining its two-strand nature as right. it goes around your wrist. So same with necklaces. Okay. That makes sense. Mm. I've seen I'm, I've seen something similar that's kind of in clear plastic that goes in between. Sometimes yes. I've seen. Yeah, but then, then you've got your feature. If you're working with a lot of yeah, antique bronze, lovely. and we've bought a lot today, that's antique bronze. Then you've got another component that you can add to that. your so. antique bronze collection. <laughs> um, after the break, um, we have got we've got the oh we've got the tiaras. We've got the three tiara bands. Also antique bronze colour that we've got coming up. Mm. Beautiful. Um, that's coming up for you after the break. We've also got our second demo with the wonderful Rachel. I am super, super, super excited to see what's going to be um, coming up with that. I mean, using the mesh and, and just so ornate and so detailed and, and so beautiful. And, you know, using, you've used a, 
uh, done a headdress there as well, which is just stunning. Which would fit with the tiara band. I've, I've tried to use mesh in different ways to show what you can do, mm -hmm. and there's you know, ultimately even more you can do with it. So in my limited time and limited skills, I've managed to create that, but there's, there's so much more you can do with it. And, and they're not limited when I look at that. It's incredible. Anyway, we'll see you on the other side of this. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in two. Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewelry maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. If you'd like more information on up and coming shows, you can view the programme guide on our website. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewellery Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just £2.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for £4.95. Jewellery Maker. Create. Where? Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Hello, hello, hello. I'm not eating, I promise. <laughs> I'm here till 7.30, so, I, you know, I've got to keep my strength up, haven't I? So, I know, I will. I'll be, I'll be over here munching while Rachel's doing the demo. Um, we're starting off with our, um, our star buy, first of all, which is, I looked at that and I'm like, stainless steel, I think I've got the wrong piece, but I don't have the wrong piece because these are um, stainless steel, satin cord, um, beautiful uh, tiara bands you get a set of three um, and they're super comfy um, you know I, I love that they've got that extra padding at the little bits that clip behind your ears love lovely they are perfect for bridesmaids Do you know what this is this color here my when I was bridesmaid at my sister's wedding we my dress was exactly this color 
I think it was exactly this colour. We had like, um, I say we had, it wasn't my wedding, but I felt like it was because I made all the centrepieces and the names to go on the tables and the, um, the table plan. And I made, like, literally, I did everything. Because so, autumn wedding season is coming Yeah, out. autumn and wedding season. We, I know we're doing an autumn wedding weekend or day. It was one, some stage coming up, we'll be doing an autumn Oh, wedding wonderful. weekend. I think I might even be booked on it. Fabulous. Um, and those tiaras would be fantastic for bringing in those sort of, um, you know, um, fantastic autumn shades and tones. Yeah. And, and then you can put, put. Um, I mean, actually teals and things. Teals. Other, other teals mm. and muted other colours would go go with those. Beautiful. With those really nicely. Lovely. Yeah. We we had, it was all like um, pine cones and um, lots of pearls and it was very pretty. It was lovely. I spent weeks making my entire sister. And then she called me up. Um, the wedding was on the Saturday and she called me on the Friday and says, um, Emma, um, I don't have an order of service. Can you make me an order of service? <laughs> so there you go. I rolled them up with twine and things. So. So that's business. People do a lot of that, mm -hmm. and and people on a, on a budget. People, um, I, um, I know some people who who run their businesses, running wedding. Um, yeah. They they organise weddings and do all that. Mm -hmm. But if you're on a budget and doing it yourself, um, you know, then you can actually save that budget for when you need it for other yeah. things like the cake and other things. Yeah, so absolutely. We did so we did everything on a budget. It was mm. brilliant. And I just went and. Yeah, went get your to... dress on eBay and and yeah. My friend of mine got her dress on eBay. It was or, or um, other auction sites things other like that. Other auction sites are available. available. But she got hers for sixty pounds and it was silk. So yeah. it was fantastic. Amazing. So, mm. One pound ninety five for three. We like that. That is sixty five pence each. Your maths is good there, Kim. Well done. Um, sixty five p each. <laughs> They're incredible. Absolutely. Um, great value. I mean. And really lovely quality as well, like lovely finish to them. Yes, they're not going to hurt the head. No. And the ones I've used are metallic, and I always am aware of them hurting. And uh, you'd you'd line them with um, material, but you've already got that comfort. Yes. And if you're wearing something for a long day, and especially little children or young ones, they don't want something a lot on your hair, no, their head. No. They'll take it out. But something they feel comfortable with will mm -hmm. they'll they'll wear that and all day if it's got to be one all day. Yes. They really come. I'm, I'm gonna. I'll try yes. it on. Um, I'm so. Yeah. Does it suit me? Yeah. <laughs> is it? It's like a halo, like because I'm so angelic. That's what it That's is, right. isn't it? I wear That's one all it. the time because of my work, and I and I always have to have a hair off my face. So I've actually got one embedded in my hair the whole time. You can't see it. Oh, it's so, it's right can you not? Is it surgically right attached to your Yes, it never comes out. <laughs> I love it. I might just put that on. I might do this look. Let's do it this way. I've got so much hair though. I have like the thickest hair in the world. <laughs> like that's like a normal person's ponytail, and it's like just a little section of mine. These are good. One ninety-five. They're super comfy as well. I'm funny about things around the back of my ears. These are really comfy. Mm, yes, because they can give you a headache. If you have too much yeah. pressure point there, you'll get a headache. I mean, if it's your wedding, you just got to suck nice it up and, and deal with it, haven't you? But like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's true. Suffer for it. Yes, that's true. Oh. But yes, they're lovely. They would have matched perfectly. My sisters when my sister got married, the exact colour of the dresses that we had. And my sister did the same. She went mm. to a clothing store, or just a fashion store, and they had these ball gowns in. Mm. And basically, yeah, they were reduced. And then she called around all of the other shops in the area because it was Fantastic. a chain. Yes. And I think she got them for less than £10 each, and they're just stunning. I got a... Uh, my wedding dress um, was a kind of bog-standard chain one, you know, retail mm -hmm. chain. But my friend and I, we sewed pearls onto it so we sewed pearls onto the the the, oh, the sleeves and all around the edges and so you can embellish you can get some seed pearls from yes. what we sell here and embellish your your dress with it there you go um, i won't be embellishing any wedding dresses in the near future just <laughs> making that clear right now um but there you go the cat's moved in there so so it must be serious Aww. so the cat's moved in Aww. and um He's moved in his, um, his PC and he's a big gamer and a geek, so it's serious. And his bean to cup coffee maker is now in my kitchen, so it's going to be really serious. Fabulous. Okay, so we are going to get onto the kids. Oh, I love this display. It's lovely. Looks wonderful. So these are all of your meshes. Um, I'm going to tell you what you've got here. You've got 10 yards of azure 
10 yards of chocolate, 10, um, 10 yards of cocoa, uh, 10 yards of emerald, uh, navy, purple, turquoise. You then got 18 millimeters um, of the black wire mesh, the bronze wire mesh, the graphite colored wire mesh, silver colored wire mesh. Then you've got one meter of the chocolate, one meter of the rose gold brass, five yards of cocoa, dusty, dusty rose, or as I always say, I don't know, it always ends up like a wrestler, dusty roads. Um, <laughs> dusky rose, dust, oh I can't say it. Um, it's not a wrestler, it's not dusty roads. Um, and also five yards of emerald and five yards of turquoise. Lovely. Thanks, thanks for that. I'll be here all week. So that is a that is a that's a plethora of mesh that you've got there. I would go as far to say that that is that's that's mesh tastic, isn't it? It really is. Seventeen reels in total, um, and the, the the color combinations are fabulous. I mean, shall we do it? Should we get the price in? Uh, we should be at seventy six pounds and fifteen pence right now. However, because we are clearing. Let's do it. Let's do the crazy clearance deal. Not seventy-six pounds. Um, that is a forty-six twenty-six. Forty-six pounds and twenty-six pence saving. Forty-six pounds saving um, on our. I mean, that is. Yeah, there's so much mesh there. I mean, we've seen some of the pieces that, that you've created, Rachel. Yeah, and it's been really mesh heavy. What I want to stress is that normally you wouldn't put six roses all around on a piece. You'd just make one rose and make it as a feature. So if you break that down, one, two, three, four, five, six, six elements in that one necklace. So yes. That's six um, corsage pieces or six brooches or six elements in yeah. that one necklace. So I've been really mesh, mesh heavy in fact, with, with what I've done. And this has all know, come from the one kit? Um, that's all come from the one <gasps> kit, you see. So, oh, my God. So um, I actually can make all of that. Um, and so one reel made one rose and two moths, for example. Mm -hmm. um, and the black reel made the flowers across there, um, the, the wider mesh. And so, yes, it, it does all add up. And in fact, I had mesh left over um, of the narrower gauges because I literally ran out of time. But, um, wow. you know, so I tried to show you what you could do with it. Yeah. In other words, you could put wire inside it, you can use it to, to um, bridge a space, mm -hmm. make a lightweight, fill, filled area, basically. Yes. Um, and you can make design forms with it, flowers, all sorts of different things. And um, I <laughs> uh, want to just show you the, the beautiful jewel-like colours we've got in the narrower gauges, which um, I've just simply knotted onto a tribal-style necklace and put crimps beads on the base. Wow. But someone like Natalia, not um, Natalia, Nadia, um, or Sarah, Sarah, or and Gemma would macrame down with it so you'd, you'd form that as the basis and then macrame down with a beautiful design so you can macrame wow. this wonderful dual light patterns with the with the one mil mesh so that's um, amazing i tried to show you the different possibilities for the different gauges with what i've made wonderful okay um that is still available we're going to get on to the second part of the kit now which fills me with joy oh my gosh so we have, and, and again, can we, I mean, look at the amazing, what we've already made um, with the kit so far. It's incredible. Um, but the second part that you've got here, I mean, there, there's like, there's so much in here. So let's go through absolutely everything. You have got um, the apple green quartzite to start with, which I love which I love, the apple green quartzite, that is so cool. Um, there it is. Then, and then, uh, you've got the uh, white opal um, irregular plain run, um, rounds that you can see there, sorry, rectangles. You've also got the shaded yellow uh, agate faceted rounds. You've got the multicolored opal graduated plain re uh, wheels, which are incredible. I love these opals. Um, you've got fuchsia pink agate, um, again, uh, five carats there. You've got the rainbow moonstone graduated, uh, graduated irregular plain drops. Um, you've got 75 carats of tiger's eye, 
awesome and you've got um, eight carats of the white colored dyed quartz in the plain rondels as well so this is fun um, so many different textures and nuances and um, you know that this there's a lot going on in this. I mean, so many options in this kit right now. There's so yes. much going on. Um, actually, it's a kit that you can use either. Or uh, uh, what I've done is try to sort of split it into um, kind of areas where the gemstones work together. But they, they do work across with each other quite nicely. Mm. But also, as part of your stash, for actually working in other gemstones too. Yes. So um, they are useful shapes and sizes. The little seed bee is actually fantastic for adding colour and impact. Mm -hmm. And you've got those. Um, that's why I've done, deliberately done the earrings different colours. So you can see the different colours and the green tones oh, and red yes. tones in there. Um, and the, um, the the bars, I've never done a design with bars before, so that was um, sort of a learning process for me, actually doing the, the, the spaced out necklace. And I had them left over, I didn't use all of them in that necklace, so oh, I had wow. about three or four left over from that strand, uh, which I didn't have time to make anything up with. Um, and so, and, and actually the, the wheels you can use on their own as, a, as the moth body, if you actually look in at the moth body, um, you can see the beautiful colours that go so well with the silver. Um, and oh, I wanted wow. to make moths like a moonlit garden type um, design. And you've got the delicate colours that you can pick them out from the opal. And then you can sew them on like buttons onto the mesh itself. So, That's so in some of them, you can actually, you can actually sew them on. Um, as, as button shapes onto the onto the method. So you either had them as a as a column or a tube set side by side, or flat as discs as buttons. So you've got that versatility wow. with that shape, and they're all different. They can, you can make it like a real little patchwork pocket kind of sewing kind of effect, yeah. um, and sewing these different shapes and colours of of stones onto the mesh. That's wonderful, and it really is kind of like a smorgasbord of everything. I mean, you've got mm. everything here, and like you say, you know, great mm. to have in your stash just yes. as, a, as a kind of go-to. But you can just strand that and have it as a necklace on its own. You don't have to do anything with it at all. You can literally strand it up um, and as, a, as a really nice centrepiece for a simple necklace around you around, because it's got all these colours that face face you but actually for me I was using them as bodies for little creatures and, and moths as well so that's incredible that's what for. oh I love it and they're all graduated I love the, I love the colors that you've got in this yeah, really really all pretty shades of opal haven't you in there oh really so. unusual it's nice to have yeah. you again to be able to showcase opal in your jewelry as well yes. right let's do it uh, we should mm -hmm. be at 75 pounds and 50 pence but today is summer clearance it is the clearance of all clearance it is the clearest clearance that I've ever done I'll tell you that right now um, no <laughs> You have fifty-five pounds and sixty-five pence saving. You've saved fifty-five pounds. Fifty-five pounds. Go out for dinner tonight. Treat yourself. There's tiger's pounds. eye in there as well. I mean, moonstone, and I mean, there's all oh, sorts of. I mean, I haven't know. even like I, we were just talking about. They are yes. all top-end gemstones. Really, really pretty um, with the moonstone that you've got as well. I love that adular essence and it works so well, you know, with some of that play of colour coming through with some of those opals as well, really pretty. I use them as on their ends um, as centres of flowers so they, they work quite well and also they bind quite well onto the tiara and um, oh, wow. they bound oh, yes. into the design um, through the design so they, they work really well um, as pieces so um, they're the similar shape. I just didn't use them in that way but I could have put them in the centre of um, a gold flower yes and use them as a center almost like sunflowers you know sunflowers have that yes. dark center so you could use gold wire for the petals and have those as the seeds of the sunflower in the middle oh you know, if that's i had time you know, that's what i could have done with those yeah it's gone. Um, but i literally because we're allowed to add our own wire in but i literally ran out of time <laughs> <laughs> well, do you so, know what? You've done more than enough. We're, we'll let you off running out of time. So, um, right. I'm just let me kick my bag. Okay, so, what? I'm, I'm so excited about this. Oh, if we bring the rose and the moths and the roses necklace over, I will, I'm going to do. Grab that. Um, what we're going to do is learn um, how to make the elements of it. And oh if we've gosh. got time, talk through the, the necklace structure. So, um, we're going to go through making a rose. And again, um, we must. I must pay homage to the wonderful Gemma Crow who originated the concept of making um, 
I, I, I did Wild Wet Roses as, yes. as, a, you know, as a DVD and things like that. Um, but Gemma has originated the mesh rose, although I, I've put frames inside. I'm not sure whether she makes them exactly the same way. I think she probably does, but, um, you know, we pay homage to Gemma for that. Um, and if you, <laughs> seriously, she's amazing. She um, and, and then we're going to make the moth. So we're going to make a rose and a moth and then talk through how we can put them onto a frame to, just to, to set them off. Wonderful. Cool. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, as I say, mesh flowers. Um, uh, um, Alison Tarry, expert at making mesh flowers. Sarah, Sarah Eldon probably is as well. I'm sure she is. Um, and um, Alison is running a course on making mesh flowers at oh, wow. the Big Bead Show in October. Um, if anybody wants to, and it's a JM sponsored. Mm -hmm. So um, that is something to look out for if you want to learn how to use the mesh to make them her mesh flowers. Absolutely. With jigs. So she will do that. Um, so have a look out for that. Right, roses. <laughs> now, first of all, what should we do? Should we make a silver rose? Won't we make a silver rose? Let's do it. Let's make a silver rose. So it's like moonlit garden. So it comes out of a tube, and these tubes, don't throw them away. You can put your excess gemstones in there and seed beads. They're really, really useful. So once you use the mesh up, keep your tubes for, for seed beads. So they're fantastic. There we go. And um, you've got quite a long length. Um, and I made... A, um, basic a rose made out of nine petals so okay. we need to make nine petals and this mesh will stretch so we have a ah. capability we don't have to make a little mini rose we can actually make a rose that's oh my much gosh. wider like that so we, oh, and, wow. and we all know that as you as you also we've seen this demonstrated as you pull it, it comes back into shape again so if you make a mistake don't worry because you can put it back that's into, awesome into, it's got into, like into a memory it that's has so cool. you're absolutely right it has a memory um, and it has the capacity to re-establish itself so you've got basically you've got something you can use as a space filling quite a wide space filling um, uh, material um, it's actually got a, um, a double is it's actually a tube so it's actually made out of a tube, it's not just a simple ribbon. So we're going to just use that potential. You can put beads inside it and you can put cords inside it. Um, you can twist it, um, you can do all sorts of things with it. And these are just, these are just two elements that you can make out of meshes. Okay. Uh, Alison Tyler will show you how to make mesh flowers using jigs and things like that. So she, will show you, she can show you all that sort of thing. So we've got a, a bit of mesh. Now what I want to do is put a frame inside it to make a rose. And what we're going to do is make something that looks a bit like this, but I'll just quickly show you the start of it. It's been in a box and it's got squished, sorry. It's OK, it um, looks like some kind of torture device, <laughs> if I'm honest with you. You wait, you wait till the demonstration is something. Uh, <laughs> I just don't think the obvious when I'm, I'm doing the demonstration, OK? But um, there is what we're going to make. And it, we're approximately making something to the width of the petals. Now, because I'm a bit scared about breaking the mesh, because if you stretch it too much, I reckon we could make a little bit of a bigger petal than that. Mm -hmm. But I was, a bit, I was kind of nervous and, and kept it at that width. But I reckon you could probably go a little bit. Yeah, don't absolutely. Go don't go more than the maximum width of the meth mesh. So what you, you stretch it out, have a look at its maximum width, and make your petals accordingly. So I've gone a little bit smaller, about 80% of it, but I reckon you could go a little bit more and, and, and get away with it. So right. what I'm going to do is quickly show you petal making. Um, I probably used uh, about a metre and a half, an arm to, hand to hand width and I've got long arms but okay. something like that. And um, I've left a bit extra because you can make leaves of the wire tails or you can use those wire tails to bind it onto necklaces and tiaras. So those, ah. those can be used to fix the rose onto something. Okay. So nice long wire tails. So what I'm going to do is just um, bend, straighten the wire out with your fingers a little bit and just measure probably how many inches, about 16 or 17 inches okay. worth. Oh, I've got things everywhere, sorry everybody. Um, and use your chain nose pliers and make a sharp bend. And you might need a longer length on this side to make your petals with. Okay. So sharp bend upwards, and actually you can be really quite rough, um, roughly shaped, I mean, uh, making these petals. So bend, sharp little bend with the pliers, and then bring it round, make a little curve, and then um, cross it back over to the, to the base wire, baseline wire, and then I'm going to shift it round in my hands a little bit and just make a bend upwards. That's 
really, really simple. It's a really simple shape, actually. Okay. There's my bat, bat I'm too embarrassed to show. I actually took it, I made a bat, and I took it, and I put it on the tiara, and just too embarrassed to show it. So um, that's the bat I took off and put another a flower on, <laughs> emergency flower. Um, so you make several of these petals, yeah. exactly the same way, looping around. I'll put this out of the way now, until you've got a shape a bit like this, and I've tied it together with a bit of scrap wire. Mm -hmm. This is all for to photograph these stages onto the Facebook page, so you'll see them. And this length is approximately, and I've got an inch, um, it's approximately, um, am I being stupid? No. Yes, I am. <laughs> 15, about 30 centimetres in length, something like that. Like 30 centimetres. 12 length. inches. Yes, yeah. Um, and and you've got, I've got nine petals approximately. Now you can put um, a few more on to make the rose even bigger mm -hmm. and smaller ones will make buds. So, you know, that's enough to make the rose that I've got here. Right. The next thing we're going to do is put the mesh on and attach it. Okay. So what I've done is I've got a, a length of mesh and we don't want to cut it at all because we don't know how much we're going to use. And what we need to do is make this tube a little bit wider. And this is where we, we have the um, family planning lesson. <laughs> and I'm not using a ring mandrel, mandrel for the obvious, but you put the hammer in, the <laughs> hammer in there and pop it in there and make the mesh a little bit wider. Ah, okay, it just excellent. helps you do that and work on it without, um, and at the same angle, okay. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, so and I'm basically putting it up the, the hammer handle. There we are. You've all had your fl family planning lesson now. You know what to do. <laughs> I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and then there we are. So you've got an approximate enough to fit over the rose. Okay. Okay. So wrinkle it up and then and, and stretch it so it's ready. So you're not going to tear it as you put, as you pass it over the wire. So that's the last thing you want to do. As you well, these little ridges, you can tear the mesh. You don't want to do that. So get the hammer out and then pop it on the wire gently gently use the blunt end first um, Alison will tell you just to, to fold over any wire ends that you're putting over so that it doesn't poke through right. so make it a blunt end and um, all I did was put it actually through from this end through like that like so and they're ready to work don't cut this mesh because you still don't know how much you're going to use now we're going to uh, attach this mesh to the 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 piece, okay. the wire frame. So you can use, I'm using 025 millimeter wire, you can use 0.4 if you like. Um, I'm going to do just a few petals because I've got a finished piece ready to fold up. But Wonderful. Basically, um, try and get a matching colour to the mesh as much as possible, um, unless you want it as a detail. So okay. with the black mesh, I, perhaps I would have used um, gunmetal wire, yes. would be better than the silver, although if you've got that silver detail shining through, that's quite nice with the silver detail, Yeah. Um, um, but gunmetal, if you want to make it fade back, or if you've even got black wire in your, in, um, you use the black wire, Yeah. Um, but it just hides, it hides what you're, you're working. You can also sew through the mesh with this 0.25mm wire, adding in beads. Okay. Like, um, Deb Raj did this morning with... Um, working on the paracord she was sewing in beads through with thinner wire and so what I'm going to do now the great thing about this mesh is it does tend to stay where it is good. so that's good um, so I'm twist making a little twist at the end and you can trim this off with some scissors afterwards okay so it's just while you're working with it mm -hmm. poke the 0.25 millimeter wire around and start to cinch it in I'm doing it where the two wires meet um, at the base here, wrap it round a few times and cinch it in. Okay, and you can tidy that wire tail up. What I'm doing now is I'm just going to shift hands because I like to work from one hand really when I'm working. Mm -hmm. and in fact, actually, I might cut this. I'm going to cut the wire, but you need to use about a metre. But you can always add in with the, with this technique. You don't have to have, use the same wire. You can add it in as you work. So right. Like, the shorter wire just for convenience and as I'm going along I'm just going to stitch along this baseline like an, using the wire like a needle catching near the base wire mm -hmm. making sure that the loops don't fold over and go in you can see well that that's not what you want to happen you want the loop to sit next to each other so the petal is uh, as wide as possible okay so stitch along and you can do as many stitches as you like uh, stitching near the base line, I suppose you call it, and stitch an, um, along 
touching that mesh until you get to the next loop. So with an era loop, what you need to do first is a, a stitch around where the loop meets the baseline, or the kink meets the baseline, or the, the, the side of the petal. Stitch around there once. And the next thing we're going to do is try and draw in the mesh around the petal. So I've got that. So that just makes sure it doesn't... Um, doesn't we're going to make sure the mesh doesn't tear and doesn't bunch up in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. so, so I'm being a bit slow because I'm trying to do it from... A, so I've done a couple of stitches where the two loops meet here. Right. And then... Sorry, there. Okay. And then what there I'm going to do is just turn it to one side. And then what I'm going to do, holding everything carefully in place, just cinch around here, and I'm just going to pull it in carefully and slowly. So don't do it too roughly. Just literally pull it in. Oh. Okay. Just make sure, as I'm doing it, unfortunately, that's started to fold over on itself. So you need to hold near this baseline. Probably what I'm going to do, everyone, sorry, is turn it round. So I can, I'm left-handed, so it's, I'm finding it easier to work from that way. Mm -hmm. Hold these two so that they don't start folding over each other like here. Mm -hmm. And then wrap around three times. Can you see it cinching around the petal? Mm. Okay. So that's, that's the mesh oh. around the petal. So that's how you do it without tearing the mesh. Then pull it along a little bit and sew it along and do the next one. And so on and so on and so on to the end. So Fantastic. the main thing to do first is to... Is to wrap through the mesh here a couple of times mm -hmm. and then cinch the mesh in. Right. So it just, I just, it just worked that I didn't start tearing the mesh or anything like that mm -hmm. when I did it that way. So what we're going to do is end up with, I'm going to take that out of the way. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm like deep, I'm a, just getting A ready-made one. And what you can do is pull this out a little bit now and shape it into, into place. And we're ready to do the, 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 um, the shaping of the rows. I love that colour. So what we're going to do now is use some round nose pliers. And mm -hmm. I work from the, end, the blunt end first. Right. And leaving these tails so that we'll end up on the outside of the rows, ready to make leaves or attachment points. So what I'm going to do is just start a curl and work very gently. Just start, all you have to do is start a curl. There's not much more you have to do with the pliers. So I've got a, um, a start. Then, uh, just before I do anything much, I'm just going to sh do some shaping. Okay, the so top, opening like out, the petals. Yep, curling them slightly away. It's ready for when I attach them around, so they'll start to... Um, so I'm slightly curling them outwards. Can you see yeah, on the yeah. main camera how I'm curling them outwards? Can you see I'm cutting them outwards from the line? Yeah, so the just line. Yeah, like the lip. It. Yeah, lip, like that. So uh, I'll do a few and then we'll shake the rest as we go. So now all we do literally is curl, this wire is so soft. I'll do another little bit more of a curl. Just curl it with your fingers because you don't want too many, pl many pliers coming in with this. And you're oh, starting wow. to form a rose. I do this with my wire wet roses. I've got a DVD on that as well. <laughs> and then pull, pull it outwards, like that. Pull the petal outwards as you circle it. Just start to form the rose shape. Just try and stop it distorting. It might distort a bit, but it's not the end of the world. Can you see how it's starting to make the rose? It's amazing. Again. Yeah. And inwards, round we go. There. And then round, just make sure we've got a curl. I'm turning it over so you can see the curl at the back. There we go. And then back, turning it back again, and round. That's fantastic. There we are. And you can use, there we are. So we've got the rays done. Can you see how it's made now? There we are. So there's a rose. That's amazing. That's it. Make sure you tie, you bind together with a little bit of wire. And these, this one, I tend to bring back over here wow. to add some strength and structure and you can wrap along here and bind that to that so you've, you've basically pulled the whole rows together right. and with this you can make a leaf so a leaf on this side round with a little um, point, point like that oh round God. I'm going to try and keep it it doesn't really matter, keep it on the top this is where 
I work in a hot studio, so the wire always behaves differently in a hot studio. I always got that excuse, but there we go, that's the leaf. You can make all sorts of shapes, you can make points and, and things like that. But then you, basically you just use um, a weaving technique up here. If we've got time to show, I will, but we might go on to do the buff them off. How are we doing? No, we've got 30 we'll... minutes. So um, basically cut that, cut that to about a centimetre off the end of the leaf. Do a little curl. Again, do that. Remember to do the, the top where you actually um, got that little extra excess there. Where it's a P, you need to turn it into a C and then it will curl better. Go away, fly. And then curl down into the leaf shape. And then what I do is attach some point 0.4 wire. So you've got that. You can hammer that before you put it down if you like. You can do all sorts of things. Yeah. And then um, I put that, I'm going to put that down, get some 0.4 millimetre wire. I'm not sure we've got very much time to show a leaf weaving technique. Use a bit more than this. You can, what I should do is bind it through one part of the rose before you attach. So I've got a good point, a spot where I can attach it. And so I've bound through the, this back wire into the top of the leaf. It starts to hold it together. This is a good anchor point. If you want to add in new wire to bind it onto something, you can thread it through some gaps in the back and use it to bind on, or you can use this one to bind on and it had other leaves underneath. So because you've lost this wire, you will probably need to add in another wire mm -hmm. or even use 0.4 millimetre wire through these bits to actually to bind it onto something. Right. Okay. So, you, But you've got plenty of anchor points. It's fantastic. You've got loads of anchor points to do that. So to do the leaf, um, I might have to talk through it, but I just wrap around. I might just do a couple of. You're basically basking, we, basket weaving from either side. Okay. So wrap up either side. I'm going to be really, really, uh, really awful, but you, what you need to do is wrap lovely, lovely, neat wreaths all the way up either side with the end of the wire. And then when you've got a point where you can reach the spine, go back through. And because this is not attached, you've got, it's an easier technique. Just push oh. back through, use the pliers, push back through, wrap a couple of times, wrap and wrap, okay, and then, and then push back, that back down as far as you can with the pliers into position and then put this back up to, um, travel this wire back up to this side. Then you do the same with the alternating side. So I imagine I've gone up to about here, mm -hmm. uh, about a centimetre along, and then what I do, and I haven't obviously, is I'll bring it up and then I'll bring that back to the spine. So you start to, to create a diagonal, a diagonal um, leaf vein weave. Oh, with yes. the, um, I'm just ha holding it to camera here, diagonal leaf vein weave. And we've got um, an example of this already there. finished, haven't So just we? make sure that uh, with each traverse back to the central spine, you've got trying to keep an angle so it's more natural as a diagonal spine back towards the, the, the central spine. So that's the rose. It's amazing. More or less. So I'll put that one away and we'll make the moth. There we go. So I'll put that one away. There. Cool. So, so we're going to make the moth. Um, the moth. I'm excited about so, this <laughs> moth. <laughs> and so what it is, is um, I've got a template and that's my awful bat and other things and uh, things I didn't go right on. But that is what I did for the, the moth. And that is actually photographed on the, on the website. So you okay. can print it out as your template and use it. Wonderful. So I'm um, getting a piece of um, one millimetre um, frame wire and again you use it to, to the colour to match your meth and meth, mesh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not that sort of show. And then what you need to do then is just bend the wire halfway along your metre of wire. Wonderful. Okay, and we're going to start making that moth. I'm only going to make one side because we've got... Uh, it's just the same as the previous technique. We've got a, a mirror image shape, so we can turn it over and work one side to the other. So Perfect. clamp either side of a bend to make it more sharper. That's a useful technique. So clamp, oh. clamp, clamp, and you make a bend sharper. Like it. Um, so using the your, your pressure from your fingers, I'm just shaping round, and then the pliers. I usually work on a hard surface. I'm just going to whip round, you see, and just shape round and mm -hmm. I work on a hard surface because then you don't ruin your template otherwise you're pushing through the paper. I'm working on a soft surface here so be a bit careful. Clamp near a bend and then pull the wire around with the other hand 
and then pick it up mm -hmm. uh, and then clamp either side of the bend before and you check the bend is in the right place clamp either side of the bend to make it tighter yep and that's what you do and then you put it back on the paper yes it's the right size and shape and if you have to reshape nibble and push the wire a little bit either side but the problem is don't do that too often because you can break the wire so just right. be a bit careful try and get it in the right place but if you can't there are techniques you can use to try and get it back so back round up to the top of the wing don't worry any excess wire because I know I've probably used too much can be used to make a little bit more detail and perhaps even the body so you know nothing is wasted don't ever waste those bits of wire put them in the box and you can use them mm -hmm. so another bend I'm going to lift it up after making a sort of test bend in the right place I'm going to lift that wire up and bend it round to form the shoulder of the moth. And what I'm going to do is just follow that template. Now we're going to do something called inverse spiral technique because we all know how to make spirals from inner to out, working outwards because mm -hmm. we form a little curl and then spiral it out. Yeah. But what we're going to do is work from the outside to inside oh. to fill the space. And it's quite useful if you haven't, don't know the exact length of wire you need to fill the space. Right. So what you do is you, you have drawn a spiral and I'm using the space as a kind of idea of how to, big to put my spiral. So I'm curling from outside to inside and because I haven't yeah just shape it just take some time to shape it but then pop back over the template and we're working from outer to inner so again curl it round can you see mm -hmm. you're forming an inverse spiral and you fill the space like um, as you should you know exactly how much why you um, need um, no, because you don't know how much wire you need, you fill the space without having to, to try and work that out. Perfect. Then the last thing you need to do is make the smaller spiral. So lift the whole shape up. And put the chain nose pliers in uh, about halfway down and start to curl. And then move the chain nose a bit further down and the curl becomes smaller. Mm -hmm. Chain nose pliers to the tip and the final curl would be small. Mm -hmm. That's how you do, do that technique. So it's like an inverse spiral technique, outer to inner, Perfect. rather than inner to outer. Make sure you do your curve, and what you do is you hammer, um, I hammered the spirals. Now I used, and the frame actually, to work hard on it. Again, remember to turn the shape over and work again to do the other side. So what you need, you, you'll, you'll end up with a little shape like this. Oh, That's uh, fantastic. To camera. Sorry, Kim. Um, there, like that. So that's what you'll end up with, a sort of a moth shape. And you can do the same with the technique with butterflies, um, because I've made a butterfly um, on one of the other things. So it's almost exactly the same method. It's just a slightly different mm -hmm. butterfly template. Mm -hmm. So it's the same method, really, to use to make it. That's amazing. So the next thing is to make a body. So I'm not going to show you the techniques for making the body, um, except to just say you use this little template. And if you're worried about making curves, use the gizmo mandrel and just to help you form these curves. So shape the wire around the curves either okay. side, bend outwards, shape the wire around the other side and everything like that. Perfect. Okay. And then what you need to do then, so take these templates away now, we don't need them, is to make a, I'm going to curl just on one side um, and hammer it just to show you that. I haven't done a hammering, even though I've talked about it. Do the P. Loosely curl, because you can do spirals tightly or loosely. So what you're doing is never really quite... I'm actually using a twist of the pliers to actually make that loose curl, rather than it being a tight mm -hmm. scissor, scissor forming spiral. You can make tight spirals, but this is a loose one. Right. So the next thing we're, going to do, thing we're going to do is hammer it. Now you should hammer it on, um, this is quite a good surface, well, it's not, it bounces a little bit but we'll be alright. Um, and I've got a lovely steel block and a small face hammer. And there's also, um, the small face hammers are great because you can get into small spaces without damaging um, the places you don't want to hammer. So I can just hammer that little area. If you, if you haven't got one of those, use your standard large face hammer but just hammer on the edge of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they use a small face hammer. They come in either sets of two or sets of five on the website, and they're fantastic. So, um, small face hammer and bang. There we go. And I'm going to gently hammer through the rest of the piece. In fact, I'm going to hammer. Yeah, I'm going to hammer the abdomen because I didn't wrap over the whole abdomen, so that would look quite nice flat. So I'm going to hammer the abdomen. Now you can see there's hammer marks on this side, but this is going to be the back. Oh. And you hammer the back, 
so that the front is flat. Ah. So what you do is make sure, I'm shaping it a little bit, because it will always distort after hammering. Of course. And just check its shape, because that isn't quite symmetrical. It's not good enough. But anyway, the hammered, hammered shape, hammered surface will be against the block. Uh, that you show and the hammer marks will be to the back and there are techniques for hammering out but as you hammer you thin a piece mm -hmm. so if you can avoid doing that and just have that on show that's that's fine that's Perfect. what I tend to do so moving that out of the way what we're going to do now and it's not quite symmetrical so what can I do oh, oh, what I'm going to do is just use a little squeeze technique either side of this bend rotate squeeze back just until I get that bend a bit more in the centre. It doesn't matter, but that's what you do, a little bit of a reshaping there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know whether you can see that little shape, little twist, and it just slightly reshapes that bend. Oh, fantastic. It's really simple to do. So the next thing to do is get some 0.25mm wire, um, because I want um, the wire to go through, two wires to go through the gemstones. Now I'm going to use a little bit I don't know, about a metre, I reckon. It's always about a metre, isn't it? Always. <laughs> so, and then wrap around. Do you want to bring something on? Because that would be lovely. Well, I'll just wrap around the end. Let's do it. We'll yes. bring on the uh, wooden uh, daffin block. I'm just going to wrap around the end a couple of times while you do that. Brilliant. And the, the draw plate. Fantastic. There we go. We have uh, that um, I, you can use to make, and I've got, I haven't got all my copper pieces. Um, I was due to film this silver sheet DVD, but we're going to try and do that in the next few weeks. Okay. Um, but these are dapping blocks. You can make lovely um, dome shaped. So if you look at the little elephant, um, I've started to make his elephant body um, by using the dapping blocks to actually make the, 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 the dome surface. You can see it's, oh my gosh, you can see it's, it's, but some of the pieces I've got are very much more obvious. I just haven't got very That's many of my pieces here. So three dimensional, so three dimensional is what you would be using. Cups and, and um, curves, beautiful curves you can make. Um, you can start from both. These are quite nice deep ones. Mm, so they and are. all different depths as you go mm -hmm. around, lovely different depths. You can actually form almost a ring. If you've got a piece of wire and you want to form a, um, a ring shape, Let's do. I know that you could. I know that you could bend it yourself around a mandrel, but imagine it's a, a plate of copper, and you want to. Uh, if I can use this, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, you can um, do. And I use tend to use a hammer um, on it, or you can use those pegs mm -hmm. to hammer against it. But mm -hmm. I'll tend to use that. And, and I've, imagine it's a copper sheet, but you just use it like that in, into, into it. And I know this is not... Yeah, of course. You know, we can use our imagination. Sheet, but that's what we're doing, actually, making, making it a curve in it. Fantastic. A curve shape. So it's fantastic. Bracelets and, and um, lovely components. That's we've got brilliant. A draw plate, haven't we? Um, so would you be able to make, and this may be just very naive of me with not mm. having any knowledge, really, but would you be able to make two halves of this and, and create something together. spherical yes yes I think that could. would be quite cool you with could. wire and or then, mesh um, or then, and then just um, put them together and you yeah. can either put little holes around and sew them together mm -hmm. or um, um, glue them together or solder them together there you yeah, go you every day is a school day yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful prices coming in 4.95 <laughs> Yeah, and um, I wear them out, you see. You wear them out every so often. So what you do is you put a bit of sandpaper in there and mm -hmm. rub it round and it smooths it down again because oh. you basically make marks over it sometimes. Because I'm using my hammer, I'm mm -hmm. not very good about using the wooden blocks. And you can use the wooden blocks not to make the marks that I do with the hammer. <laughs> and um, so because I'm so uncoordinated. Um, so uh, every so often you just put, run a bit of sandpaper around and, and rejuvenate it a bit. There we go. Like we, have, uh, we have tips and tricks on how to rejuvenate as well, which there. is awesome. Um, Love it. Yeah, and the next thing, are we going to do that oh, draw plate? I don't know. Are we going to oh, do the, the draw plate as part of it or not? Am I being... Because I was going to show you this, only because I bought it desperately with me. I must we'll, do it in a, we'll do it in a little while. Fantastic. Thank you. That's okay. It's just, I'll put that back then. Right, next is making the little body. So what we're going to do is turn um, this into this as much as possible. So I'll do as much as I can. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to just use some of this wonderful opal. Um, I, what I didn't do actually in the time was wrap around, use a bit of wire and wrap around the base of the... Sorry. 
why does something in here has play, plays pranks on you sometimes and um, only because maybe it, it senses it senses this it doesn't work as well when you're nervous or you're worried or anything like that the main thing to do is be calm and happy when you're working with wire it's something about it and just works better when you're calm and happy and you want it to go well so that's what I'm trying to do is put myself into that mood and it always works a bit better then so I'll just wrap around the tip of the the moth body and I'm going to um, cut both ends especially so that about the same length of the and any ragged ends come off I'm going to put one of the little um, bead seed beads on and this is where I can't see what I'm doing uh, and then you've got the pressure of live TV come on get it off <laughs> There, do it, do it. Yeah. Um, so through both wires to the base and then we can choose what opals to use in that body and goodness me they're lovely lovely shades and what I did was hold the strand up, this is half the strand cut, to the body and find out which bits fitted in so about something like here is quite a good chunk to mm. use yeah. So, and they've got some lovely gentle, I took out the oranges actually and just saved them for another piece where I put oranges in. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to snip it here and here, okay. We have got all of those like moonlight colours which I love, you know, the, the, those kind of like midnight blues and those kind of celestial colours. Absolutely, there's such a range in there and it's only because I was making moths that I was taking the oranges out but, um, and then this is where... I may take a bit too much, but it doesn't matter. And I haven't got time to take the oranges out because I'm going to disrupt the, um, disrupt the line. I'm hoping, hoping to be able to get both through. And I've, you really need both wires at the same. I'm not going to do it. No, it's not going to work. Oh, I did. I, did. I got through a few through. Ooh. But I need to get both wires through. This is where it would be lovely if you bring something on while I thread these on. Would that be okay? Would, Would that be okay? That? If we got something we can bring on while and we thread these on? That would be just wonderful. We can do the wooden draw plate. Watching me th badly thread clumsily opals onto two wires is... No pressure. <laughs> we, have a, we have a tool if you don't do it properly. <laughs> have you seen the tool? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have that. Is that not what it's for? <laughs> oh, okay. Um. For making butter with or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so, we have got the... What's that? The draw, packing it draw plate. And I've got something to demonstrate with that so I can show you. I thought that's what you were calling me. So you have a look at that. Oh, that's, um, you make Viking knit on a, on a Viking knit tool or something like that. Okay. And this is an incredibly chunky one. That's a three ply Viking knit. Um, and um, I've used three three weaving wires of 0.6. Now, you don't have to. You can use one weaving wire of 0.4 or anything like that. You make really delicate ones. And that's a really big, chunky one because I wanted to, you know, almost oh, a big I love this. This is style, so you know, my kind of jewellery. And, um... I like the, the... You weave it on. And that wooden draw plate is what you use because basically you weave, you make it and it looks really loose. Mm -hmm. um, and that wooden draw flake is what you use to compress it and make it okay. all this, this dense that we've kind of packed together. Packed it in together. So um, you, want, you just push it through? Yes. And what I'm going to do is just take some one more piece of wire. And you have to pull it through, in fact, actually. So um, what you do is your tail wire is at one end and your wire that was originally attached to the Viking knit tool, mm -hmm. which I put down. Oh, yeah, there it Here is. is here um, this is where you need to pull through from this direction so that um, what you've cut off from the tool then you can just place some wire through mm -hmm. and through some loops and then what I'm going to do is what you need to do really is condition it with cloth okay mm -hmm. and then put it through the larger size first Ah, so this, and the wooden this one is uniform. quite good for not for stripping wire, you see, because if you've got a, a metal draw plate, you'll strip, strip colour off. So I'm just taking a bit of wire off so it's not cut. This has been sitting in my cloth pots for a long time. And you put it through, and you put it through once, and you put it through twice. Okay. Um, so I'm you good at this. Through twice. And then I can hold. You put it through the next size down. And you go down as many sizes as you want to think. Just make sure you compress the ends so it mm -hmm. fits through, which I didn't do. Doing all the things you shouldn't do with a Viking knit demonstration. There, next oh one gosh. down. And you can basically bring it down to as small a weave as you possibly can. Next one down. Yeah, thank you so much, darling. That's really kind. Next one down. 
and then you work your way down and you can see how small that little one is mm. this one won't, won't go down to that one but if you're doing a 0.4 millimeter viking knit you can get on a sing and single ply mm -hmm. you can get it down into that so you make a really lovely little that's wonderful and the next one now once it gets really tough mm -hmm. you use pliers so what i'll do is i'll use pliers to, to to pull it through so and again you should be conditioning it and stuff like that so sorry about this everyone don't use your best pliers and put it through there we are oh wow you see and so you do it again and again so you really can't do it anymore because it's not going to do it and you still maintain your flexibility but you've got a really tight weave i like it and it's bunched together i don't remember what it was like before but it's quite loose it was nice. disorganized yeah. there's gaps but you make a tense tight tight weave the more you pull it through and this is what you need it need that for that's awesome you can also pull mesh through so that's if awesome I have any spare so we're gonna mesh, go straight down on that sorry any spare mesh Sorry, everybody. It's a pound, everybody. It's a pound. Your draw yeah. plate is a pound. Pull the mesh through and you do the same thing. You can make a cord with the mesh. So if you're working with the mesh and then you want to pull up, pull up, make a cord next to it or other shapes of the same colour, pull it through. Oh, it's not going to do it. Put it through the smallest size. Sorry, everybody. It's all right. Um, the smallest size and you, made a you can make a cord with it. Oh, wow. I think I, I, the three millimetres better with that, sorry. Fantastic. Just put it through and you can make, and you can make a, cord, a cord with it. Done Wonderful. It there we are. <laughs> but cool. it, does, it does work, it does work. Well, we've so, only got a couple of minutes left, yeah. so... Right, OK. Oh, gosh. So, well, let's talk through this bit. OK, let's do it. Yes. OK, um, so what I did was I filled that bit with the, with the, the opal mm -hmm. And then brought the 0.4 millimetre wire to either side of this body. Yes. And then cinched on a little bead, um, um, as I did before, side by side cross. Mm -hmm. Then, just as we did with the technique that we did before in the other, in the other um, demonstration, I worked up to the side in the same way as I did the snake. Mm -hmm. And then I did a criss... I didn't do a crisscross wrap, but what I did was actually bent, was use one wire to go through the centre of the bead, one of these little plates, mm -hmm. flat and then brought it back and the other wire I went through the other side and brought it back and then that really acts as an attachment and it sets this flat in place against the back of the little um, moth and it, and it won't rotate and it won't move about and I went up again to the next one mm -hmm. okay added in another smaller one and then added two beads in at the top and then wrapped along the top and that was the, the side of the the little moth body. That's so amazing. now we're going to, do, to attach it to the thing. We'll, we'll talk through as much as we can. Cool, cool. Okay. So, can you see the. Um, I'm going to use the bit that I've stretched already. Okay. No, actually, I'm going to use that bit. So, stretch the mesh. This is amazing. Like, literally, mm. I come back, every time I'm back here, I'm just... Learning more and more and more. Excited. More. Yes. Because every you're going to see thousands of pieces being made. Mm -hmm. And believe me, it's just invaluable. You're going to be closer than anybody else is to the to actually watching someone at, at work, doing their, yeah. doing their work, and all the techniques you're going to pick up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, again, stretching it out, popping it across the whole moth body. Remember, I've hammered those curls, and I want a good deal of mesh either side, so that I'm not being too stingy about the the sides, because as you make it, it pulls. Of course, you've got all pulls. those holes to get in as well. Yes, ex you're exactly right, and there'll be some pulls. So I'm going to, I need to get it in a bit more through. So I'm going to leave probably a little bit of excess. This can be scrunched up and formed into centres of flowers. You can you could do instead of gem stains, you scrunch this up and sew it into the centre of flower, for example. Wonderful. So what I've done is make a heart shaped by folding two pieces of wire, a piece sorry, a piece of wire, and it was I can't remember what the what the the, the um, I did it as inverse spiral technique okay. and just made it into the centre of, of the body. So you basically, I did the same as I did that spiral. Cool, so that, okay. but this will all be online, yes, right? Yes, online. And then um, attached it to the base swing with a bit of point 0.4. So I'm going to bring some point 0.4 up now. Sorry, everybody. Um, okay. 
and then really what we're doing is doing the same as the rose petal uh, touching in the body and but I just want to show you a little bit of technique if we can have time so again um, so around the heart mm -hmm. the hammered heart and the top of the intersection of the moth body again okay. I do it, really do it a couple of times Sorry, everyone. I think I did use um, 0.25. I'm going to use 0.4, but 0.25 is less brutal upon it. So don't, I mean, I'm going to use 0.4, but try and use the 0.5 if you can, it's only because it's less brutal on the mesh. Silly me. So there we go. Um, attach it a bit better than this. And really, what I need to do then is move up to the next intersection between the wings and just. Uh, in fact, what I need to do is just gently pull around exactly the same way as we did before and cinch this up. It's not too important for this to be perfect on this bit, mm -hmm. OK? Um, and then we're doing the next bit, the next intersection, just at the base, bringing it together, and then gently, oh. gently, gently. This is where you've got to be really gentle. Pull it down. So this comes up. That's amazing. You form one wing and another on that side. Now we're going to get some scissors in. I'm not going to do the other side, but just imagine it. So I'm just going to cut that, get that out of the way. Um, next thing, what we're going to do is make this. This is another technique you can use because you can actually make that mesh fill, fill the space. What I'm going to do is cut along the top, leaving about five millimetres at the top mm -hmm. of this little butterfly moth. And then what I'm going to do is slightly part the two mesh areas and then bring this spiral up mm -hmm. out of the way and then fold this up and over the wing. Ah, I can see that. Now I so hate to do now this. Now you can do that. I'm sorry. We have one minute. One minute. That is okay. it. I'll talk it through. Around. Fold that back down and then use all this wire to... Attach the moth, 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 moth. Now, attach the moth body here at the, at the neck, mm -hmm. and then sew all around. I yep. know you put, put it around here, but sew all around, it's just as we did the rose. Yep. Really neatly, adding in little beads as you go to hide the wire work. Wonderful. Work your way all the way around. And what I did, if you look at the finished one, bring this up to the, this close focus if you could. Sorry, everyone. Um, so can you see, I've attached the moth body in place, worked my way around the wings, worked my way around the wings, adding in beads, and then also done an attachment here and here to stabilise the body against here. I've attached the body to the frame here, here, and here. OK, Wonderful. that's about it. I'm so sorry there wasn't time, but... No, that's um, fabulous. I think you'll know how to make it once you... Yeah, you absolutely. Through. You got through so much mm. there. Yes. Um, uh, and, of course, uh, everything will be on Facebook. And um, we... Do you know, it's been such a pleasure working with you today. Okay. And um, it, I really, really have enjoyed it. It's been lovely. so lovely. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I've learned so much. I'm super inspired. Um, you, I've been eyeing up this little bat. <laughs> it's, you know, not my Aww. finest work. <laughs> 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 it's so cool. It's like, this is like Halloween. It's awesome. So, so you can use the black mesh to make a bat. A bat. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. This is my favourite thing. Sorry about all this beautiful jewellery. This was my favourite. Yeah. So we're going to have to love you and That's leave right. you. I'll pack up um, and you've got me until 7.30, unfortunately. Well, you're going to have a lo you'll be lovely. You're having a lovely time. I'm going to get back for the Wade Bridge Carnival when the fireworks, if Wonderful. I can make it. But I've just I've enjoyed every minute. Yeah, me Thank too. You. It's been so lovely. Thank you so yeah. much. We're going to head to a quick break and we'll see you in two. Buying from Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When we bring an item to you, all the graphics come on screen and this gives you all the information that you will need to know, from the item code to the product description with all of the key information. Then the price comes on and whether you join at the beginning or at the end of the offer, everyone pays the final on-screen price. So, when you see an item that you would like to buy, simply pick up the phone and dial our free phone number and you'll get through to our UK-based call centre. Alternatively, you can join us at www.jurymaker.com and start your jury-making journey today. 
Jewelry Maker, the one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. We here at Jewelry Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. Getting started with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. When you spend with us £4.95, you will get a free welcome pack. That welcome pack will give you pretty much everything you need to get started. From a manual, which will help you to familiarise yourself with all of the items that you're going to be creating and all of the products that you need, including tools and findings and threads. You'll also get a DVD and step-by-step -step project cards. These cards and the DVD will give you the chance to be able to create a wonderful arrangement of different items of jewellery. Plus, you'll also get a free three pack of tools. These will be everything you need to get started. So, getting started with the Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. So why not give it a go today? Jewellery Maker, your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Hello, hello, hello. We are back. Um, uh, it would usually be my last hour, but I'm going to be here with you till 7.30 today. Um, so, yeah, woo, woo, woo. Um, I'll be working with Big Tall Tom uh, shortly as well. I've not seen him for years. So, um, we're going to, this is mega clearance. Um, and coming up for you at the end of this, we've got a whole hour of everything going under a pound, which is ridiculous. So, we have had so much, uh, so much, so many requests for more leather this morning, um, and I love this colour. So we have got for you your two meters of grey leather cord, approximately three millimeters round. It's going to be on and gone. Literally, I have got. We're going to see how much we can get through in our last hour. Got quite high quantities this hour, so. Um, if you have been missing out, maybe more chance of being more successful during this hour. Two meters on the gray, it's got this wonderful, like a gunmetal gray. Talked about gunmetal quite a lot today. I love this color. Yeah, like a pewtery gray, isn't it? Is that pewtery gray? I don't even know if that's English, but. <laughs> awesome. Love, 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 love. Uh, no, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're just discussing whether I want milk and sugar in my coffee. I'm like, no, thank you. Cheers. <laughs> Are you ready? Two metres of grey leather cord, approximately three millimetres round, and it is yours today for a pound. One pound, ah, ah, ah. One pound, that's it, uh, a pound for you. And it's genuine leather, genuine leather, ah, uh, have you know. Uh, it's incredible, isn't it? You know, really unisex as well. I love this um, with bracelets. Um, my dad wears quite a lot of leather, just bracelets, just very simple bracelets. And I think this is very unisex. It'd be awesome for both. Um, absolutely, I love it. 
Uh, good luck. That's number one. Let's move on to box number two. Oh, did you? Is this more? Ooh. Oh, this is awesome. This is like a British racing green colour. Again, uh, in your leather cord, um, we're looking at um, a smaller millimetre width on this. Fabulous. And it's that dark, it's a dark green. It's like a British racing green. Absolutely. So you've got a 0 0.5 millimetre on this one. Two, millimetre, uh, two metres of leather cord. And I love this. I do like this British racing green colour. It's lovely. And there it is, sneaking in. <laughs> like mm, I'm coming I'm coming oh there I am I'm a pound uh, for a pound today now remember there's only one PMP until midnight tonight so the more you buy the more you save if you are you know looking to purchase multiples of these if you're thinking oh I'm gonna get that in for my stash take advantage clearance for the rest of the day um, and of course one PMP 295 until midnight tonight so if you see it and you like it buy it absolutely Lovely, lovely. Big quantity of these. Phone lines are ringing at the hook. Um, love this dark green. Love this dark green. Goes with so many different colours as well. Beautiful. Really, really deep and rich. And I love that the, the leather's almost got shine to it. It's gorgeous. So that was number two. Moving on to box number three. Ooh! Ah, <gasps> oh, these are lush. Um, silver heart bezel pendants. Now, we showed you the kind of bracelets that we had earlier. Similar design in the fact that you can um, inlay uh, into these with your clay or your resin. And look at me, I almost sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're not fooling anybody, Emma. Um, so, not you, Emma. Um, so, <laughs> so, you're getting three of these. I know, everybody's called Emma today. All the cool, all the cool kids, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. They're lovely. Could have a three leaf clover with these. Ah. Love this. So, um, silver plated, gorgeous design that you've got here. And a one pound and 95 pence. Hello. One pound and 95 pence today. How awesome is that deal? How awesome is that deal? Three pendants. Lots of people are multi-buying on these and I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. It's been so busy today. I've got to tell you, it's been so busy and it, you know, it makes everything go super fast, doesn't it, as well? It's like, I feel like I've only been here five minutes. Uh, June's bought two. Liz has bought two. Christine's bought two. Um, Collector has bought two. Uh, Hampshire's bought two. Yorkshire's bought two. Um, oh, who else? Um, Irina in Sussex has bought three of these. Janet in Lanarkshire's bought three of these. Abigail's bought two. Um, there we go. Oh, you were just talking about guest designer Zoe. Zoe's just bought some of these as well. There we go. <laughs> um, uh, Sarah's bought uh, two of these. Um, a, a lot of people are multi-buying. A lot of people are multi-buying. And I'm not surprised. Box number three. Um, oh, box number four next. Um, oh, I don't have black agate. I have blue. Do you know what? It's my night in shining denim. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> um, blast from the past as well. Lovely to see you. There we go. Are you going to be directing me later? Um, no. Oh, you'll be on cameras. Ah, awesome. Awesome. There you go. There you go. It's like it's like old school. It's fab. So, should we get? Did you, the blue, the blue agate, 5 95 These are really pretty. So for those of you that love to seed bead, um, you've got that with genuine blue agate today. Gorgeous. Not going to be your price at 5 95 We are going lower. 
One, what? One pound and 95. So today, you've got, I mean, you've got it all. You've got the cord, two lots of cord. Um, you've got, of course, the bezel settings. You've got this beautiful blue agate. Um, you've got all that under a tenner delivered. That's amazing. Um, eight carats today, really pretty colour. It's kind of that celeste blue, that kind of cerulean colour, isn't it? Love it. It's a lovely colour, isn't it? Really, really, really. Um, it's almost like a cornflower blue there as well. You know when you see like top quality sapphires with that cornflower blue? It's incredible. One ninety five today. You can multi-buy to your heart's content. What I love as well is they're all faceted. So even though they're tiny, tiny little seed bead size, you've got all of that faceting and the sparkle that you've got coming through. Everybody's multi-buying on these. Peter's bought three. Eileen's bought two. Um, Carolyn's bought three. June's bought two. Um, Linda's bought two. Irina's bought three. Sabine's bought three. Um, it's, it's busy, busy. We're going to have to move on. Box number five. Still keep dialing through on that. Uh, if you love that size of beads, we have got... Oh, is this orange? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Right, let's do that. These are like fire opals. These are like fire opals um, with your orange agate, but you've got varying different nuances in these. Check these out. I love, 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 love these colours. So it's not just orange though. Don't you think? They're a bit like fire opals in the, in the, um, you know, the colour um, palette that you have here. So you've got those oranges, those beautiful golden hues through to those almost kind of paprasha colours that you've got here as well. And... Um, We've only got 86 of these. Sorry, peeps. We've only got 86. Like we'll only we we only need 43 people multi buying, and they've gone. Uh, Irene has bought three. Claire's there in Essex. Hello, Susan and Kathy and Debbie and Peter. Uh, well done to you, Violet, Margaret, Diane, Mark. Collectors in Somerset. Um, Zoe's back in as well. Lovely to see you. And Jeanette and Annie and Jude. Um, the phone lines are ringing off the hook. People, everybody. Peter's bought three. Collectors bought three. Uh, Diane's bought th two. Uh, Mark's bought three. Um, um, uh, Annie's bought two, June's bought two, Jeanette's bought two. Literally, it is so busy today. And I'm not surprised, I'm really not surprised. The colour that you've got here is exceptional. Beautiful, vivacious colour. Almost like the gemstones uh, themselves have got uh, kind of illuminating colour from within them. You've got that wonderful um, glow from within the gemstones. So pretty. God, keep good luck. There's 39 chances. Keep dialing through. Number six. Ooh, these are, okay, faceted quartzite that we've got for you in the rounds. I love this colour. This is like really sassy, hot, sexy pink. I love this. This is a really lush, really lush colour. Almost a magenta kind of hue that you've got there. They are not. Okay, I, I'm going to give you a warning. You want to be dialing like yesterday. There you go. It's a pound. One pound. Get them back home. Add them to your order. Put them in your stash. Maybe you're not sure what you want to do with these just yet, but it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter. Um, it's a pound. It's a pound. So, um... It, it is, it is, absolutely. It is the summer holidays and, um, you know, Kim just mentioned about perfect for making jewellery with your children or the grandchildren. You know, for a pound, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, you can't really buy anything for the kids to enjoy and play with for a pound, can you? But this is fantastic. I think that was, that's a brilliant idea. Good luck, good luck. Right, box number seven. Am I, I'm so squeaky. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I love this colour. It's my squeaky chair. I love this colour. Check this colour out. This is incredible. You have got the most beautiful Prava colours coming through here. They are amazing. If you're a lover like uh, me of Prava Tourmaline, amazing. Aqua blue, quartzite, plain rounds, approximately two millimetres, 10 carats, yours for a pound. Yours for a pound. 
Oh, we've got a text in. Do you know, it reminds me, it reminds me of the end of Kidderminster Market, you know, on a Saturday when he's giving away all the fruit and veg and he's like, have it all for a pound. I'm like, yeah, okay. Um, I can't believe how much I have bought today and I still haven't broken the bank or oh, my budget. I'm high-fiving that, Liz. I'm high-fiving you across the TV. It, what deal after deal. And we have got a whole hour of things going under a pound coming up next as well, which I'm super excited about. So you can keep adding to your order. This colour's amazing. Do you know what, as well? all of that antique bronze that we've had today I think this would complement it beautifully but it's gone box number eight we have got leather hardware oh oh my gosh this is awesome so actually my friend makes um, she repurposes handbags um, out of old leather jackets she is amazing if you want to see what she does find me on Facebook and ask me about it so these should be 10.95. Oh, these would be awesome. I've been asking about studying some of my um, some of my leather bracelets. Sorry, some of my leather handbags. So you've got. Oh my gosh! Really? Two pounds ninety-five pence. Um, that's amazing. You've got twelve of the six mil rib uh, ribbit. <laughs> yeah, there's a frog in here. Um, you've got twelve of the six mil rivet cap and post sets. Um, you've got six of the seven mil. You've got twelve. Oh, they've gone. Anyway, you've got loads of stuff in there. It's gone. <laughs> uh, if you just got the. Um, the orange agate these are going to complement them perfectly with the orange quartzite and these are neon check out the color in these check out the color in these this is crazy there we go you ready straight down to a pound straight down to a pound cost me more than that to park my car to get my nails done yesterday it's crazy how when you think about it, straight down to about, you can't get nothing for a pound these days. They can't even get, you can't get a bottle of pop for a pound. There you go, amazing. Beautiful, gorgeous colour, very sunshiny, glowy, you know, this wonderful almost fluorescence that you've got coming through here as well, very neon. Beautiful. Add it to your order. They will go really lovely with what we just had, yeah, with the, um, the uh, agate. Those various different hues of oranges with the agate. <laughs> 46 chances. Loads of you getting involved. Add it to your order, like I say, for an extra pound. You know, there may come a time in the not so distant future where you think, oh, do you know what? I'd love a little, like some little bright seed beads to complement what it is that I'm I'm making and for a pound you've got them they're there right next up box number 10 and now we were talking earlier about Egyptian jewelry this is very very Egyptian this is so me this is like Emma kind of jewelry I love it and it's straight in at a pound she does it is It is. You've never seen it. It's my favourite Disney film. There we go. Love that. I'm just going to pop it off so you can have a nosy. But again, you know, you could be... Um, <laughs> you could um, be... Are we talking about sticking gemstones? Like, actually, you could, couldn't you? And be awesome with a big cabochon in the centre. Perfect. Love it. For a pound. There you go. Let's do number 11. Ooh. These are lovely. Uh, this is your purple quartzite. I would call this more of a magenta than purple, personally. Um, but you've got, like flashes of different kind of violets and stuff coming through as well. They're not all identical. Love, 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 love. Are they all the way down? These are going all the way down to a pound. There we go. One pound. 
One. Ah, ah, ah. Incredible. So pretty much, we haven't played anything this hour more than a couple of pounds, to be honest. This is brilliant. We like this. So what clearance is all about. And send us your messages in. We'd love to hear your texts. Let us know um, what you thought of today's show so far. Um, I'm gonna, only going to be here for another, what, 40 minutes um, with the guys, and then there's all changed. But I'll be here for another two and a half hours for you. We've got a quick text. Um, this has come in from... Um, inspired learning lots today great bargains too thanks jm i oh, appreciate you i'm really inspired today as well you know um i always feel a little bit um a little bit nervous certainly when it gets to the last hour because i'm like i'm here on my own i'm like ah, oh, i don't I know a lot about making jewelry i know a lot about gemstones but not a lot about making jewelry so i always feel um you know a bit like oh i'm on my own for the last hour but it, I've been so inspired today and everybody here is wonderful and I say this every time I'm here but it really is like a family. It is absolutely it's amazing so um really 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 always made to feel welcome see some old friends from back in the day it's wonderful it's lovely so we've got 15 carats of quartzite coming up for you this color this almost like a chrome dioxide color isn't it this gorgeous and we're going to go, get, guess, what the, guess the price on this. <laughs> it's been a bit of a theme. Straight down to a pound. There you go. Straight down to a pound. Beautiful colours. A lot of the pieces that we've showed you as well, the colours, you know, the palettes, to, they could go well together. Really, really well together. Very complement each other. Got another text coming in. Um, this is uh, from Kath. Hello, Kath. Um, show is excellent. Spent so much, but saved so much more. Think Postman will need a van. <laughs> I love that. That's it, isn't it? But that, when you look at it in that way, you know, as Kath just said, you're saving more than what you're spending. You know, some of the kits where we, today we've had a, you know, 55, 56 pounds reduction in the price. It's crazy, huh? Right. Um, yeah, I'm going to move on to box number 13. Again, beautiful color. Um, these are all going to be about just having these in your stash, having these, um, you know, strands to go to, like your go-to pieces. So we have got, um, this is your uh, blue colored quartz. Isn't that, but that colour though, but that colour, I love these, and they've got that real, I love with genuine gemstones as well, that you, you know, these have been dyed blue, but that's a, a genuine quartz, how they heat up with the body, you know, with the heat from the body, amazing, that, that, this is so my colour, so my colour, blue, blue, red and black, that's about it, and purple. <laughs> 245 carats for you today for a pound for a pound so, do you know what I look at these and I think you know a shepherd's hook with like just a single bead on each shepherd's hook just a single drop earring how many how much could you sell those for with a sterling, sterling silver finding how many of those could you make with this amazing anyway um, I'm all, all about the business all about the business right 14 uh, they've all gone so now we've got the pink and this is this is really flamingo this is really almost um, neon that you've got in this pink color as well it's very like 1987 just called and they want their beads back <laughs> everybody's like oh, I wasn't born in 1987 <laughs> you were awesome is that the year you were born Kim Ah, same year as my little sister. <laughs> they lovely. Again, you've got that glow, you've got that vivacity of colour. You know, I loved what um, Rachel was saying earlier about, you know, pairing this with black. Um, you know, I'm going to just do that right now with my, with my nails that are black today. They're also matte as well. They're matte and then they've got a shiny tip. There you go. Don't tell everybody though. Oh, the phone lines. Right, number 15. Ooh. Oh, these are rather vitreous. These are extremely vitreous. There's only 20. You are getting... Um, there's three in this. 
Uh, I'm not sure. That's not going to work. So I'm just going to. I'm going to, I'm just going to hold them. <laughs> but at least it's entertaining. So you've got gorgeous black agate, um, beautiful oval cabochons that you've got here. You will get three pieces. They're approximately 16 by 22 millimeter. They have been polished to perfection. I mean, that is just the most, look at that. You can see all the lights in the studio. You've got that wonderful, um, glass-like luster, that piano key luster on the surface, but I'll shut up because they've gone. Number 16. Oh, what are these then? Oh, these are really vintage. You know, I spoke earlier about um, a flower, like a pressed flower that's been set in resin. That, I don't know, these look kind of vintage-y. They remind me of something that you may potentially see that. They're not they would make really cool brooches, wouldn't they? And we've had so much, so, 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 we have, yes. We've had so much antique bronze today. Um, you know, maybe you've already got the chain or you've already got some of the other findings that we've brought to you. So you're getting, you're getting 10 in here, right? I mean, they're, they're just, they're beautiful as they are, you know, really pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> are they 12 pH? <laughs> They're 12, just so you know, they're 12 pH. 12 pH. Very vintage. Very antique -y. I love this colour with blues and turquoises and um, teals and so pretty. Very, um, very Native American, I think, when you put those two colours together. The, the, the earthy browns and the golds and the turquoise colours. But these are very... Very kind of Victorian, aren't they, in their look? Very vintage. Do you know what else as well? You could put these, do you know what's really popular? Um, chokers, collars are really popular at the moment. Like a velvet, black velvet kind of choker with a little like a cameo type thing. I don't know, I'm just thinking outside the box. You know, they're 12 p each. So, I don't know. At that kind of price point, you could do anything. Right. Number 17, oh, these are very similar, um, but actually these have got um, almost like a pendant setting that you've got here as well. They're like picture frames, very pretty. Love these. And you can see with these, you've got that loop at the top, so perfect for earrings or pendant. Again, you've got 10 of these in a pack. 12p each, 12p each. Love, again, all of that filigree work and the milligram work all the way around. Let's put it with my hand in the background so you can kind of see the contrast that you've got there. Janet, Paul, Nicola, Nubiders. Oh, hello, June's bought three. Hello, Jeff, lovely to see you. Um, Steve, St Stephen, Stephen, I just, just turned into Sean Connery then, Stephen. Um, Stephen's bought multiples of these. Uh, Kent has bought three of these, well done. Um, uh, London's bought three of these. It, it is busy, busy. Wiltshire, Peter's bought two of these, well done. Um, yeah, super busy, lots of people multi-buying. And at £1.20, aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely? Okay, number 18. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Oh, wow. I've never seen anything like this. They are, they're coated quartz, you say. Have a, have a nosy at these. Look at that. There's almost a pearlescence on the surface, which is why I went, oh, wow. Can you see that? There's almost a, a metallic sheen on the there's only 50 and um, there's almost a metallic sheen on the surface you've almost got a, like a pearlescence on the surface <laughs> seriously two pound 95 should have been at 12 12 something 12.95 so 10 pounds you've saved today this is what we're on about you see when we say you save more than what you spend i love that oh it really is you've got this it's so bizarre that the surface on here is 
it's almost metallic, but then this like pearlescence that you've got, really cool, really cool. Get them home and have a look at them yourself. It doesn't do it justice here in the studio. Well, there you go, it's gone, it's gone. Let's do number 19. Love this color, love this color. I'm just gonna have a quick of coffee because I, I can't, I've, I've run out of, uh... there we go, perfect. <laughs> There's never been no time to drink coffee. I've still got half a sandwich in my bag here and some chicken satays that I haven't been able to eat yet either. Um, look at this colour. Oh, do, do you know what? It reminds me of Budlia. This, that time of year, isn't it? Bud, Budlia is everywhere. I love it. I want some in the garden, but it just goes crazy. Um, a pound, a pound, a pound, a pound, beautiful, gorgeous, um, natural quartz that's been dyed purple. Um, 10 millimeters that you've got in approximately in rounds that have all been faceted. They're gone, they're gone, they're gone. Box number 20, ooh. These would match the purple perfectly. Love these. Take a look. Love these. Very spinellish, aren't they? <laughs> That's a word I've just created for today. Spinellish. Exactly. Thank you, darling. <laughs> it's quite decadent, isn't it? Ah, oh, love these. 250 carats, black quartzite, wonderful piano key luster that you've got there with those. All of that checkerboard kind of harlequin faceting on the surface. Just beautiful, and they're a pound. I mean, stash-tastic, isn't it, this? It's gone. Can't even keep up, can't even keep up. That was, I don't know, 20. Let's do 21. A oh, pretty, oh, really, really pretty. Very pretty. Ballet slipper pinks coming through um, for you in this stunning strand um, this is your pale pink quartzite has a wonderful kind of rose quartz feel to it and a, a beautiful very subtle um, as I said ballet slipper pink you've got that wonderful kind of baby pink that very kind of um, neutral color it's got some almost peach uh, nuances coming through as well it's a pound it's a pound you honestly don't even need me here today. I could just... <laughs> That's true. Just a conveyor belt. It could be like, um, yes. Yes. Like that show. <laughs> it's a pound. They're gone. Tra. Adios. Is it coming back? Really? Oh. It's no Brucey though, is it? Um, right. This colour. Um, this is the last of our wires, I do believe. Um, look at this colour. It's this inky indigo. Um, I really, really love this colour. Really rich and deep and beautiful. Uh, 17.95 should be today. 50, um, 50 metres. One millimetre in thickness <laughs> and it's down to four four ninety five four pounds and ninety five pence which we love wonderful midnight blues really inky um kind of indigo um, tinge to the blues that you've got here beautiful midnight colors really really lovely that's awesome i almost had my nails this color today Really pretty, gorgeous colour. So next, box 23. Oh, and this, this colour will go gorgeous with the wire that we, will matches the wire that we just bought you perfectly. Again, all fully faceted. Can we guess the price on these? What do you reckon? <laughs> I love this colour. 
No, there aren't, aren't there? There's no real gemstones that are this colour. I mean, you could probably... <sighs> lapis, but it's lapis is different because it's, it's more opaque, isn't it? And, and you don't have that kind of... I don't know. They're like kyanite, but like kyanite that you would set here, that we'd see here, would have, be more paler, I'm sure. Um, there aren't, really. There's, uh, it's gone. It's gone. We're just discussing if there were any gemstones that were that colour. Right, this is the last time we need to reach over this far. Um, box 24. Again, a real forest green, fern green colour that you've got here. Um, in your dyed quartz, all fully faceted again. Lush, and it's a bound. It is a pound. I don't think you've had any, we've done anything today that has been um, under, uh, over, over, what, three pounds, have we? It's just bargain, bargain. We love it. Love it. Uh, collectors in Middlesex have bought three. Who else has multiple? Evelyn's bought two. Collector in Essex have bought two. Joe in Berkshire's bought two. Barbara in Carmarthenshire's bought two. Collector in Somerset's bought two. Collector in Middlesex has bought three. Mary's bought five of these in Lanarkshire. Wowzers. Um, a lot of people are multi buying. Hello, Ron and Sue. Hello, Susan. Hello, Julie. Um, yeah, busy, busy. Oh. So, box 25, the black agate in, in the small so kind of seed bead size, so, so, so size that you've got here. Wonderful accent. I'd be multi-buying loads of these. Should be £4.95, which is in itself a great deal for genuine gemstones. Beautiful black agate. However, not today, because it's a pound. Woo! It is a pound. Add it to your order. Add it to your order. Loads of you. Hello. We've got Glasgow's just bought six of these. Norfolk's just bought three. Uh, Kat's bought two. Sarah's bought two. Iris has bought two. Irina's bought three. Um, Carolyn's bought four of these. Um, oh my gosh, everybody's multi buying like crazy. If I was down with the kids, I'd say cray cray, but I'm not down with the kids. So, box 26. Oh, this is almost a salmon pink that you've got in these. Almost like a salmon pink. There we go. Oh, it doesn't look that salmon, actually, on camera. It does, doesn't it? It does look quite neon. There is a, a kind of a peach orange undertone to these as well, in person. Lush. Are you enjoying the savings today? Thank you so much for your wonderful texts. I'm like, I can't, I can't be surprised anymore at this pound. It's just pound, pound, pound. Um, cool, we have got another message in from Sue. That's Susan, hello Susan. Loving the prices, loving the show, loving the giggle you give when you see the silly yet very welcoming prices. <laughs> <laughs> it's true and the thing is when you've like when you've worked in the industry for such a long time you know you get complacent so I worked on other shopping channels and I, my background is you know I worked all over the uh, all over the world selling jewelry and then um, earlier this year I was uh, on a cruise ship and I was invited to do some gemstone seminars on a cruise ship um, part of a world cruise for 45 days and I'm there in the jewelry store and they're selling like smoky quartz for like two thousand dollars and oh this is mad but you know you, you forget you forget how how amazing the deals are here at, at JM. You really, really do. Um, this aqua blue, gorgeous size. I know this is going to be really popular with the size. Um, but I'm, not, I'm, genuinely sh I'm genuinely shocked at these prices. Genuinely shocked. But literally, before we came on air, um, you know, Kimberly's showing me um, 
you know, all on the computer and what our cost prices are and what we're selling these for. And it's, it makes no business sense to me at all. <laughs> but, you know, when you've got to clear the stock, you've got to clear the stock. So there we go. It's gone. All right. Number 20. Oh, these are awesome. I was just going to say that. Is that what they're called? Ah, oh, I thought I was being all like inventive when I said they were steampunkish. There's only 34 of your steampunk wheels. I'm going to scoop up one like this. That was, as if I did that on live TV without <laughs> throwing them everywhere. Um, these are a pound as well. Bang on trend right now. I absolutely love these. I love um, all kinds of cool ste steampunk stuff. But these are awesome. For a pound. They're fab. Good luck. Good luck. Right. Um, we have got box 29. We haven't had any white quartz today, have we? Apart from, do we have some in the kit? But, you know, it's just always useful to have that, that white quartz around, isn't it? Always useful to have the blacks and the whites for when you're accenting. Um, these are lovely. For a pound, 20 carats of stunning white coloured dyed uh, quartz in your plain rounds. About two millimetres um, approximately in your rounds and 35 centimetres in length for a pound. Lovely, lovely. Right, um, my last box from this box. <gasps> oh, I need this. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is so designer. Designer, designer, designer. Oh, I mean, really a la mode. Bang on trend right now. Stunning. There are some really big designer brands that are using these kinds of, um, you know, uh, watch strap style bracelets. Um, you know, that's £2.95. That's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you know, you went, just go into a department, think of a department store, imagine, and this is gold plated, this has been drenched in 18 karat gold. Imagine, you know, this being labelled as gold plated and what you would pay for this in a department store. Imagine this in a cheap um, clothing store, whether you'd be able to get this for £2.95 that was just, you know, not even gold plated. Amazing. I can't believe it. I really, really can't. Perfect. Okay, right. Let's move on to here. Um, yes, it is. I'm just going to jiggle these around a bit because uh, that's, that's what I like. Um, is this the grey? I've never seen grey agate. I mean, I have. I've got some in my house. I've got a big geode, but I've never seen um, it set with this kind of clarity either. This is really pretty. <laughs> Very pretty. And it's a pound again. This, this is really pretty, kind of silvery, whimsical, kind of, almost like a fairy tale. This would have been lovely with the, uh, with the kit, you know, with the moths, I think. These kind of whimsical, unusual, beautiful colours. Very silvery. I love it. I think they should call this silver agate. It would be much more saleable than grey. <laughs> So, so that was number something, right, 11, let's do box 15. Ah, oh, this is smaller though than the last double chain that we saw. So you've got the double link uh, antique bronze uh, chain uh, on this uh, spool. Do we call this a spool? Maybe. Beautiful. So you've got the double link. Amazing. And, you know, we should be looking at 9 95 on this, but tis yours today, tis yours for 
a tiny two pounds and 95 pence three meters of your anti copper plated brass double uh, cable chain 3.5 millimeters on the link that you've got there I'm just going to put it down here away from the red so that you can really see it um, against the the white um, amazing uh, there you go at 2.95 awesome Awesome, awesome, awesome. There we go. Um, so, coming up for you next, we're going to do box number 18. These are stunning. Oh, wow. I love Aventurine. I've got a Aventurine in my office, so it's... Um, supposed to be good for prosperity and um, uh, focus and manifestation and I love it I love my green adventure and I've never seen it with this usually it's an opaque gemstone to see it with this kind of clarity is quite unusual and for a pound why wouldn't you why wouldn't you beautiful to be able to actually add genuine gemstones as well to your, your jewellery collections and to be able to offer to your customers genuine gemstones, Mother Nature's Miracles is quite novel. To get them at a pound, it's gone anyway. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, we've also got the, um, this size, the seed bead size as, size as well in the tiger's eye. We just said we can't even spend a minute on any of these auctions. Everything's just selling out in seconds. You've got the caramels, those toffee colours, those beautiful um, coffees and chocolates and vanillas and mmm. <laughs> Can you tell I'm getting hungry? <laughs> I think everything that I just mentioned then was to do with chocolate and coffee. Um, really, really lovely hues. Beautiful. You've then got, of course, that gorgeous. Um, 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 yes, <laughs> chatoyancy is the word that I'm trying to find um, on the surface that gives you that wonderful shimmer, um, which is beautiful. That was number 19. Box number 20. Oh, what are these? Oh, these are awesome. Check these out. So you've got um, beautiful, beautiful orange shell squares. Aren't they amazing? They're down to a pound. Super shimmery. I love all the texture that you've got within the shell. Awesome. Awesome. Very salmon y, aren't they, those? Yes, that's what they reminded me of. Those with my hair. Since when has my hair been salmon coloured? Oh, somebody, some, who, inv who invited Big Tall Tom into the gallery? Um, what number are we doing? 21? <laughs> yeah, we all know where we're going. I'm just, just, uh, just keep, just stay on the phone lines. <laughs> Lush. Down to a pound. Oh, we've got loads of you. Hello, hello. Uh, hello, Kay, Moira, Helen, Chris, Collectors bought two. Um, Karen's bought two. Do you know what I haven't done? I haven't done a name wrap for ages. And I'm not going to do one now either. Uh, no, 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 it's not happening. There's no music. Perfect. Um, a lot of people multi-buying. Jacqueline in Tennessee bought two of these. Lovely to see you. Somerset's bought two. Gloucestershire's bought two. Um, oh, who else? Ohio. Lovely to see you, Karen. Um, nice to see you. Um, Perth's bought two. Lanarkshire's bought two. Lancashire's bought two. North Yorkshire, uh, Yorkshire's bought two. Uh, Yorkshire's bought three. Uh, Cambridgeshire's bought two. Loads of you. Busy, busy, busy. Right. Um, that was box 21. Box 24... Um, is this the, did we, uh, 
the, the... That's not agate. I was going to say we've played these. Um, what what colour agate are we looking for? Agate faceted round. Ah, 20... No, that's not agate. They're, they're a pound. <laughs> Who knows what they look like? Oh, maybe there's two items that... Ah, here they are. Thanks, sorry. Didn't see them there. They were hiding. These are very Morganite-y, actually. There you go. For a pound, there you go. Everyone's like, well, just buy them anyway. It's the same colour as Emma. Um, <laughs> box 12. Um, box number 12. Ooh! Now, we, I don't know if we had this colour with the kit, did we? So, um, here we go. A really bright, vivid mesh that you've got here. Pink brass wire mesh. These are really, really bright and vivid. One pound fifty. One pound fifty. I mean, if you just let's take the mesh. Well, I'm not going to take the mesh out, but let's pretend there's no mesh in there. How much would you pay if you went to your little craft shop to get one of these little jars? Ask yourself that, eh? Ask yourself that. There you go. <laughs> I'm so excited. Right, um, number 13, let's do it. Oh, it's gold mesh. Gold mesh. Almost like a green gold. Can you, that's almost got a green undertone to it, hasn't it? Like an Oro Verde mesh. One uh, meter, only 35 chances. And we saw today really how to, to really use the mesh, which was exciting for me because I've never seen um, anything like that before. It was awesome. So we looked at making moths and roses and all kinds of goodies. And at £1.50, with your free jar, you can keep all your goodies in there. Yeah, yeah, you get a free jar and everything. There you go. Awesome. Box 23, we've just, no, oh, we haven't just played 23, that's what I picked out by mistake. What's this then? This is really cool. It's knitted wire with a beaded chain. So, it is as cool as this. So you've got all of your um, orange knitted wire, and then inside of there, there's a, a beaded chain. So there's a chain that's got little balls in it. All the way around. And at one pound fifty, you have got again that, that beaded chain in the center. It's quite lengthy this as well, one meter in length. Me exercises with this. Fabulous. That's awesome. £1.50. Add it to your order if you've already bought something today. So you can actually take the chain out of the middle as well as this if you uh, wanted to. I'm kind of glad that Kim agreed with me then because I just kind of made that up. <laughs> uh, Mary's bought two. Actually, I'll show... There you go. Uh, Mary's bought two, um, well done, Brenda's bought two, Moira's bought two, Susan's bought two, Diane's bought two, Doris, Linda's bought two, it's gone, it's gone, Are we, is that it? That is, we've played absolutely everything, we've sold out of pretty much absolutely everything, however, all is, um, all is not finished with me yet because, um, because they, were they were short today and they asked me if I would stay on and do another hour and a half so I'm gonna be with you now until 7 30 um, it is like the old days I used to do be like the double queen <laughs> I'd be eight hours on air and by the end of it I'd be like oh my gosh uh, going insane so I'm gonna finish my coffee 
Um, coming up for you next, um, Big Tall Tom is taking over. Big Tall Tom and I haven't worked together probably for about four years, three years, something like that. Um, and our first hour, did you say everything was under a pound? Pretty much. You're trying to do an entire show with everything under a pound? Wow. Okay. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you in two. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just £2.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for £4.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members.